Don't let them be your grandpa.
Hi. It's happening. Hello. How you doing? Welcome. Hi. What if I just keep this going really low in the background? Hey, welcome. Uh, we play Twilight Princess HD, and I can only say nice things about it. That's what that's what this is. Uh, welcome. Hope you're uh, doing well. We're wiggling. There's a Pona. She looks good. I'm doing good. I'm excited. Sorry for you know late start. Um, I think I said like last week. Oh jeez. Distant links to the awakening music. Uh, I think I said last week. Like there, I there's. I'm gonna have like weirdly late streams for a bit. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little bit outside my control, unfortunately. But uh, thank you for putting up with me being late all the time. Um, we're gonna we're gonna howl at the moon. Uh, hello. Um, there's some there's some new emotes for the occasion. Um, there's a spider. He's watching, watching me poop in. Watching me poop in. Watching me poop in. He's thank on the you. wall and he's watching me poop in. Watching me poop in. Watching me poop in. Oh God, he's crawling here. Oh my God, Jack. He disappeared. Flush him down the toilet. The one of hmm. spiders watching me while I'm pooping. Um, yeah, we'll see, Figment. I was thinking Borf personally. Um, uh, uh, you can't spend channel points on anime emotes. That's dumb. Why would that be the case? Uh, uh yeah. Hi. Um. Uh, Bork though. Bork is also an option. Bork versus Borf, the ultimate. Thank you for the hype train. Well, I'm oh my, that's good, Triumphant. Um, maybe I should stop the. He distant not the <laughs> rabble <laughs> like, who screams. Was like, was pollution is out. not a big deal. They are wrong. <laughs> Blood from your eardrums is not oh, what Bork, I call though. fun. Is Bork. Put your fingers in your ears. Who is this? It's Kumar. Um, if you've never played or seen Twilight Princess, you'll meet that character. I, that emote might be my magnum opus. Thanks, Viz. Yeah, I that that also might be like one of the best hands I've ever drawn. There is a bar cheer. Yeah, there's different uh, an little animated things for the different. It's like one ten, no one a hundred. What? I don't know. There's a bunch of them. Um, thank you. What's gonna be seven the mean thing you say this time? I don't remember if there's something I did. I don't have the Gand. Wait, I do have the Gandorf amiibo. No, it's fine. Um, I'm assuming the Smash one would work. Uh, uh, I don't remember if I did something for um. Uh, uh, when I did Kingdom Hearts, but I can only say nice things about it. Does anyone remember if I did something? Um, I was just thinking I gift the sub every time I say something mean, but... I might go broke? I don't know. <laughs> I don't... That seems, uh... Whew. Was the Malo emote a parody reference to? Uh, uh, it, it, the Obey posters of Andre the Giant. Ah. Uh. I feel that. Hey, you got it, Joe. Thank you for tweeting about how sad he was. Um, thank you, Red. That many not nice things to say about this game? Ooh, well, okay, well, I mean, here's the... <laughs> Define mean. If I have fair criticism, that's not mean, right? <laughs> huh? I, I, here's, here's the thing. I, I played this game in 2006 when it came out. Launch day of the Wii. I pulled an all-nighter with a bunch of friends. We got all of our Wii's at the Universal City Walk, was the, which was like the official West Coast launch of the Wii or whatever. Um, and and we, we bought them. I got home at about like 4 or 5 a.m. And I uh, played a little bit of Wii Sports. Then I think the next day I played some Twilight Princess. Um, and I played through it. And I beat it. And I haven't touched it since. Um... And, uh, I, I, I didn't dislike it, but it never really quite grabbed me. And I don't know how much of that was just the hype, because it was cra unprecedented levels of hype. Even for Zelda, I think. 
Um, the, the, the amount of people that, that were excited about a, uh, what felt like a sequel to Ocarina of Time, right? In a way that wasn't, like, how as weird as Majora, even though I, Majora's one of my favorite Zeldas, or the cartoony stylings of Wind Waker, right? But it's, like, for many reasons that I'm sure we'll get into. Um, my Wii U is falling asleep. Um, it didn't quite grab me in the same way. Um, and I think some of that also might have been, like, the promise of the Wii was the motion controls, and swinging your arm to have a button imp input was not good game design. Um, so that's also why I'm interested in the HD version, which will be buttons to do a thing. Yeah, that's the air tree. It looks good. Um, but also, it's been, you know, it was a decade when this, when the HD version came out. It's already been six years since then. It's been a while since this game came out. Um, and uh, I haven't really played it or, or I mean, I've, I've watched like some speedruns and stuff. It's not like I, I haven't seen it in that time, but uh, I'm really going into this with, with, uh, with, uh, uh, how do I put it? Not like higher expectations, but like I want to have a good time. I'm not, I'm not sitting down to be like, I'm going to find all the things that I dislike about it. So the whole like, I'm going to be nice about it, you know, we'll see. I do want to talk about the game critically and talk about the design because I like doing that. I'll just also hold my tongue. Frequently. <laughs> Ugh. First instance of game design? Um, that's a good question. I'm not sure what the first instance of game design was. Hmm. Hmm. It might have been the original Legend of Zelda on the NES because you could save your game and come back to it later. That was some game design. The battery in the cartridge. It's supposed to be a serious Zelda that people were looking forward to at this point when they realized we'll make your with when they realized when we're to make. So if you if you're too young <laughs> that you weren't around for the internet and and public conversation at the time, people were livid about Wind Waker's reveal. The, it, like, people loved Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask. Those were beloved games. And then in about, I think, 2000, Nintendo had this annual event at the time called Space World. And they, they would use that to, like, it was basically, like, their own, like, Nintendo Direct, but it was a thing before, I don't know. And then they kind of leaned more on E3 and, like, TGS and stuff. Um, and they had a pre-rendered, well, it might have been running real time, but they had a video they released that was Link and Ganondorf in the Ocarina of Time style running on proposed <laughs> proposed GameCube hardware. So that was the idea of like, oh my God, look how fucking good this looks. You can still find, there's like a couple seconds of just Link and Ganondorf fighting. Um, but they're like, oh, look at the pot. They're so round and smooth. It looks amazing. Um, and uh, then a couple years later, they revealed Wind Waker, which obviously looks nothing like that. And, uh, People were very mad. People were very upset. And obviously, Wind Waker stood the test of time. It's a beloved game. It's an excellent game. Uh, and the art style is part of that. Um, but people still were just like, okay, I guess it was pretty good. But we really want that Space World demo. We want the idea of like a new GameCube game next generation with like the extra good graphics. And so the first trailer, the, the first announcement trailer for Twilight Princess had people sobbing in the E3 press conference room. There were many reports of people so happy that they just broke down in tears because it was just like a couple like moblins walking in a field. It was just like, oh my God, look, at, look, it's so pretty. Like, it, it, like, I cannot express to you how big a deal it was at the time that it was like, we're getting a new Zelda that's going to be like Ocarina of Time, but bigger and better. And this game is very different for Ocarina of Time. But that was part of the idea. Not necessarily more serious, but maybe more mature, right? And that's maybe things we'll get into as we get into it is like Nintendo's idea of what mature means. Some places, I think they do use like the, you know, I'm assuming this had a T rating. Yeah, it's got a T rating. I'm assuming they use that in some, I, some of those places, I think they used it well. Uh, in others, it, it, it's a little more questionable. But you know, we'll, we'll get into it. I'm going to spend like an hour and a half talking about the game before I even play the game. But... Uh, I think it used Conan the Barbarian music. Yeah, they used like to use music like that for their trailers back in the day. Um, but yeah, I highly recommend if you if you like were too young at the time or something. I highly recommend it's all on YouTube. Look up the announcement trailer for Twilight Princess. Look up the Space World. I think 2000, because the GameCube released in 2001, I believe. Um, Space World 2000, Zelda, uh, Link, and, and Ganondorf. Like, uh, try to picture <laughs> what it was like. <laughs> Um, you know, I was 16 when this came out in, in 2006, so I was definitely on the internet and hanging out and stuff. 
in the message boards and whatnot. Pre social media, right? It was very hypey, yeah. And so, and then it was, it was like, and then that was like, obviously, it was announced for the GameCube, ended up being GameCube and the Wii. Famously, it was a launch game for the Wii. Um, and it was the hype of the Wii as well. The, the line to play the Wii at E3 wrapped around their booth like a dozen times. It was like you would get in line, wait all day, and then play Wii Sports for five minutes and get kicked out of the booth. And that was your E3. That was what you did for the day. It was a crazy time. Um, so it was just, oh my God, it was real. It was amazing. At least show off for a long time. Yep. I remember reading leaks about like what the game would be. All the, the predictions of what the game's title would be. And then they announced that it was Twilight Prince for this. And you're like, what? And then they announced that the revolution was going to be called the Wii. And everyone's like, what? It was a strange time. It's oddly nostalgic looking back on it now. Revolution was like, oh my God, it's the coolest name ever. And then they're like, Wii. And they released it with like a poem. <laughs> They had a poem to justify the name. It was weird. Okay. I feel like I'm old that I have to explain these things to people that weren't there. Yo, you, 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 you damn kids with the, with the Xbox. I mean, that was around the same time. Ugh. The base one they switched to white. Yeah. Yeah, it was like part of that whole like rebrand and everything. Maybe they weren't alive yet. Oh, man. Yeah, I guess if you were born later than that, you could still have a Twitch account. Oh, boy. I'm fine. I'm okay. It's cool. You, my gray hair doesn't show up on webcam yet. <laughs> it's still, it's coming in. This is the Zelda game they skipped. Well, we're gonna check it out. Um, and uh, 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 I think we need to set a ground rule right now. Um, about what mean is. What makes this counter go up? Because I don't want to have disagreements later on. Thank you very much. I will get cut off alerts and stuff. If it's anything that's remotely negative, then we need to agree upon that. If it's Anything where I'm like, this sucks and it's bad, then that's obviously mean. But if it's like, hey, the way that this puzzle works, if I express it in a way that's not like, I'm, this is fucking stupid, does, does that make the counter go up? I want to make sure we, we agree. <laughs> Criticism counts. You think it counts? I like Critique Barry as well. That's why he's off and around. Ugh. Yeah, there's a little, I put it here. I had it on the capture for, for Kingdom Hearts when I did that, but I thought this was maybe a little bit nicer. I'm afraid of conflict. <laughs> Valid criticism doesn't count as mean. I want, I want to say it doesn't count because I want to talk about this game critically, but I'm more than happy to make the counter go up if like, this, I hate this. There's going to be times where I'm just going to point and say, I hate this. I guarantee it. Even if I'm, I'm not trying to go into this negatively. Like, it's what I did when I played through the Skyward Sword thing on the, the uh, HD on the Switch. It's like, maybe I'll have a better experience based on these different factors. The fact that I'll be using, like, a controller. The game's going to be mirrored, so I'm not like any, like, if my decades-old memory of this game will help me. Um, because the game was flipped for the Wii. Because Link uses his right hand. So, anyway. Little mean as a treat. Explicitly constructive criticism, just fine. I'm not gonna say that that is the case. So, um, only using positive sung words. If I'm critical in a way that's more emotionally distant, where it's like, okay, here's why I feel this way about this, and I use this tone of voice, then counter doesn't go up. If I go, hey, it's interesting that they did this because the end result is that it's garbage, then the counter goes up. Does that sound good? Does that, does that sound good? Cl clinically detached. I'll be ex emotionless. <laughs> Feel your feelings. Yeah, you got it. Second, but yeah, I'm not playing this game a second time. Even if I adore it this time, we'll not do it. we're not doing it twice. Just pull chat. No, I I will know. People yell at me. It's just I don't I don't want to be in a situation where I'm like I thought I was being nice, just critical, and then people are like increase the count. It's, it has to be accurate. It's the most important thing. Anyway, um. Uh, if criticism causes emotion, number go up. Yes, yeah, that's basically it. Not if it causes chat emotion. If you don't like what I'm saying, listen, the truth hurts. Uh, <laughs> this is objective. Uh, can chat be mean? Chat can be as mean as they want. Well, I mean, no, I, that, I, I take that back. I rescind that. You're not... <laughs> <laughs> be good. <laughs> but, like, when it comes to the game, yeah, you can, you can, uh... You can be as mean as you want. <laughs> Man, fuck! No, it's good. Uh, let me just... Holy hell, we have a lot of alerts. Thank you. Uh, I'm excited, though. It's been a long time coming. Um, 
And uh, uh, I need to get started because uh, the opening of this game uh, takes some time. And that's not negative, that's just a literal fact. Um, so let's see what we got. Um, and also, I mean, again, if I could say again, the reason that we're even doing this is because of the charity stream. So thanks to anyone that watched the stream or supported it or the charity. Because uh, that's why I'm playing this game and it's also why I'm being nice to it. So... Who wants to hold Min this hand? Yeah. I'm also very proud that I named the emote Midna. That appeared to me in the dream. Midna was reaching out her hair hand to me and I was like, yes. I will call it Midna. <laughs> This is good trace. I'm very overwhelmed. I, uh, the, the generosity of this community astounds me. <laughs> Speaking of the generosity of the community, thank you for the handy. Yeah. Wah. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm also, I had the idea for the, the, the Midna emote, and I was like, I don't know if I can make that read as an emote, but I think it, I think it does read. I think you can quite clearly tell, even though it's like five pixels tall. It, I, I've talked about it before, and anyone who has made an emote will agree. Making emotes is really hard, <laughs> because you make something either at emote resolution, where it's this tiny little thumbnail that you're painting with a toothpick and it's a nightmare, or you make it gigantic so it looks good, then shrink it down and go, oh, well, I guess all that detail is just gone now. So, it's fun. Nice. Reads better than I do. Nice. Yeah, this. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's easy. It's not, though. This unit immediately makes you playing this game good. Yeah, he's borking. Anyway, uh, let me get rapid fire. Thank you very much. Um, Actually, well, this is an all time emote instead of some of the times. We'll see. Uh, I've definitely had emotes stick around after a, a game if people want them enough. Um, also, I just realized I never turned my monitor back over uh, after that Lego. By the way, Bowser's back, that, back there now. I just, I don't know how well it shows up on the webcam, but he's just sad and dejected. And it makes, it makes me really happy to know that he's just behind me being real sad. He's, you can just see a little smudge of him. He's just got his hands down on his side and he just looks sad. <laughs> it just, it brings me joy, you know? It's nice. Uh, that VOD is gonna go up tomorrow. Also, oh, that's another thing I was gonna mention. Cause, uh, uh, the internet went out, went out for five minutes at like the 10 hour mark of the Bowser Lego stream. And I was like, damn it, I now it's two VODs. Uh, and, and so I was talking about uh, stitching it together in, in Premiere to make it one giant VOD and putting it up on YouTube. Uh, but I learned, courtesy of one, because uh, I'm Dan Jones, and I'm uh, no one knows why he might know this, but uh, YouTube has a 12-hour upload limit. Um, and those two VODs together are like 12 hours and 5 minutes. So if I wanted to make it one giant VOD, I, yeah, I, it's weird that he would know that. I think he just really loves reading the, the YouTube guidelines. Um, so, uh, yeah, so it's like either I could make it one giant VOD and find five minutes to cut, which I don't really want to do. I like the VODs being an archive, for better or for worse. Um, so it's just going up as two parts. So, but I, I'm having part one go up at the normal time, which is like 11 a.m. Pacific. Um, and then the second part's just going up a couple hours later. Just, no one's going to be able to watch part one in that time. But I was like, I don't, whatever. Just in case. The start, yeah, exactly. Well, yeah, I would cut that, but it's part of the stream, so I keep it. Yeah, they might have had longer uploads in the past, um, but now there's a limit. It's like a gigabyte limit for the upload or a time limit. So, anyway, um, uh, ba, 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 da, ba, 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 Smash Bat, thanks for 96 bits. Linking to that super spammed in 64, thank you. Not the best name, thanks for 35 months. Sorry, with a hammy. $10 to found a DeerCon. Yo. That was DeerCon. Uh, Chris Quay, thanks for 25 months. Insert joke about Heroes Shade here. Jerry Bear, thanks for 11 months. Phil, that's it with four years. I love to stay for the stream, but I got a job now. Got to head to bed early. No more staying awake till 4 a.m. to watch Barry. I'll catch up on everything in Vodland. Have a fun stream with my favorite sassy princess. We ate much meat. Nice. Well, yeah, you're in Texas. You have to. Gotta get some BBQ. How you doing, shorts? Uh... Found out the minimum amount of speed you need to shorten it to fit the 12. Yeah, just take the entire VOD and speed it up like 1.1 times. Just so it's like slightly faster, but then it cuts off like a couple minutes by the end. Uh, no, it's fine. It's just gonna be two parts. They're very clearly labeled part one of two and part two of two, so 
whatever. Uh, Smash Man, thanks for 69 bits. It's Wattober. Wario's about as tall as Luigi. According to the Wario World Manual, is 308 pounds. He claims most of that weight is his clothes. Yeah, he's training. He's got the, the weighted gauntlets. In the Wario Land 4 Manual, a diary of a day in the life of Wario has him waking up after a cockroach crawls into his nose. Later that night, he dreamed about noticing nothing about... He dreamed about nothing but roaches, and a body scan of Wario's body in Wario World shows it's still in his brain. That's not a very fun fact. <laughs> he's got he's got cockroaches piloting his brain like a mech. That's bad. He's got that hot dad bod. Yeah. Why did it? The, the, you know the story goes that um, Miyamoto was designing um, new characters and his wife was like, why don't why are all of your characters so goofy and cartoony? You should make an attractive character for the ladies. And then he famously designed um, Wario. And now, and now, and now we got girl gamers. So thanks, Miyamoto. I guess. I guess it worked out. So. Anyway. <laughs> In case anyone didn't know, that's the origin for Link. Uh, well, not I mean, whatever his design. Miyamoto's wife wanted a cute character <laughs> that girls would like, so he decided Link. Uh, s thank you, Rosebud Wolf. Thanks for three years. What a way to celebrate my 36 month. Twilight Princess hype. Thank you. Enjoy your Oki. Sure wasn't Waluigi. Then he made a sexier character. One up himself. Bootling specifically? I thought it was like Zelda 1. Or 2. Thereabouts. Whatever. I'm wrong about everything, so it's fine. Try for obtuse. Thank you for 27 months. Angel River with 15 months. One of my fave Zeldas. Let's go. Ivory V with 8 months. Using my Prime for my fave Zelda game. Finally gonna get recognition for my favorite streamer. And he's totally gonna be genuinely nice to it, right? Yeah. Uh, Prithiana, thanks for 23 months. It's Prime. 23 is Prime, thank you. And for the Prime. Telix, thanks for 49 months. I'm almost 50. Sargoto gifted a sub to Warlock9. Welcome back. KO. Thanks for 100 bits. Most of my memories of this game are tied to a not-so-great relationship and not-so-great time in my life. Uh, the closet fucking sucks. Oof. Here's hoping the stream can help replace those. Looking forward to the only nice things you'll be saying. That's all I got in me. There's no piss and vinegar in this boy. Uh... That sounded bad in my head, and then it sounded worse when I said it. Thorstone, thanks for a soup. A time for a game that I really don't have strong feelings for, one way or the other. Kind of boring, I guess. I don't know. Hope it goes well. Thank you. Appreciate it. Roseblood, thanks for having me. Uh, here's some bits to vote naming Link or the horse Gorngle. Do you name a pony in this game? I don't remember. Gorngle's a good name for a horse, a gallant steed. Okay. Well, if chat has... I, I, I'm feeling Bork or Borf for Link. And opponent could be Gorngle, why not? Or one's Bork and one's Borf. Or vice versa. That's got a good a good kind of stink to it, too. Porf. What about Iborfa? Iborka. E Iborka? That sounds like an illness. Um, Bork and Horf. Bjorf. Eborf. What about Boof? Eborf, though. <laughs> Borf and Boat. Yeah, he's got a land boat in this one. Uh, Popple. Thanks for 100 bits. Can't believe birthday magic's making Barry stream my favorite Zelda. Happy birthday, Popple. Hope you're having a good day. And the, yeah, this is for you. Happy birthday. Uh, Oto Grimoire. Thanks for four months. You're playing my favorite, most nostalgic, probably most nostalgic Zelda game. I loved watching my brother play this as a kid and playing it myself years later. Hope you like it, too. Thank you. <laughs> name, name the horse. Bang, bang, bang. Bang, bang, bang. Wiremouse, thanks for the hammy. I also hate this game pretty much for entirely petty reasons. The art aged horribly and they did Oot Link dirty. Have fun being nice to it. I will say I don't hate it. It's just very low on my personal tier list. I would argue that even a, a lackluster Zelda is still pretty solid. It's just, it's just, damn, some of those Zeldas are real good. It hit me the right way. Why did I name him Woof? You couldn't even woof. It's just that that just seems, you know, it's like we could we could do better than that. Mean counter, I, I was reading! I didn't say that. They said in Skyward Sword. Yeah, no, I would definitely based off of what I remember of this game, I would rank it significantly higher than Skyward Sword. So there you go. <laughs> Earth. Earth's good. Does client lackluster count? I lackluster is my memory of the game. Nah, no, but it's fine. I, if we, we we already established, what, what phone, what, what do you? Okay, fine, thank you. Shit. 
uh, uh, Odyssey, Odysseus Odyssey, thanks for three months. Perfect time to resub. I'm excited for this. Thank you. Welcome back, Enki, with a soup. Uh, yeah, there's a bar cheer. Uh, Tracker Rock, thanks for 100 bits. I paid off my car. Second time, it still feels very good. Hope you have fun with TP and stay cute. Congrats! Space Succubus, thanks for 50 months. I'm actually a little disappointed you can only say nice things. I want to hear you air out your dirty laundry. Well, my laundry is clean. Thank you. Uh, but yes, I will be sharing how I feel. I'm not going to let the counter stop me. Got a refund on the poll I just put in. Sorry to add to the chaos. Hey, we're having wrong opinions in here. You know it, Dan. I should rename my 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 channel to Barry Has Wrong Opinions. Uh, what was the poll? Do you not want it anymore? Or do you... Oh, that sure was. There was a, a poll request 22 minutes ago by Popple. And another one by... Yeah, there were several polls. Uh... Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, Goaty asked for a, a, a poll for what counts as a bad thing. Yeah, I think we figured that out, so there you go. Um, just for silliness. You got it. Well, Popple wants a poll for chat about how you feel about this game. Uh, is this your favorite Zelda? Twilight Princess. This or the H HD or the original? Um, yes, no, and option three is I enjoy Skyward Sword. <laughs> Which is a, a hell of an option. Alright. You got it. Can we get a prediction? No. Uh, definitely not a stage. Thanks for gifting a sub to Gilly Spy. Welcome back. What if I enjoy all three? That's impossible. I wasn't here. Thanks for 37 months. Left handed Link is best Link. Axe level game with 100 bits. Glad I got to donate to a good cause. TP was the first Zelda I beat. To hope you play Link Between Worlds or Minish after uh, TP as a treat. Yeah. Um. Definitely, at some point, I would love to do those. KO, thanks for 383 bits. Let's do a Zelda. Jack Coro with 22 months. It's happening. Switch Pisces, 13 months. Any, by the way, any chance you could stream some Katamari for those of us who find rolling up the world to be cathartic? I would love to. Um, I definitely, definitely want to stream some Katamari at some point. Capcom makes the best Zeldas. They make good Zeldas. Rainy Mountains, 500 bits. This is the Zelda game that got me into the series in the first place. I'm genuinely stoked to see the stream. Hope that despite being forced to only say nice things about it, you end up having a good time. I expect I'll have a great time. Sometimes. Autism, thanks for 50 bits. It's time for RFC nipples. Yep. Yep. That's the time. Oh, wow, Cass. That's harsh. I remember I saw somebody with the Zelda water bottle at work and I forgot to compliment them. Please go back. Get back there. Majora's Mask is real good. Autism Dragon, thanks for 50 bits. And the rock nipples. Uh, Darren Forrest's 42 bits. Oh boy. Zelda Twilight Edgelord. Spark of Light, thanks for 20 months. Kira Sully, 15 months. Glad to have caught this. All woo time. Uh, Bumble Bianca, 15 months. Ma, get the camera. Barry's playing Twilight Princess. Sargo, five bucks. We'll be brought back this bit for no reason for like the next like uh, almost two weeks. Stop the bit. Thank you, though. Appreciate it. Bumble Bianca with 100 bits. How do you feel about the choo choos? I like choo choos. What do they look like in this one? They're just blobs. There's slimes in this one, right? They're just like like little slugs. Am I remembering correctly? They're just slimes. Yeah. Um. I they they have less personality than. A blob with a face, but uh, Pop looks for 100 bits. Well, Skyward with Skyward Sword being mean was inevitable. Yeah, I didn't do a counter for that one. Uh, I didn't listen. I, didn't, I held my tongue. Bobo Bianca with 100 bits. Why is the intro of a brown filter? It's so icky and brown. It's only the intro. The rest of the game doesn't look like this. It's uh, it's it's fine. I promise. That's no, good. Some redeem the timeout. Whoomst. Whoomst. Oh, Cuddly Crow. I'm enjoying Overwatch 2. This damage habits, I must be stopped. Okay, have a time. <laughs> you can like what you like. Shit. 07. Uh, 8 town 6 for soup. Nintendo making Link right handed makes me sad as a wee lad. He's basically only lefty I can point to for a long time. Well, it's a long time. Well, he's left handed in this one. So. That's neat. Uh, uh, is it pretty much all muted colors? Yeah, it's a more muted palette for sure. Wind Waker's Majora's Mask and Breath of the Wild are my top favorite Zelda games. Uh, those are some of my favorites, too. Hell yeah. Those are good ones. Jilly Bells, thanks for 29 months. I guess I got a two-year badge of 29 months. Seems about right. Yeah, that's how many months are in two years. DQK with a hammy. Be sure to get some cute, good slaps. Cute chat. Barry, did you know in North Carolina there's a special license plate you can get called Save the Bees, which has an adorable little bee on it? That's very good. You know, speaking of bees, 
Um, I was gonna wait until they, they stopped by again, but uh, uh, the, the the lonely wheel uh, sent me a thing. Actually, uh, uh, are, are they in the chat? Lonely wheel, you are. Are you here, lonely wheel? Lonely wheel sent me something, and I wanted to wait till they're around. To uh, uh, still here, yo. Hey, so I really appreciate it. Um, they they sent me a little, a little gift. Um, and uh, this is extremely cool uh, of them. Um, they sent me um the B game for Game Boy Advance. It's uh, it was it was five bucks apparently. Uh, they also sent me the Secret of Monkey Island, like, limited run special edition thing, which has the game and a bunch of goodies and is fucking incredible. But, like, mostly, they, they did send me the B game, which is priceless. Ignore the $5 sticker on there. Priceless. So, sh shouts to you. That's extremely kind and uh, very appreciated. Thank you so much, Lonely Wheel. Oh, excuse me. Uh, Toast to Posey, two, tier two, two years. Two years, I won't fill this up with jokes about trying force or how it's almost been a year since you have so many nice things to say about this game. Thanks for all the great streams and what are surely more to come. Thank you. Indifferent Cat, 69 bits. Any and all negative language directed at the game makes counter go up, but passive aggressive language is perfectly acceptable. No, no, passive aggressive is still negative. If I'm like, wow, this is so good. <laughs> Just extremely sarcastic. <laughs> like, it's not gonna make the counter go up. Uh, it's like the horse armor pre -order. Yeah, exactly. Slap a new sticker on there, right? Priceless on it. Yeah. He's been howling a lot. Yeah, I'm almost done. Uh, singing Ghost Turtle. Thanks for six months. Borf. Enjoy your golden key. Mild Manor Africa, 32 months. Why do I keep subbing on Zelda streams? This is weird. Stop it. I've been streaming a lot of Zelda lately. I don't know. It's just it's a Zelda vibe. Brainless, 30 months. Enjoy your outhouse key. Almost night, princess. Let's go. White Hawk with a soup. Something about the time you were working on your Death Stranding vid, and I was the first one to guess you, you were talking about Twilight Princess having a horrible intro segment because TP's my favorite video game. It, um, it does take a while to get going. Away, 0404. Thanks for 19 months. Sa Jojos or Sahojos. Thanks for two months. Enjoy your bronze key. Welcome back. Thanks for the prime. Miss Father Kitty with 51 months. Or before gaming, 17 months. Space Sucker Bus. Thanks for 50 bits. I'm curious if you've seen Jacob Geller's video, Every Zelda's the Darkest Zelda. It's pretty neat. I have not. I've had it recommended to me by YouTube. So, I should probably check it out at some point. Do you like Village Link, though? His duds are cool. Yeah, yeah, I like how he's got, like, like a like a little rug just kind of, like, wrapped around him. That's not a... Like, I actually like it. It's neat. They kind of brought that back, too, in other games. Uh, Chazari09. Thanks for 100 bits. I fully admit that mechanically this isn't the strongest Zelda game, but it's my favorite for the somber tone characters in its world. See, I would actually, almost the inverse of that, um, is I think, what from what I remember, by the end of the game, mechanically, there's actually a lot going on with the combat. Much more so than pretty much any other Zelda, which I'm very excited to, to dive into that aspect of it. Um, whereas, a lot of my issues were more with, like, the tone of the characters in the world. But that's why games are neat. You can like them for different reasons. Um, I did Garmore. Yeah, you can put Sonic in a Rathalos suit of armor, and he looks very goofy. I, I've seen them, that one. I haven't read them. Um, Bumble Bianca. Thank you for the 48 bits. Let's get the good vibe start. What's your favorite bit of the game that you remember? Um, I remember... Okay, well, I, I don't want to get into spoilers, just in case someone's never seen this game before. I'd like them to just experience it when we get there. There's there's a cutscene around, like, the midpoint into the game where I was just like, holy shit, this is neat. I remember very vividly. And we'll, we'll get there. Um, there are a couple moments like that where I was just like, Damn, it's cool. I know I'm being incredibly vague, and that's not helpful, but I'll point it out when we get there. Uh, I don't remember where in the game it is exactly. Uh, it's it's when you, I think it's when you get to the desert. I think it's around that time. So, let it be a mo hashtag moment. Yeah. Is it that cutscene? It's probably, I guess maybe other people feel the same way. Uh, I don't even remember exactly, I, like, I remember liking it. I haven't seen the cutscene in ages. Um, but I just remember being like, oh, this is, this is cool. Uh, Smash for things for 10 bits. Share the link to the Super Spamton 64 channel in case anyone wants to watch it. Thank you so much. I'm caught up. Okay, jeez. Uh, how about we, uh, get going. Zoom. Let's just auto I press this HD start. Watch out. Also, I, I'm going to be playing with the gamepad. I do have a pro controller here. I, I might try swapping. I don't know if there's a the best way to play it. Um, 
So I'm just gonna stick with the giant goddamn gamepad, at least for now. Uh, yeah, welcome back, VOD Watchers. Having a bad day? Yo, welcome. Hello. Uh, well, I, okay, yeah, now's the time to decide. We gotta name... Name, we gotta name that bad, that, name that boy. Um... Nuh. I like Borf. It also matches the emote, and that's the most... I mean, I could just rename the emote. Borf. Hey, Borf, get over here! That's got a good vibe. Or Bork. What are you doing, Bork, you sleepyhead? Get out of bed! Hmm. Can't just rename an emote. <laughs> oh, thank you, Sortai. What is it? Borfk! Borf? Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. That's fine. Um. What? What is. Heed not the rabble. Oh, it's the French. The okay, got it. Pollution French one. Is not oh, Flutter, thank you. Deal. They are wrong. <laughs> Blood from your eardrums is not what I'd call fun. Put your fingers in your ears. Thank you very much for the hammy. Bjorf. Hmm. Bjorf. Before. B fork. That's the name of the second fork when you're having a fancy dinner. With an umlaut? Wouldn't it be, uh... Yeah, Bjork. Bjorf. Name of Link! Okay, Figment. I was thinking we should do a poll. Wolf, Bork, Borf, Bjorf, Bjork. Okay. Wolf. Bork. Borf. Bjork. Let's not name him Bjork. <laughs> name that lad. Uh, two minutes. Name him Roxas. That's a good name for a boy. Uh, there's a poll going. Let's make sure you make sure you vote. Uh, Flavier, thanks for a hammy. I think my my personal vote is for Borf. I like the simplicity of Borf. Seems like a good name. Um, if I can swing the vote. <laughs> uh, da 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 da. Flavier, thanks for the hammy. Fuck it, Faven Zelda, gotta drop a hammy. Thanks so much for streaming this game this week. It's the anniversary of my uncle's murder, and I'm really need this album Grammy. I'm so sorry to hear that. You're fantastic. Try to join my favorite game. I will do it. I'll do my best. And uh, yeah. Just name him Orf. 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 Also, just ignore the vote. The same democracy. True. It's a democracy when I feel like it. When I'm in the side. God damn it, chat. You gotta. Sw <laughs> it's like. Literally tied between Borf and Bjorf. Shit. Okay, let me look at this for a bit, Borf. I mean, there's still time. So someone can nudge one way or the other. Bor Borf? Or. This is, uh, this is incredibly important. We're gonna be staring at this name for a thousand hours. Or Bjorf. I can be the tiebreaker. I will. I'm just trying to see which one hits me right, you know? Hmm. Hmm. Nicole! Nicole, what do you like better? Bjorf? Or... Borf? Borf. Dear Sasai and I say, Hi, dear! What do you guys think? Borf or Bjorf? Hmm. Yeah, it's literally just like a couple votes going back and forth. <clears throat> Put B Orf with a space. <laughs> B Orf. You guys like Bjorf better? Borf was all the time more. That's I, that's the thing. Borf is Bo, Bjorf did win the poll by by uh, what nine votes out of a hundred something. Hmm. The J is silent. It's just it's just pronounced Borf. Hmm. My vote counts for ten votes. <laughs> I think it's gonna be Borf. Ah. <laughs> uh. Everyone's like, Bjorf. Bjorf's is legal, Dave. Yeah, I am cheating. It's a sham. Rigged. You're so valid. <laughs> like, everyone's like, I'm mad. And someone's like, you're valid. <laughs> it's just, I don't know. I, 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 I listen. 
I, was, I heard you out. I heard all the appeals. Borf's just simpler. It's just simpler. Makes me happy. Oh shit, okay, but then, okay, but hold on. We could name Mapona Bjorf. With a J. Or we could go Gorngle. Justice for Bjorf. Name her yours with a J? <laughs> okay, hold on. Hold on, I gotta see how this fits in my brain. Wait, hold on a second. <laughs> He, 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 yours. The, uh, the cursor is, it takes a little bit of time to move. He, yours. Or he, 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 your. he, we're getting, we're losing the plot a little bit. He, or or he, yours. He, yours? He, yours? This, 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 uh, this doesn't make the counter go up. Because it's not levied at the game. This fucking sucks, Chad. <laughs> this sucks real bad. <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's fucking go. Uh, start the game in normal mode. Damage you take will be double. No hearts will drop. Advanced play. I'm not advanced. No, fuck that. Nope. Normal for me, please. Uh, hey, Mr. Gears. Thanks for 20 months. Yours. I washed yours for you. Tell me! Do you ever feel a strange sadness as dusk falls? They say it's the only time when our world intersects with theirs. The only time we can feel the lingering regrets of spirits who've left our world. That is why loneliness always pervades the hour of twilight. You gonna fix your sleeve there? You started fixing it, and then you seem to have gotten distracted. Enough I'm talk of sadness. I'm taking these eggs by the whiskey. They're gonna beat them and add salt and pepper. about eggs. I'm gonna put them in a skillet, better butter up and stir mm. with a spatula. A song for you, I'm boss. Watch me folding them, beholding them. It's golden yellow now. I'm it's hot, so I burn my thumb. I'm but I took a bite. Yo. Thank you very much for that. I need a hero. <laughs> Last two threads are missing notes. Yeah, they're, they're a little bit, you know. He's not the best seamstress. Seamster? Whatever. It's this is fashion. Enough talk of sadness. Have at you. I have a favor to ask of you, Borf. I'm sorry, I'm disappointed the majority. I like Borf. I was supposed to deliver something. Look at him! To the royal family of Hyrule the day after tomorrow. Yes, it was a task set to me by the mayor, but would you go in my stead? How did they give this link lips and it looks fine? And then they give Skyward Sword li link lips and I'm like, what am I looking at? This one works. This is fine. This is totally fine. I'm not like saying this to be nice. Like it, this design works. He's not a doggo. Just, just you wait. That's our Borf. It's the stylization. It is. And it's like the lighting. You gotta crank up the bloom on the graphics. Uh, would you go in my stead? That's Link in five years. He's gonna look really good once he, you know, uh, uh, there is. Deer is texting me while they're driving, using text-to-speech. Okay. <laughs> Wait, Nicole said she was with Deer. Are you with Deer? Tell Deer to stop texting me while they're driving. <laughs> I am. I know it's text-to-speech, but you can... <laughs> Fine. You've never been to Hyrule, right? Isn't Hyrule the name of the... I guess... Aren't they... Are they in Faron? I don't remember. I just thought the like the whole kingdom was high. But he he I rule. Get hecked on apparently. Uh, that's just my life. Uh, in the kingdom of Hyrule, the or wait Ordona. I forgot about that. Oh, I just remember getting all the little light droplets. I'm good. Uh, there's a great castle, and around it is Castle Town, a community far bigger than our little village. There's I missed another timeout. I thought I. Sheesh. Who needs a timeout? Who needs to be timed out? Um, uh, a gamer deal. Um, oh, have a good timeout. Oh seven. Hey, guess who just got another text from Deer? Um, it's text to speech. Get f asterisk asterisk asterisk. asterisk. That's how you know it was text to speech. 
Because <laughs> Steer didn't text me a swear word. Far bigger than High Rules, the rest of the world that God's created. You mean Castle Town? Castle Town. You should look upon it all with your own eyes. We're never gonna get through this intro at this rate. Chat, come on. It's getting late. We should head back to the village. I'll talk to the mayor about this matter. He also he's greased up and ready to wrestle whenever you are. You know the drill. Oh, it's yours. <laughs> <laughs> she looks good. Take the sword. That's true, Nicole. That's true. I'm sorry I implied otherwise. That's unfair to you. She's beautiful. Eponya. Yours, of course. Oh, yeah, she's got good teeth. Never know, she just had those big old horse chompers for eating apples and stuff. That's the power of the GameCube. You can render a horse's teeth. Well. Oh, yeah, little, little lad. Yep. Hi! See you later. See you later, Bart! You wanna hang out? When you're done wrestling the mayor in the grease pit? Also, our cat's missing! Oh my god, it's Zelda. She took my horse. My horse. This is my favorite Zelda game, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. this is everyone's favorite Zelda game. Hey, Morph! You there? This is this is what I was trying to play in my head. This scene. Not this exactly, because I didn't remember. But there's always a character calling out to Link. Being like, hey, what are you up to? So I'm like, Borf or Bjorf? And we wound up in the worst of all worlds, which is Borf and Hjors. Hey, you mind helping me herd the goats? They ain't listening to me lately. But they listen to you, you some kind of goat whisperer. Where'd he go? I don't have object permanence. Where's yours? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> uh. Spirit Tracks didn't have a call out. You had to have Alfonso just grab you by the car and shake you awake. That's true. It's not in every Zelda. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Having, having two analog sticks to play this feels good. He had an animation. <laughs> oh, I'll be right back. I gotta find more rocks. Oh, shit. I got a groupie. <laughs> Fuck. Alright, this is the best Zelda game. You're right. You're alright, chat. This is the best Zelda game. Come on now. Hurry up and bring yours with you. Also, can you fetch me some bandages? My face has imploded a bit. Okay, the rocks. You fucking threw at me. Okay, now I'm curious if it's a canned animation. Hit him from the back. Is he, uh... Okay, it's a canned animation, but still... <laughs> uh, it's Borf's house! We could've named him House. Shit. Chat, it was right there. Hey, where are you going without yours? Hurry and bring her back with you, bud. House is house. Squirrel. Eat the squirrel. Eat the squirrel. Okay. Now. Yeah! Thank you, Minish. For putting that. Where did where did not Zelda put my horse? This way? This way. I can eat the squirrel later. Yeah, you're right. We'll eat it later. Just gave me goose game flashback. Oh yeah! It is made by house house. Mm hmm. Is this faster than running? It seems like the same. There's my horse. And Zelda. It is faster. Okay. As usual. 
It just doesn't seem like significantly faster like an oot. Although back walking's faster. Which doesn't feel that much. Whatever. Oh, hi, Borf. I washed horse for you. You just gonna... You just gonna... You just gonna smile? Okay. Alright. Okay. A little creepy. But thank you. You good? You good, Borf? Oh, she's all clean now. Damn it. You washed my horse. Is that a euphemism? Thanks for the hydrate. Uh, why is there a counter? Uh, because that's gonna all be all the times I said something mean about the game. And wouldn't you know it? I've had nothing mean to say. Wow. Yours works really hard, so I thought she deserved a treat. Oh, but listen, Borf, could you do something for me? Can you use a piece of grass to play that song for me? You know, the one that Hjorse likes. Yeah. <laughs> Bwah! Jesus. Calm down, Hjorse. It's such a nice melody. Hjorse looks happy. Hjorse looks happy. Well, she's all prettied up now, so I suppose you can ride her back, but don't you make her do too much, okay? Are there any rocks around here? <laughs> I have a problem. I need to know if every India, character has an animation. Has a phobia, Shit. And it snakes and it snakes okay. and it snakes. Oh, thank you. Keeps living anyway. Thank you so much. In a pit and he quakes because it's filled with snakes. And if there's a reason, I'm still alive. Shit. The number of snakes here is five. I'm willing to. Oh, wait man. For <gasps> there are rocks. Hold on. I'm willing to snake for thank it. Thank you for the hammy. Uh, three bees in a trench coat. Oh. Uh, 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 uh. Throwing rocks counts as being mean. No, no, no. This is testing the game's mechanics. Because we're not going to have a chance to do this later. Spoilers. Eh. Holy shit. She's stronger than what's-his-face. Damn. Take good care of her now. All right. She's going to be the tank in the party. Permit for Katan? Yeah, one sec. Yeah, one sec. Uh, da, 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 da. Built Fjord Tough. Oh, God. Is she a Terminator? Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. That's a cat. Hold on. Cat. Doing cat things upside down. Sitting, lying down, hanging out, and then this one also looks very concerned. That's almost as sad as my sad Bowser looked. And then just being a feral. It's very good. Thank you. Cat time. Uh, okay. All right. Nah, nah. Let's go herd some goddamn goats, baby. I missed the catnip. Oh, no. It's fine. Uh, I got to keep going. At this rate, we're going to be in the tutorial in five hours from now. I got to get a move on. We made it. Ordon Village. Ordon Piano. Ordon Johnson. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. He's definitely Link's dad, right? It's got to be. Also, let me know how the volume is. I think it might be a smidge quiet, but let me know if it's good. Hey, yeah. How y'all doing? Only five hours in casual? That's insane. Yeah, this pace is really, really crazy. Uh, oh, if it isn't young Borf, you got going down to close down the ranch for the day? I just closed the shop myself. I'm sure you know all about the mischievous monkeys that have been coming into the village lately. Those things worry me a bit. I better lock up tight here. Couldn't stand to have any more goods stolen. Can't trust that good-for-nothing husband to do anything right. Come on, Dad. You can't catch a silly little monkey. Uh, well, no, no, I can't. Oh, listen to us babble on. I didn't mean to keep you. All right, off to work with you. Yep. It's almost dusk, so time to herd the goats. 
Chicken! That is a good low poly chicken. I mean, it's not that low. Low res, maybe. Yeah, the character designs in this game are a choice. Um, because like it's like imagine if the Wind Waker characters were in this style, they'd be nightmare demons. <laughs> they definitely wanted to push the characters in a direction, and uh, some are more successful than others. I think it's fair to say. Yeah. What's up? You <laughs> poker kid in HD. Great timing, Borf. There was something I had forgotten to tell you. My son Colin's making a fishing rod so the two of you can play together. He should finish it today so you can come get it at the house tomorrow. Boogie. Hey, Don. Oh, hi, Borf. I'm making you a fishing rod, you know? All I've left to do is paint it so get ready for fishing. Yeah, all right. Yep. Good evening, Borf. This is a lovely sunset, is it not? I love the way it adds bloom lighting to everything. Colin's just more... <laughs> oh, jeez. It's kind of you to spend time with my husband, you know. It gives me time for myself. I do you have to go put the livestock to bed now? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Wear green hat. No green hat. None green hat. Shit, on. I Austin Powers myself. Oh, shit. He's sad because I was late to our grease wrestling appointment. Hey, bud. Oh, Borf. Looks like you're gonna help Fado. Good job. Head up to the ranch up ahead of you. Go on, climb up on yours and get going. If you don't hurry, the sun will go down. Is this his mustache or does he have tusks? My brain always read them as tusks. There's a lot of bloom. I remember there being a lot of bloom in the original. My vote is tusks. It's a bone growth. Oh, he's got like like teeth. Like a beaver. He's got he's gotta eat some wood. Will them down. I wish you had a stash like that. I wish I could grow a stash like that. Just exclusively out of the like I don't know what part of the face this is. Like above the mouth, either side of the nose. That'd be good. Let's go. What's the punishment for saying bad things about this game? Um at least until the number becomes too unbearable, I'm probably going to uh, uh, gift a sub for each mean thing. Not right when it happens, so I'd like to do a batch. Ordon Ranch. Hmm. Ordon Ranch dressing. Put it on your salad. Also, I don't remember those spur icons at the bottom being so spread out. Sorry to get, although it's widescreen now and it's 4 by 3 whatever. Sorry to get you over here in such a hurry, Borf. These guys have been awful skittish lately. They won't listen to a word I say. Just chug some ranch. And then stream. Yeah, like thereabouts. Sorry to ask, bud, but I was about you and your sort of into the barn real quick. We ain't got much time, so you think you can do it for me? No. Ben, that with you two helping out will be done in no time. Just say the word once y'all are ready to get started. I'm ready to get started. Here are those goats. I'm gonna hurt them. Much obliged there, bud. Okay, then. Go on and nerd all these little scamps into the barn for me. Yeah! Goat in! Goat in! That's that's also what you say when you insert the, the Toy Princess HD disc into your Wii U. Come on, come on, get him in there! Get him in there! Oh, four goat in! Let's fucking go. Okay, you there. No, 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 Yeah. Oh my god. Who is this gamer? No, no, no. Fuck. Ah. Okay. Godin. The Godin text has Facebook mobile ad vibes. Who is this goader? I barely even know her. Oh, let's go. Wait, I'm missing one? Isn't that plot? Nope, there you are. How'd you get all over here? Go on, uh, Gessie. It's like Bessie, but with a G for goat. I did it! That's a piece of heart, right? I think that we just beat Ganon. Uh, Borf, yours. Much obliged to both of y'all. No, you're the goat. I can cover everything tomorrow without having to trouble you. So you just sit and relax, bud. Yep. 
Country life is infamously about sitting and relaxing and not having work to do all the time. But uh, how about today? Want to practice with the fences? Just wait a spell, but I'll get them fences set up. Yep. Borf is goaded with the sauce. <laughs> oh, sorry that took so long. Okay then, y'all ride is all you want. Y'all get tired of riding, just jump the gate and head back into the village, okay, bud? I'm not your bud, guy. I didn't... Nothing cooler than fence jumping done just right. When y'all are approaching a fence, use A to dash at the right moment. Y'all could jump the middle of the fence. Got that, bud. Oh, and if y'all get tired of riding, just go and jump the gate. Get out of here. It's fine. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, nothing cooler. You do have to line it up pretty good. Uh, famously. Yeah. All right. Oh. Looks like twilight's nearly upon us. Better skedaddle. How are the goats doing? They're resting! They're actually in there! They absolutely could have just had a JPEG of a barn. And it would have been fine. That's nice. They're goading. Shit. It was twilight. It's night now. Damn it. Twilight. Spy family! I have a problem. Uh, go. I made it. I escaped with the horse. The horse. Now it's Midnight Princess. Is that why her name is Midna? Oh, yeah, I'll save. Nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Horse yop. Or the fiends. Ugh. What? Huh? No. Hmm? Oh, yeah, no. I was like, is this loading? I just need to press ah. Oh, new morning. Midnya. Say midnya. Midnight. Hey! Wake up, Borf, it's morning already. Shit. I was supposed to sleep in today, you damn kids. Yeah. Midnya. What's your name in Japanese? Is it some- Oh my- Oh the- Oh the- Oh. Oh yeah, it's like I'm really there. Hey you kids! You better leave my horse alone! I'm coming down there! Let me get decent! Shit. Oh, wait. Bop, 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 bop. Oh yeah. Yep, I remember that. That was, yep. Oh fuck, there he is. <laughs> Shit. Oh no. God, but I... Mm. In Japanese, it's Midona. Okay. It's Midona. Damn. I really did put a picture of my boss behind a bunch of shit on the table. Why do I frame a picture of a goat? That's the famed prize winning goat. She's the cream of the crop. One of a kind goat, that one. I miss her every day. Uh, into the basement. Uh, well, this sucks down here. Ugh. I like when you climb a ladder, your thing in the mini map in the bottom left corner it just kind of wiggles. That's fun. I don't have a frame picture of goat. That's an excellent question. I probably should get on that. What is this horror? Oh, you're about to meet him. <clears throat> there they are. Hello there. Ah. Oh, Borf, did you hear? They're selling a slingshot at the store right now. A slingshot! I wonder how powerful it is. I, I need. I must try it. Tell, if you and Mallow want it so badly, just buy it at my parents' shop. Do you see any rupees in my hand? I can't afford that thing. Come on, Beth. Can't you just loan it to us for a while? You know I'd get in trouble for that if you two want it. Save up your allowances or something. But our allowances are terrible. I wish I was born into a family with a slingshot instead of one with a water wheel. Oh, God. Oh, God. There he is. We just want to look at it. Can you get it from the slingshot from the shop? And if you can't do that, let's just trade families, okay? Knock it off! 
Okay. That's fine. Thank God he's only in this town and you never see him again. Uh, hi, Borf. I finished the fishing rod I was making. I thought I'd give it to you the first thing in the morning, but my dad said you just wait till Borf comes to get it. That's why I didn't bring it to you. Dad's out today, so would you ask my mom about it? I think she's by the river. You have the day off from work, don't you, Borf? You have to give yours the day off too, poor girl. He's shorter, so I have to gauge the difference, the distance differently. Wow, that is a very short ranged lock on. <laughs> well, I nailed it. <laughs> oh, wait. We can change the timeline. This is like shooting what's-his-face in Call of Duty Modern Warfare in the opening mission. This gives us the good ending. It does create a time paradox, though. And... Nope. <laughs> Why do they all have animations for that, but then what's-her-face doesn't? <laughs> time paradox. You must crush the child. It's the only way, Borf. You must crush the child. <laughs> okay. Alright. No, 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 no. Stop talking about trading families. Okay. She never, she never knew any rocks. She was near some rocks. Just not immediately near. Well, hey, morning, Borf. Got a day off from work today, my boy. Not me. Your wife's been hassling me. Today's the day to restock our store. Look, see that up on the tree? You can get a better view by pressing the right stick and then using the right stick or the gamepad to look around just by the way. Yeah, some more on bees might have built themselves a fine nest up there. I was thinking about knocking it down. Our cat hasn't come home since yesterday, so the wife's in a bad mood. At the very least, they need to bring something home to her. Also, this nicotine patch on my arm has been wearing off. I gotta get a fresh batch. And go get some from the store for me, bud. Thank you. What do you got? Some bees up here? Why can't I obtain... Okay, there you go. Save that gato. You know I'm gonna save that cat. Making the obligatory woman character obsessed with the Punisher was a writing choice. Yeah, she's a horse girl. Oh shit. Ah. Oh fuck. Oh, they didn't like- Oh, they didn't like that. Oh, they did not like that. Into the water! Bees hate water. Shit. Shit. Fuck. Now I'm wet and being stung by bees. Pregnant lady, help! Fight off the bees for me, pregnant lady. Okay, well. I'm a little bit low. Uh, oh, uh, <laughs> good morning. Can't help you're wet and covered in bee stings. Did you come to get the fishing rod that Colin made? I'm really sorry, but would you hear me out first? You have not seen a cradle come floating by here, have you? It's a baby's cradle made of finely woven tree bark. Such a misfortune. How far could it have drifted, I wonder? You got a baby Tokyo drifting down the river? Is their name Moses? Is their name Moses? You got any healing in the pumpkin? Healing pumpkin? Okay. I can buy some healing. Did they not expect you to take a ton of damage getting stunned by bees? Uh, how much do I love Moses? This much. I do remember enjoying the, the Prince of Egypt when I was a kid. Uh, what is happening with the shadow here? That's interesting. You can see the shadow on the floor is like getting clipped. I think it's meant to be getting blocked by... Because the light source is the is the fire in the fireplace, and it's like, maybe supposed to get blocked. No, because it definitely appears here. That was DreamWorks' second movie. Damn. Yeah, and then the shadows up on the table. Eh, it's fine. Just a little bit demon possessed. It's fine. Being critical of the game sounds mean. I not. I haven't been mean. You'll know what. <laughs> You'll know what I mean. Listen, I, I'm just having a great time, and there's nothing to be mean about. You just got a nice, cozy little village. What more do you want? 
feels like a masking issue. Yeah, there's something going on there. Uh. Hey. Yo, Borf, yo, up here. I want to talk to you. Z target me so we can chat. Oh, hey. Oh. Hey, there you go. Over here. Yeah, your voice carries well, as usual. Maybe you can teach my tykes that you got to press A while Z targeting to talk to people from a distance. ZL targeting doesn't have the same ring to it. They just don't get it, do they? So listen, why don't you climb up those vines there, Borf? There's a good lad. All right, now we're both stuck up on here. You wanna play some backgammon? Yo, there you are. Check this out. You know Sarah at the general store? Isn't that her cat over there? Look at those birds. Holy fuck. They have barely anima any animation. Oh my God, I adore oh, they're gone. They're so good. Holy shit. Things like five polygons. Holy fuck. This is why I wanted to play the game in HD. Playing this on a CRT was a smudged mess. Check this out. That's a cat. He's been sitting there thinking about what to draw for Dog Thank you. If fires in spurts. Oh, appreciate it, madam. If fires in spurts. Thank you. Thank you for having me, madam. Right, I will get compliments later, but I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. It is a good alert. I, all those alerts are on my SoundCloud if you don't want to give me $10 to hear them. Uh, he's just staring at the creek. Yeah, cat's chilling. You don't suppose he's thinking he's going to catch a fish, do you? Ha, <laughs> cat can't catch no fish. <laughs> anyway, that's not what I was meaning to tell you about. I want you to take a look at something. See that grass growing there on the edge of that rock? Haven't I seen you whistling with that stuff? I figure it's pretty rare to see it growing in a place like that, so I thought I'd let you know. I bet you could hop across these rocks with a quick little couldn't you? Yeah, you got any healing potion? I might be dying from... from... every... bees. Are the emotes made disappear in mysterious circumstances available somewhere as well? Uh, no. No, I could've... should've... probably could've... Bird. Birdie. Get him. Shit. Send the bird to the door into the tree. Oh. Why? Beard. Yeah, Link can control all animals. He's like Aquaman, but on land. So he's... Land man. He's watched cutscene every time. I don't remember. Um, to the to the to the house. Wait, what? Oh, I can get the I can get the the, the bees. Get the bees. <laughs> that thing is just gonna smack into it. Now I feel bad for the bird. I solved your puzzle. Okay, I can do it from here. Oh, I got a bloopy. Come on, monkey. Barchu is gone forever. Yeah, I could upload on a BTP video. Ba -da -da. Also, Aquaman no water called man. Plus to skip the cutscene. You have to press plus once for the plus to skip. Okay, thank you. And this is okay. Hold on, I'm not even centered with the TV. Get the monkey. That was very graceful. I thought I was just going to slam into him. Thank you, bird. That was bird from Twilight Princess. He was reincarnated as a whatchamacallit. Yo, check this out. Check this out. Look at this. Oh, Borf, that cradle. Did you go to the trouble finding it for me? My thanks to you. That reminds me. There's something I'm supposed to give to you. you think you could carry that cradle and come with me back to my house? The thing is... Normally I would despise this. But it's kinda nice. 
It's like she's walking at like a normal human speed. And she's also heavily pregnant. No, like I'm not I'm not I'm not doing a bit like it's like it's if you're gonna lean really hard into the idea of like we're 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 doing the first five minutes of awkward time and blowing up into like an hour and a half you gotta do the slice of life stuff and having you walk slowly with townsfolk is like actually the biggest problem is that your walk speed doesn't quite align with her and it's like a little bit awkward but it's like i don't know if it, it makes it more grounded than like in most video games where it's like oh hey we need to walk side by side, but we're also sprinting because your normal video game movement speed is stupidly fast compared to normal people, which you don't normally notice until you're walking with someone else and they're like, fuck it, just gunning it. So whatever. Also, it's not gonna happen a million times, right? Right? If it happens again, I might not like it, <laughs> but as a one-time thing, it's like, yeah, it's fine. Yeah, the pregnant lady just starts sprinting down the street. I nearly forgot, I'm supposed to give you this. All right, here you go. Whoa, fishing. She just had a whole buffet. Uh, fishing. Fish is the only game that does. Pretty, only time this game does that. Yeah. Two instances and they can both be skipped. Yeah, also you can just sprint up ahead and wait for it. So. Uh, you got a fishing rod, say, uh, the rod with a bobber. Bobber, bobber. Face the water, use the cast, press and hold the assigned button to pull the line when you get a bite. You can catch fish without bait, but you'll catch a larger variety of fish with bait. It's a little unpolished. My son Colin made this under the instruction of his father. You can use it if you like. And then she has a sit. Well, my son Colin grows up wanting to be just like you. He really is a sweet boy. He can just be a little timid. You got any healing potion? Shit. Your base walk speed is faster than NPCs, especially when they like, follow me and they're at snail's pace. Yeah, it's like I had to use my slowest walking speed. Which is angling the stick just the tiniest bit. It's like this is a little bit, and then just a smidge more, and then you're moving this fast. So it's really... And there's no, like, gradation to it. They're clearly just different animations you're toggling between, right? Which is one way to do it. Uh, I can go fishing for the cat. Let's go fishing for the cat. Ba -bo 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 -bo. Do, 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 do. Hey, cat! No, wait, come back! Wait, come back! Wait, come back! I'm good with animals! I'm good with animals, though! Come back! Wait, 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 Got the inventory on the gamepad. Come on, get a fish. Get it all. Get a guy. Get a little guy. Oh! Fish on! The, the, this could have used a different animation, I think. I, th I think just the one, the one arm seems a little bit... Oh! Thank you. Uh, put the way. Put that in my pocket. Where is the, where is fish? Um, is that? That's a complaint. That's not. That's criticism. Did I get at the? How do I? How do I give a fish to the cat? I have to fish twice. Did they tell me to fish twice? I didn't read it. Okay, fine. It's, it's fucking animation. Bam. We're on the board. You happy now? We're gonna see it again. Feel free to disagree. So tell me, no, that looks good. No, that looks good. No notes on that one. He has to see you catch the fish? What? But he's not over here. Fish near the cat. But he, he's hanging out on the pumpkin patch. Oh, now he approaches me. Okay. Well, now I'm not interested in you. But goddamn cats. This is why I'm not a cat person. He does have an amazing little animation, though. Okay, now he's watching me. Probably because I smell like fish now. She knows what the rod means. Oh. Whoa. Nope. Nope. Get him. Nope. Shit. Nice. That's so very specific mechanics just to get that to work. You know? Cats do be like that. Yeah. 
Oh my god, cat. Hey, what's up? Hey, I want to give you attention. No. He caught a green gill. He did. No, you're right. He did. Oh! Hey, Koji Kondo, we need music for a cat running away with a fish. Yeah, I got- here, I, I got- make it in three seconds. That's not a complaint, it's good. It just- it just feels like the kind of thing of like, it's Friday afternoon, I can't be bothered. You get it. Thanks, Kondo. Thanks, Koji. Uh, uh, where do you- where- was it- was it this? This is a cat door. In SpongeBob, Revenge of the Flying Dutchman, with a race with Squidward to the Krusty Krab. Uh, but Squidward is walking normal speed because he doesn't care, so you can easily win, but if you're very patient let him get there first, you can win. You win even if he gets there first? Oh. As the- you can decorate the counter. No, I turned it into a more angry complaint. It's fine. <laughs> Thank you. It's Tuesday! What day is it? Oh, my Borf! Oh, my Borf come in. You simply must hear this. My little kitty cat is so amazing. Today he caught a fish all by his little world shelf. I mean, you can lose. Oh, okay, got it. I was like, if you wait all the way from the get to the end and he's just like, yeah, you win. That would be pretty amazing. How do you think he caught it? Maybe he's a genius. Just look. It's critique, not mean. Yeah, but I made it mean. Just look, isn't he so cute the way he laps up the milk? Say, my dear, why don't you have some too? I'm in a good mood, so it's on the house today. Some fresh cat milk. This bottle's half empty. Replenishes three hearts. Store things in an empty bottle. It is kind of wild that you get a bottle this early in the game. But all right. Oh wait, I want to look at this. Uh, you show me the slingshot. Shit. Don't I want to look at that? Aren't cats lactose intolerant? Hmm. Maybe they're not lactose intolerant to cat milk. Don't worry, you don't have to return the empty bottle, my dear. You can reuse it, you know, put something else in it. Recycling's a very important thing, my dear. I'm sure you'd never do anything of the sort, but kids these days toss things out like the whole world was disposable. It's criminal. So what are you saying, my dear, is anything you want today? Take a look around. Milk. Look at that photo of a cat on the wall. That's amazing. Uh, we got some hot milk sitting on the shelf. It's just a bottle. It's like it's a wire. Yeah, they, yeah. It's it's it is weird to get something like that this early, but it's fine. I mean, it means that they're just like, it makes it less precious. Cause that's the problem is I'll buy red potions and purple potions and blue potions and then never fucking use them. So for the game early on, it'd be like, put stuff in bottles and drink it. <laughs> like maybe I'll actually use them. Um, you got you got milk. You got bee larva. Uses fishing bait and store an empty bottle if you got one. Slingshot thirty rupees. Got this for the kids, it's just a toy, but it stings something off when you get hit by it. I got it in for the kids, but also you have to buy it. So. Mm. Mm hmm. Excuse me. 30 rupees. Put so much shit in bottles in this game. It's kind of neat. Um. So, oh, should we go wrestling? I don't know if we can wrestle yet. Guess to their lunch money. Morning, Morph. Sounds like Fado's handling things at the ranch on his own today. When he's up there alone, I always figure some calamity or other's gonna... Hey! A goat got loose! It's head for town, somebody stop it! <laughs> ah, shit. Well, the town's precious livestock. That's why I'm uneasy about leaving the ranch in Fado's hands. If you plant your feet while grabbing it with A, it'll calm that goat down real quick. If any more goats get loose, you'll be sure to grab them like that. Any more goats gonna get loose? They're getting out, the monkeys are causing trouble, it's tough being mayor. I don't have any time for my grease wrestling in the basement. Somebody stop it! Hmm. Yeet the goat. Now that's goat wrestling. Fatal did it again. Those goats have been awful skittish lately. You always gotta be on your toes. Look how deject dejected it is. He just wanted to have some zoomies. 
Sorry about that, boy. But thanks to you, that goat didn't get away. That Fado looks like I'll be garnishing the cost of that goat from his wages. But we got it. We got it back. But the goat's fine. So. Hmm. Hmm. Hey, you want to go wrestling? See you. Did he just twist its head off its neck? Yeah, it's fine. He's fine. Uh, what else do I need other than slingshot? Eh. Almost there. Just a few more pumpkins. Do, 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 do. Oh yeah, the bee larva. Right. I did grab that. Maybe it'll give me rupees. Now that I have enough. He's jacked as fuck. Yeah, he's swole. Look at him. Do we need it? We need it for this guy, right? I saw that. Calling down a hawk. Why did I think of that? I was thinking of trying to knock that down myself, but you beat me to the punch, my boy. Uh, you want you want some larva? Wait, I didn't pick up the larva. That's probably. Oh, oh, I gotta scoop it. Better drink some milk. Some room temperature milk been sitting in my pocket. Get the, get the, get the, got it, got it, got to scoop it up. Get the larva. Get that. There it is. You caught bee larva in your bottle. Fish love them. They're also edible and full of nutrients. To bait a rod, set your rod in the larva and then use the larva. Use them when the rod's not equipped to eat them. You can eat bug and replenish one fourth a heart per larva. You can eat the- you can literally have a cup of crunchy bees in this game. Shit, this game is good. Why did I go back in here? I guess to buy the slingshot. Uh, yeah, give me that. 30 rupees, I'll buy it. Please eat it. He also has to run out of pouncing his pumpkin seeds. That's cute. That's really cute. Children love the sign, you get all the 50 pallets, set of the thing, and then use the thing with the thing. All right, see you again soon, goodbye. Is the window on the door lost? Shit. Shit. Fuck. Needs to see things face when he eats it. Well, I have 10, so what's the harm in eating a one? Fuck. What if I do it again? Yeah, he was pretty upset there. That was a full health, too. I just ate that for the taste. It, there you go. I didn't fucking texture the game. Are you sure? I thought it worked for Nintendo. It's hip to eat bees. You want some larva? Must be nice having bee larva. You want some bee larva? Hold on, I just ate my, my uh, bee larva. Oh, bee larva! Must be nice. <laughs> Wait, does he want to eat them too? What? Okay, sure. You just fucking eat them in his face and he gets sad. Alright. Eat them in front of him to assert dominance. It's the only way. Ow, oh, my face. Well, let's get fishing. Yeah. Boop, 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 boop. Who wants some larva? Eat some larva. Come on, get larva. Y'all got any? Oh, that fish is gunning for it. Daytona, let's go away. Get it. Oh. Yeah, fish on. Bum, 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 bum. Oh boy, another another green gill. A smaller green gill than when I didn't use bait. Sweet. Awesome. Uh well, okay, let me slap that on there. Yeah. Oh yeah. Damn it. Hey kids, guess what? We can do crime now. I'm heading out. Have a good one, Duke. Take care. Yeah, I did start stream real late. Hey. Sorry about that. Just in time, Borf. I just delivered something to your room. 
Oh, I see you got the fishing rod. Call a movie, please, and it works better than you would think, right? Well, have a good one. It is a stick with string. I don't like the way Link was staring at him. He's like, hmm. Borf has a slingshot! Whoa! You had enough money to buy it, Borf? Yeah, I just destroyed some pumpkins. Thank you for the hydrate. Go in, fish on. Oh god. Uh, preparation's complete. Oh wow, this is great. Let's see how powerful that slingshot is. Hit the targets and those scarecrows. I can't believe you two brats are so obsessed about this. It just shows what little boys you both still are. These two idiots will never shut up about us. I guess you'll just have to show them, Borf. Okay. Um. His legal name is Bjorf. They call him Borf for short. You hit it. You hit it. That's Mallow's excited face. I looked at the manual in the store, and it said it's easier to hit nearby targets if you press ZL when you're aiming. I thought you weren't interested, Beth. I thought you weren't interested, Beth. Kabam! And the bug. A murder bug. Thank God. Whoa, wait, you going somewhere, Borf? No. These two are obsessed with your slingshot. I won't shut up about it. Up, 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 uh, uh, yeah. And yeah. Yeah, eh, yeah, eh. And that's Mal. Oh, Mallow does have an excited face. Well, amazing, Borf. Hey, ah, thanks, Borf. You're welcome. I don't know why he went hiya. Gee, you really are amazing, Borf. By the way, Borf. Were you expecting Colin's dad to bring something by here? Because he did. Oh, yeah, 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 what was that anyway? I command you to tell us. Okay, well, let me talk to Colin first. Have a good one, Dave. Thanks so much. You got it. I hope you like it. Aren't you off work today, Borf? Yeah. What's it to you? We must fix the timeline. It's the only way. Shit. He won't die. He just won't die. Fuck. He's just the T-1000. Shit. Fuck. There's no way to stop him. Oh, God. We're doomed. We're fucking doomed. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, fuck. Oh, the other two duck and he just hits, takes him the fucking face. Hey, Colin! He's fine. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, that was an awful time to be eating soup. Yeah, be careful. I'm the Alpha and the Omega. You got a wooden sword. Russell returned it after honing it for you. It's easy to use. Just press the B for B sword. Can't use it indoors though, so I guess I'll just go now. Ooh, a floating sword. Attack the chicken with a sword since it works differently in this game. You trying to get me murdered? Yeah, they duck and he just fucking neo dodges it. God, fuck. It's happening really quick, but I think that there's a single frame while Mallow's, like, head is back and he's still looking down and you see, like, the whites of his eyes. And it's kind of fucking terrifying. You might be able to pause and freeze frame that. It's still a lot. He's fucking furious. <laughs> he's like... <sighs> anyway. Why can't you murder Colin? Let me murder Colin. He doesn't stop. Nothing stops him. Do it one more time. Ah, oh, someone clipped it. That might be better than the live stream. Eh. 
He's fine. He's fine. Um, you guys, check out the sword. Oh my, isn't that a wooden sword, Porf? Whoa, she's right. Hey, can I see it for a sec? Seriously, lately these monkeys have been coming out of the woods and playing tricks on us. We want to get them good. Come on, teach us how to use a sword. Hey. Yeah. Young. Yeah, how old is Mel supposed to be? Uh, he's 24, just like Mario. All right, first off, we want to see that move. The slice. Uh, you swing. Yeah. yeah. Wow, a horizontal slice. Was that that was was that it? Was was I think he's seen you do vertical before. Next. I want to see the other move, Borf. The one where you tilt up while Z targeting, press B to flex your muscles and stab. Oh please, the stab. Oh Borf, just amazing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Lay it lay it on me. Lay it on me. Since you're at it, how about you show us that other move? You know, that little twirly thing you do? What do you call it? A spin with a J in the middle. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Mm-mm. 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 Also, ignore the extra counter hanging out at the bottom. It's fine. Fuck. You dare address me? Like it's hard to briefly hold B and release it. I feel like you should sound like Orson Welles. Spin. Oh, wow. Thanks, Borf. Sorry you have to waste your time with these little brats when you must be tired from doing all the important stuff you do. Hey, wait. You gotta show us the jump attack before you go. You go, hey, I'll leap through the air. Even though you just hold ZL, press A. Oh, yeah, real tough. The little, little swin, spin he does with his sword in his hand. It's pretty, pretty a fun little flourish. Everyone gives Mal the deepest voice they can. I mean, it's just the kind of guy he is. Malo pogged. Thanks, Porf. Uh, I think I get it, kind of. Maybe not. This means anytime one of those naughty monkeys shows up. Ah. Whoa! Naughty little monkey! With a flower in its hair and a butt! Come here, you! Yeah, they're all gonna get murdered. Do, 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 do. How is he affixing it to his back at present? He just kinda just kinda maybe stick some gum on there. It's the garbage ape. The forest critters rejoice at the arrival of garbage monkey. No trash monkey. It's the accomplice, the garbage ape. Tallow and Mallow went chasing like crazy people after that monkey. Can't keep up with those two. This is fucking terrifying. Hmm. Trash chip. Never trash chip. Hi, dear. Recycling chimpanzee. Go get some grace gun. <laughs> they went that way. The rest is up to you, Borf. I really wonder if they were designing characters and one of the artists at Nintendo drew Mallow. And they're like, oh my fucking god, we need to put him in the game and we need to make him a nightmare. Like, I, f I, I feel like they were, like, designed him to be a child and they were so just awestruck by his, his design. Yes, they did. That's excellent. Why am I crawling through here? I have no mini map. Yeah, this is just a shortcut to loop around. Who wrote Mallow? Are they okay? Hey, I'm back. They couldn't use Tingle. Yep, he was busy. Remember the basics of CQC, Snake. Probably don't want to die right now. Maybe later. Yeah. Freshly picked Rosie Rupee Land. Tingle in canon is a thing that happens to people. What about the bees? Oh, the oh from Metal Gear. <laughs> There's some of the bees in this. Do 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 do. 
Hmm, an open clearing, but no monsters. Curious. I need horns. I need horse. Where, where is my horse? Uncle Rupee curses Tingle. It's played like a spell or curse. Ooh. Hello, yours. How are you? Da, 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 da. It always seemed a little bit messed up to me that they replaced the Ocarina of Time and Majora Mask's uh, carrots with fucking spurs. <laughs> he doesn't even have cowboy boots. He doesn't have spurs. They could have just made them carrots again. Zoom! There's my horse. Whoa! It's a darker game! <laughs> yeah, it is. Try mounting opponent from behind. Oh, doesn't he hop on? And then you zoom? Or am I thinking of something else? Ready T for a reason. Yeah. Eh. Yeah. Whoop! Yeah, that's cute. Oh, and you get a zoom! First major Zelda title didn't have Tingle since his debut. There's a character meant to be a reference to him, but he's later. Um, don't want to go that way. Let's go this way. Hello there. Whoa, an Ordonian? Hey, guy. Yeah, I mean, you're just down the road from Ordon Village. Hey, listen. He's got a bird on his shoulder. I'm not sure he should be wandering around the woods without a lantern just because it's daylight doesn't mean it's safe. There are a ton of caves and dank spots around here. They get pretty dark, even in the middle of the day. Uncle Ruby is the creator of Tangle. It says being that gives us the person of Ruby since we have a Huh. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Bird nest. Yeah. Here. Go on, guy. Take this. You got a lantern. It's a must. Set it the thing and use it. Use it once to light it. Press A while standing still to put it out. Use it while lit to set things on fire. Don't be able to use it without oil. Make sure to refill it. See, I sell lantern oil here. Okay. It's coming back to me. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna give you a lantern for free. The oil's gonna cost you though. I'm trying to drum up sales by giving away free lanterns. It's a business tactic, guy. See, as long as you got oil to fuel your lantern, you can light your way and set fire to stuff. They're the best. Go on, guy, try setting a fire under that big pot. Yeah, but I need the oil, don't I? Ah, yes, the grift. Uh, what, what, you, you, uh, th this. Oh, it's already got some oil in there. That's nice. I get, what can I scoop? What is there to scoop? Is there something I can scoop? I gotta eat some bees first. Hold on. Hold on, my guy. Yours, my friend. There's a lot of capitalism in this game. Whoa, you can't. If you want to take a guy, you have to heat it to make it safe. What is it? It's just... Okay. That's right. See, it's on fire, guy. Yeah, you keep using that lantern anytime you feel the need. If it runs out of oil, you come to see me to get it refilled. Now I can soup? You put nasty soup in the bottle. It's Koro's special recipe. Set it to and use it with a thing. The only way to find out what it tastes like is to drink it. You hungry guy? If you want some soup, feel free to have as much as you'd like. But I don't know if you'll like it, so don't blame me if you get sick, okay guy? <laughs> I think that went down worse than bee larva. Holy shit. He had some healing. He went soup. Well. Wait, refilled. Is it actually healing? It's random effects. Oh. Holy shit, we actually found healing though. Huh. Are we getting used to it? <laughs> you gotta build up an immunity. Holy shit. It heals and it, 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 it heals what ails you, which is also it. It's healing. They put healing in here. Fuck, thank you for the soup. 
just take your HP down if you're already full and then it refills it if it's already low. Praise be the healed. Um Link doesn't know how to, I mean Borf doesn't know how to read. Uh thank you, Fire Actually swung back. Thank you for the soup. Thank you for the soup. It heals the ailment that it also caused. That's healing. Try it today. Oh no, no, big boulder. I guess I guess I gotta go into the spooky cave. All right, yours. Should randomize your HP. Play the same animation, just a roulette wheel. You stay here and be a good horse, all right? Or can I can I bring you through now that there's? Hmm. Doing low percent? Nope. You found a play wooden sword. It's Talos. Da na na na. Seeds. Seeds. Horse into a cave. Yeah, we don't need horse. Uh, eh. Yeah. No. Rude. Not sure how I feel about the lantern oil mechanic in general. Trying to remember if there's a part of the game where it's like, oh, this is interesting. On, rat! On account of the, uh. On account of the, the time pressure. Huh. Uh, this way. Eh. Yeah, I mean, it's been too long. I don't remember exactly. But. I don't recall exactly there being situations where it's like oh it's like it, it just means you have a bottle always dedicated to having oil in it from what i recall it's a stamina bar for your lantern right but it's but my point is it's like but if you can use that strategically to be like okay well now you're in a situation where you don't want to be using a lot of lantern oil you want to have your bottles to other things but it's just like it's just like well you're lightly inconvenienced it's not really an interesting new mechanic, right? Also, yeah, there's only a couple parts where you use it, which is fair. Uh, that's another thing that I do recall from this game, is that, um... Uh, some, especially some of the later game items, I just remember, um... Being very situational. This is, this is... This is a, a... Uh, uh, this is a, a game where the items are keys more often than not. Oh, is this the low percent gate? I think this is, right? Where they stand in place for however many hours. Probably the worst defender. I think Skyward Sword might be worse. A lot of the, the items you get in Skyward Sword are just like, you can use it to attack. But you should probably just use your sword. Well, I don't know what that is, Azul. Does the same thing Magic does to Power Lanterns, the other games I've heard over Magic for Lanterns? Yeah, I never like using Magic for Lanterns, but... I feel like at least in... In, like, Link to the Past, for example, you're never really... You rarely are like, oh, other than, like, the opening of the game. Um, which also is one of the areas with a lot of darkness. Um... You're rarely just like, oh man, I need magic for my lantern. Um. Oh, that's why there's music. There's a guy over here. Get him. Oh shit. The camera does not like that. Got him. Um. What is low percent gate? So low percent is a category for speed running, which is finishing the game with as few pickups as possible. So the fewest amount of items, heart containers, and his Zelda game stuff like that. Um. And as part so. It's very different than other speedruns, which is like, I'm trying to beat the game as fast as possible. It's like, the low percent speedrun is usually way, way longer than a normal any percent. Because normally they'll go out of their way to get stuff that saves them time later. Low percent is, doesn't matter how long it takes, just how few, it's more of a puzzle. I mean, all speedruns are kind of puzzly, but it's 
fascinating. But yeah, uh, as part of the low percent, there's a video that I highly recommend. Uh, he picks up a, a thing and stands here, and um, the animation where he's holding the thing and he's like, it's hovering above him and he's smiling, that animation loops. And my understanding is that as it loops, it moves him backwards, like essentially a pixel. I mean, it's 3D games, not pixels. But like an in in tiny, infinitesimally small amount. Every time he's like doing this, like rocking back and forth, it just clips him backwards a small amount. So they have him line up just like this, pick up a blue rupee, I think, for the first time. So it plays the animation. And then uh, he clips backwards through the gate over 17 hours. And then you're able to skip stuff. It's not a perfect loop. Yeah, it's like a frame is missing from the animation or something. Yeah, MD Major's got it. It's a very good video. Um, but it lets them skip a ton of stuff here and, and get to other parts of the game. Where they have other skips they can do. Low percent is down to 23% in Hollow Knight. Increase the run from 45 hours to like 47. Nice. I find low percent runs fascinating. Because it's like so much of what's fun about watching speedruns is like, oh my god. They're in this situation that the devs never expected where, like, you have this gear in this place or you don't have these things when you should and figuring out how to make that work and get through. And low percent is, like, entirely dedicated to that purpose. And any percent, it's just, like, a side effect of other glitches and tricks they've found. But low percent is just, like, how can we exploit every little thing in the game to finish with nothing other than what you start with if they can. Uh, yeah, yeah, TP low percent. The thing that sucks is that you have to wait 17 hours to be like, is it legit? And if you do it too early, then you pop back out on the wrong side of the gate. So, uh, yeah, it's rough. By playing as little as possible, you know? Let's play everything without picking it up. Absolutely. Yeah, no. Yeah, I guess the only thing that's interesting about the lantern oil is in situations like this, where it's like, okay, light the torches, and then put your thing away, and then, like, you have light. I guess it gives you a real reason to light torches. Because in Link to the Past, without a lit torch, you basically can't see anything. But in the 3D games, lit torches aren't that much more useful than, uh, than lighting a torch. Also, I just remember the heart containers are five shards instead of four. I'm not, I don't dislike it being five pieces. I'm very much used to four, so it's a little bit unsatisfying. Mostly, I just find that fifth of a heart in the bottom of the screen, it just is unsatisfying to look at. Um, having a quarter and it's just like, oh, it's just, it's a quarter, it just feels nice. A fifth is just, <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it looks stupid, it's just, a lot of it's just because I'm used to quarters, but it's just a little bit awkward. Okay, there's a dead end. Does that count? Until it counts. Fuck it. <laughs> Fuck it. I don't like that it's a fifth. Fine. I'm trying to be nice. <laughs> I thought it was, I thought it was critical, but it is a count. Undo. It's fine. It is petty. It's extremely petty. Because, theoretically... Oh, also he can run and swing. Holy shit. I don't think you can do that in Wind Waker. I think that's new to this one. Still think it should be zero. No, it's fine. The fishing animation did suck. It, listen, I'm supposed to be nice. Doesn't matter if people agree with me. I'm here to be nice. Shit. Did it count? No, don't worry about it. It's not a big deal. Boop, 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 boop. I was gonna say something I forgot. Can't do that. I'm not a wolf. Eh! Um, got myself a little bit turned ar turned around. Uh, th there's a way this way. I can't get up there. Um, where did I come in from? I didn't even look at the mini map until right now. Bop, 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 bop. The counter is the number of times I've said mean things. The bats kind of look like a Majora's Mask a little bit, do they? 
What am I missing here? I went down that little path. Do they look like a Majora's Mask? These kind of look like weird keys with little dangly bits. That cave was a dead end. So, I have a key. I sure did get a key. Wow, okay, yep. You can see what you want to see. What good is a bit if it don't dangle? A bit that isn't dangling is scarcely a bit at all. That is a fast animation. Let's go. Boom. One of my favorite TP runs. It's only five minutes. Yeah, Jim, this is an amazing runner. Jotwad Tass. The fuck is Jotwad? I'm sure it's explained. The description is a poem. A long poem. Okay. Jump off the tower and die percent. Oh. Got it. <laughs> and that somehow in the task lets mm, crazy things happen. Yeah. Do 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 Get him! Woo! Hey! Woo! This bird is bathed when I was playing Neon White. Woo! Yeah! Woo! Yeah! Woo! You're super! Yeah! Now just buy something! Hey! Welcome! Hey, buy something! Anything! This looks really good, camera. Thank you. What can I scoop? Oh, I can scoop a potion. Lantern oil refill, 20 rupees. Dip in there. Red potion, 30 rupees. What did that say? Blend of mushrooms and herbs replenishes life energy. All of Hyrule orders it. Mushrooms and herbs do heal you in breath of the wild. That checks out. Give me some lantern oil. Why would I steal from a bird? I'm not, a, I'm not, a, I'm not, a, I'm, not a, I'm a nice guy. Do, 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 do. Uh, permit for an image I created for the stream chameleon. Yeah, you should not pay. No to steal. I don't want to steal. I'm a good boy. Hey, hey, you over there, money. Put some money in. Sarcasm adds to the counter. Yeah, that's fair. Holy shit. Holy shit, chameleon. Holy shit. <laughs> this is amazing. Holy fuck. Ah, <laughs> uh, fuck. Oh, God, no. I'm not the legal guardian of Mallow. Oh, Jesus. All right. No, oh, good. Um. I stole. I stole. I'm gonna go back and pay. I feel bad. I feel bad. Ow. Wait, how much was it? I don't remember. Ow. 20 rupees. Hold on. Ow. Hold on. Ah. Fuck. 20 rupees. <laughs> don't steal anything. You just immediately. Whoop. <laughs> uh. All right. Great Deku tree is looking good. You stop it. Ugh. Look, I commissioned to draw the bird as bath. Oh my god. Woo yeah. Woo yeah. Mm hmm. Oh, I should have given him a tip. You're right. For your troubles. I'm gonna free that child and that monkey. And then murder the monkey. Yeah. Wait. And spin! Sup? Do, 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 do. Help! Let me out of here, please! <laughs> hey, Borf, come on! Set me free! Trust in me!
Oh my god, the monkey can talk and knows my name. <laughs> Did that in the most unsatisfying way ever. <laughs> Uh, all right, we did. We all right. Two hours in, we're almost done with the intro. I have need to pick up the pace. Do you have shoes? If you hadn't come, Porf G, me and that monkey would have gotten eaten probably. She's actually a pretty nice gal, that monkey. She tried to protect me, so we got captured together. Um, Borf, you're not gonna mention this to my dad, are you? He's always telling me to never ever go into the forest because he says it's dangerous. So you really can't tell him. Really, you have to promise. Borf! Hey! Why does my son smell like monkey in cage? My son told me Tattle disappeared into the woods and had not returned. Came as soon as I heard. Looks like you brought him home already. I apologize. Such a task should not fall to you. Tell me, have you noticed how strange this wood seems lately? I feel uneasy about what may lie in wait. Anyway, Borf, tomorrow's finally the day. You'll be departing for high rule. It's a good thing I've given my, this task to you. Good luck, and return safely. If you're lucky, you may even get to meet Princess Zelda. <laughs> oh. Nah. Nah, she's not going to come out of the castle for you. All right. You have a good time, the cat. Buy, my, buy me a souvenir. Give me a postcard. Oh, fuck yeah, more goats. If you put in less money, the bird calls you a cheapskate. If you give him a little more than the cost, he thanks you for your generosity. Also thanks you for your generosity to give him money without buying anything. That's nice. Hey, Borf! Yeah? Oh, so, almost time for you to get going, huh, Borf? How's about we finish up early today, bud? Don't mind if I do! Hey, what's with those triangles on your hand, Borf? Give me an ask you. Whoa, yeah, there's my horse. Hey. Okay, then, let's get started. Is the on stream chat clipping off the side of the screen sometimes? It does. Um, oh shit, I'm timed. Um, yeah, the, uh, the, the chat I, I switched to a little bit ago. Um, there's no setting. I can set what the maximum width is, but it doesn't respect that width if someone has a longer username. So for people with really long names, it makes the box wider, and it doesn't overflow into a new line. Um, and I haven't been able to fix it, and I might switch to a different chat box at some point. I just haven't had time to trouble fix it. I can, the only option I really have is to just make the text extremely tiny, but make the font small. But then obviously that's harder to read, so it's like... It's tough. Round up those goats. Do, 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 do. Why don't you help me? This can't be the only horse in town. Shit. Oh, we're already over a minute. Go on, get in there, Bessie. You get in there, Gessie. Go say hi to Tessie. The only this is a one horse town. Oh boy, but y'all can heard that was 150 faster than usual. Well, how about you rappers up for today? I was about you heading over to the mayor's place. Maybe a little bit of wrestling later. On. Oh, but you gotta get going to town. I know. Zoom. We're at one mean statement per hour. <laughs> Well, to be fair, not a lot has happened yet for me to complain about, other than, like, yeah, you can make an argument about this pace being slow, but it is at least for a purpose. It is establishing characters and stakes and starting you in that first step of the Campbellian hero's journey. You can make criticisms about the pacing of it, but at least there's clear intent behind it. It's not just... What if it took a long time? Well, nice work. Yeah, I did it. The royal gift Russell told you for is about ready, so you should go get ready for your trip to Hyrule Castle. Now, the royal family requested this gift specifically, so it's real special. It'd be bad if the representative for Vordon were to be late for such an occasion, you get me, lad? 
The path before you is a long one, my sweet horse, but please bear Borf safely along it. Wait, what's this? The fuck did you do? What happened? She's injured, isn't she? Oh. Uh, Borf, how could you? You were pushing yours too hard again. I bet you heard her like jumping fences, didn't you? Now, now, Ilya, jumping fences is real cool. Father? How can you be so easy on him? You're the mayor. You should start acting like one. Mm, poor thing. Mm -hmm. It'll be all right, Kyoris. I'll take you to the forest spring right meow. Once we soothe you in the spirit spring, you'll feel better in no time. Yes, yeah, it's, it's good water in there. Wait, Ilya! Why, without Kyoris, the gift won't get delivered in time. Well, guess we have time for wrestling now. Take off your shirt. Don't want to get that covered in grease. Yeah, I'm gonna go check in on her. Yeah, it's leave it. Please attack the chicken. It really is different. What's a father to do? There's no way you'll be able to deliver our town's gift without yours. Another goose! Another goose loose! Another goat is loose, another goose is low. Get him. Eat him. The ghost is loosed. Sorry to always be putting you through this more way. Better get going for you. What you gonna do? Maybe you can head up to where he is. See if you won't give it to the horse. All right. I don't want to. Link's looking at you, chat. I don't like this. Wait, no, 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 don't leave town. He's fine. What? Did it break? I control it? What? Eh. Why would your reward for hurting a chicken be to become chicken? I moved the stick and nothing happened. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my oh my god, wait. Uh. Boy, being a chicken's confusing, huh? <laughs> you alright, you alright there, Borf? Having a normal one? Maybe we'll get a different chicken. I don't think that chicken's working out. I don't think I knew about this. I had no reason to attack the chickens. I learned my lesson. Shit. Well, now he's swimming and kicking his little feet. It's really good. Hey, bud. You're gonna get out of the water now? And he's just judging me now. It's like, bitch, I'm a boat. What are you gonna do? Get you from here. Shit. Hmm. Um. Eh. I'm the good guy, right? I'm the good guy. I'm gonna save the world. Anyway, let's get the fuck out of here. Uh, eh. You can pick it up when it gets close to the water's edge. Got it. That is extremely bizarre. Hey, Borf! Are you gonna see Ilya? Maybe it's just me, but those guys don't normally let people through. Borf, you think you can think we can go see Ilya together? That's a bad idea, buddy. You should stay here. Why chicken <laughs> Borf, hello again. Ooh, you're gonna Hyrule Castle, ain't you, Borf? That must be so nice. I wanna go to Hyrule too. 
I mean, there's nothing that looks good on me in this town. Okay. All right. Yeah. We've been waiting for you, you know, Borf. Oh, God. He wants uppies. Yesterday was so much fun. Yeah, chasing that monkey was great. I was just telling Mallow here about how we wanted to show it to him, but we let it go instead. Oh, you didn't get caught, Tallow? Oh, Colin. Way to spoil everything by telling your dad. Nice job. Yeah, thanks a lot. We got scolded by our dad something awful. Thought it was never going to end. I bet you're trying to go see Ilya, aren't you? Well, there's no way I'm going to let you pass. Oh, hey, neat, Borf. Let me borrow that wooden sword. If I had that wooden sword yesterday, I could have handled it all alone, definitely. Let me borrow it right now. Okay. I don't need it. Well, yes! yes! But this thing, I'll show him. He's gonna go... He's gonna go start a fucking... He's gonna go do crimes. Borf! Thanks. These guys are always teasing me. What's so fun about swinging something like that around anyway? I hate it. It's scary. When I grow up, I want to be just like you, Borf. You know, incompetent with swords. Hey, thanks, kid. I don't want to learn about swords or anything, but could you teach me how to ride a horse sometime? Can you? You have to promise. Are you going to promise? Yeah, I gave a sword to Tallow, and I'm going to give a gun to Mallow. Uh, kid... First, l lesson number one. It's pronounced yours. Well, thank you, Lincoln Wisdom. Check out these sword moves, Mallow. If I had this wooden sword yesterday, I would have caught that naughty monkey, don't you think? Huh? Wait, weren't you just telling me how you did catch the monkey with Borf? Oh, uh, yeah, anyway, practice. Time to practice. He's doing it. I bonked it with this wooden sword and caught it really quick, but I felt kind of bad for it, so I let it go. But you didn't have a wooden sword then, did you, Mr. Liar? Yeah, anyway, practice. Time to practice. Something's fishy about this. Mallow is a little sus of tallow. Come back soon when you get back. You've told me all about Castletown. Yeah, you got it. Goodbye. Hold the swords. Yeah, he's, he's fine. He's not going to hurt anybody. Their dad will show up eventually and sort it out. He'll be fine. No, oh, jeez. Borf! If you came to take yours back, you can forget it. Why don't you think about what you've done for a change? I won't open the gate till you change your attitude. Sword it out. Thank you, Viz. Forget it. Lilia, you don't know what happened yesterday. Listen, I don't know if she'll listen to me, but let me try to explain about Tal and the monkey, okay? You crawl in here through the tunnel while in the back while I do, Borf. I could just tell her I'm sorry at entering through the gate. Or I don't clear up the misunderstanding and just sneak in. Hee <laughs> hee. That's my horse, woman! Can I go first person still? Yeah. But I can't I can't move. Okay. I like the first person crawling in Wind Waker for some reason. It's just kinda satisfying. Remember the basics of crawling. Goo goo gaga. I had no idea. I hadn't heard the details about Talos' capture. But Colin! So you still prefer your master over me, huh, Hyorse? Don't worry about your Hyorse Bjorf. Fortunately, it looks like the injury isn't too serious. You two can go on together. But Borf... Can you at least promise me this? What? No matter what happens on your journey, don't try to do anything out of your league, please. Just come home safely. Yeah, right. Whoa, whoa, yeah, mm-hmm. Oh no, a Bjor! Oh, she's dead. And we're concussed. Okay, it's still attached to her, good. 
Seemed like the kind of shot they would use when they like cut off an arm. It just zooms out. This fucking guy. Ganon looks good in this game. Oh shit. Goon, everything's fine. They legit chop off Link's arm? That's pretty metal. They took my horse! <laughs> Let me zoom in with my eyes. <laughs> Does that count? Is that a counter? That might be a counter. Oh no! Things are getting real bloomy out here. Oh! Orlando Bloom? Steve Bloom? Which Bloom? Yeah, in the in the in the pre-release uh, footage they revealed, oh, the Twilight Realm was like more like black and white, like desaturated. Oh! Boy, their designs really are something. He's fine. So that's why his name was Borf. Oh. It's Borfin time. <laughs> Shit. Who's that? I'm sure it's fine. Now we can finally have a dog. When wait, but when you're a dog, you can't you can't pet yourself. Pepe hands. The ultimate tragedy. Uh, does it actually sound like they're being the voice acting booth? Yeah, they probably did. Your drawing is good now. GG. Thank you, dear. I got the dear seal of approval. <laughs> Thanks, Outcast. Oh! You can get pet. Yeah, I suppose. They skip a secret street from Link emerging from a tunnel into the spring to Wolf Link wake up in prison. <laughs> eh. Eh. Yeah, eh. 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 Nice hat. Thanks. Did, does her pointy tooth retract? Great day. It looked like she didn't have it, and then it, it like popped out. I found you. You're gay. Oh, aren't you scary? Are you sure you want to be doing that snarling and glaring at me? Well, that's too bad. I was planning on helping you if you were nice. What is this camera framing? What is this camera framing? Don't worry about it. I'm not gonna worry about it. Rule of thirds. No, that's fine. Camera could be a little bit higher. Hey, that that's much better. You humans are obedient to a fault, ain't you? They were s imping. Oops! Why aren't you? You aren't a human anymore, are you? You're a beast. Ee he. Oh, she was talking out of her ass. Mm -hmm. There, there. You be a good boy and calm down. No need to bite. She's tea posing. Hadouken. Okay, now now take off the the rest of it. You look kind of surprised. Ee hee hee. So I bet you're wondering where exactly are we? Oh. 
She can do like Mario and Mario Sunshine. Well, I'll make you a deal. If you can get over here, maybe I'll tell you. Okay, bye. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a Mass Effect ripped them off of the camera. Well, bang, okay. Yeah. I'm a dog. Uh, this... So far... Looks way better than it did on the Wii. Because there's still a ton of bloom. But having it in HD... I feel like on a CRT... Playing with in like 480i it was just it felt like there was just vaseline smeared on the lens everything was just so i mean maybe it's like worse when we get outside i don't know but just even the cutscene it just like it it was nice and nice and crisp anyway my dig like it's definitely still got aggressive bloom but it's it's like comparatively comparatively toned down at least that's how it feels in my brain maybe side by side it wouldn't look that different i don't know I guess you're not completely stupid after all. I'm still mostly stupid. Listen, I like yes, I think I'll get you out of here. But in exchange for my help, you have to do exactly as I say. If you need anything from me, just press L and give me a sign. Why is it not on the D-pad anymore? Whatever. Are we all clear? Good. Come on, let's get moving. I, I have the sound of Minda's little voice clip emanating from the Wiimote speaker embedded somewhere in my brain. Just the little noise that she makes. Because every time she wants to say something, you go like, blip, 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 like through your, like the crunchy little speaker. Which, in hindsight, probably drove everyone else in the house insane. <laughs> Just hearing that constantly. L. What's that? Try pressing ZL and then uh, you'll figure it out. Now that's a tutorial. Ah yes, levers for dogs inside the prison. Eh. Yeah, dog money. Dog money. Yeah. Not me, GameCube. Yeah, you're missing out on the horror. And man, of all the weird things with the Wii, the controller, speaker, and then of all the things for Sony to be like, yeah, that's great, let's add that. And then it's like, fast forward to me playing Death Stranding being like, holy fuck, a baby just made noise out of my controller. I forgot that games could do that. It's bizarre. Oh god. I sure do have OBS open on the BG a lot. Who the fuck just subbed to me? <laughs> yeah, every now and then I've had like, either like, I've like opened up my Twitch dashboard to check something, or like had Streamlabs open for some reason, and someone subbed, and it's like, what? <laughs> it's like, two in the morning, what? Oh, well, well. Ee hee, wanna see something interesting? You're a beast! Press X to hone your senses and poke around. Oh. Man, it is nice having these on face buttons. Instead of like, Okay, you're holding the Wiimote, but now you gotta, like, hit, like, up on the D-pad, or you gotta, like, you know... It was just like, like, there weren't a lot of buttons on the Wii. So it was a little bit awkward. They used every, everything they could. Huff, huff. Can't run away further. That's far enough, right? I'll be safe here, I think. What was that noise? Don't, don't get anything come near me. I'm a friend. I'm a friend. Whoa. That was a soldier's spirit. Maybe it's someone from the other world. <laughs> the second epic Mickey used in a robot hacking minigame. The motion controls were terrible. Listening to the sound cues by the speakers was a good call. Huh. That's nice. I'm trying to remember a good example of the speaker being used. I feel like the only thing I can think of was... I think it was in Twilight Princess. Was when you would use the, um, the bow and arrow. It would fire... It would play the, like firing sound from the speaker and like get quieter so it was just this like oh it's leaving your hands and going into the the tv which is like every time i did that no more heroes how'd they use the speaker no more heroes just to play sound effects or was there something else to it i'm endeared to tattle because we're sibling motivation for the plot game with the main character tattle is like if navi had spunk in a way that was interesting 
It's fun when the helper characters have strong motivation. Minda has strong motivation. She just doesn't clue you into it. She's very coy for a long time, if I remember. Spirit Tracks Zelda is just the best. When she called Travis. Oh, yeah, you would hold up the phone. That's right. I forgot. You would get the phone calls and you'd have to hold up the Wiimote to your ear like a goddamn phone. Yeah, that's pretty amazing. Is that any better than just getting it out of the TV? No. As a gimmick, excellent. It's great. Great character implemented terribly. I just didn't really care about her in my first playthrough. And then later on when they're like, you should care about her. I was like, but I don't, I, I don't know anything about her. She's just a little gremlin. Um... I, and, and she's rude to me, so, you know, now knowing what I know, I'm curious how I feel about the different scenes with her. Because, yeah, she doesn't really clue you into stuff for a long time. There's so much character to her. She's, she's sassy. But it's like, the difference is like with Tattle, very, very early on, almost right away, you have this like, she like, defects to your side, basically. And like, is trying to work with her brother and like, has feelings about the Skull Kid that are interesting, like, and you know all that, you know? Pretty early on. And I, I don't know. I, I don't remember. I don't remember where the plot beats happen in this. Um, uh, there are lots of other spirits roaming around here. You know, you hone your senses. They might know things. Yeah. I don't think I still carry bad writing. Ding the counter. No. I'm not dinging the counter for that. Um, I don't, I'm not saying that subtle's bad. To me, it's that you know that there's stuff going on with her, right? There's She's too important to not have stuff going on. Um... But to me, subtle would be like, oh, you can you can understand. Whoa, that shadow was really weird for a sec. Um, I feel like it was like something to go on, where you're like, oh, I I I can like theorize what her deal is, which I guess maybe you can anyway. That's also I described Bath. Yeah, a little gremlin is a term of endearment. You absolutely can. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'll 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 see as we go. I'm I I am dealing with. What, it's, uh, 16 year old memories, right? Yeah, it's been a minute. It's been a minute since this game came out, huh? I doubt you've used, you used, used to your new your body, yeah, I'll tell you. Think about how you fought enemies in your human form. Because your new shape has changed doesn't mean your instincts have as well. Yeah. Regards to exposition later. Yeah, that's kind of part of it. Certainly get why she's rude to Link after learning about her history of the rest of her kind. It does make sense. I feel like by the end of the game, I find her to be a much more interesting character, and that's not a bad thing, right? Having character development, having a character that doesn't immediately trust you with their life story, that's all good. I'm not saying that's a bad thing. That would be nonsense to imply otherwise. Um, that's not really my point. I think it's like, in the absence of understanding a character, I want to have other reasons to care about them other than just like, well, their design is neat. And I feel like, I feel like, and it's subjective, <laughs> but I feel like for me, I didn't quite get that from her until much later on. I didn't have a lot going on other than just like, I don't know what's happening. <laughs> yeah, I got you, Amity Major. Deer was hopping around a little bit earlier. Uh, it might be AFK. She's a sassy little gremlin. Yeah, and if that's enough for you, then excellent. I'm not going to say that that's not enough. It might not have been enough for me, personally, but... Uh... <laughs> Perfect. Zero notes. Oh, God. Yeah, woo! Yeah! Yeah, woo! Yeah! Get rid of that. <laughs> yeah, woo! It's Baff! They're the bird! Thank you. I also, now that I'm thinking about this game again, you know, it's been a minute. Um, I just had a, a vivid memory come back to me. Um, of, uh, finishing this game. And I'm not going to get into specifics because I don't, you know, we'll get there. Um, and I, uh, my, I, uh, the way the, like, our family room in my childhood house was set up, it's like, it was like where the couch and TV was, was like, next, right next to where we would have dinner. Um, and my family was sitting there having dinner, and they were like, if you don't come to dinner right now, we're like, you're not having dinner. We're gonna, like, put all the food away. 
and I was trying to finish the game because I thought I was almost done. It was like, this is the final boss battle. And this game has like 17 final boss battles in a row. And I every time I was like, no, no, I'm almost done. I'm almost done. I was really invested. I was like, I want to see it through. And uh, it just wouldn't end. <laughs> so I did eventually, I, I think I did eventually finish the game and then have dinner. It was fine, but similar experience to Skyward Sword. Mm-hmm. They, they set the game up where you're like, clearly this is the end of the game, but it just keeps going. Should I press the home button? Yeah, no, I really should have, but I was like, I don't want to stop at this point. I was neutral to her at first. Once I actually learned about her, I liked her. Not like Starlo from Mario Luigi or Kirsty from Sticker Star, which is rude and condescending, and you're expected to find the streets endearing. I agree in that her more abrasive nature to Link does become more endearing once they have more of a rapport. At this stage, wow, the shadows are really strange. I don't know if that's just because of the HD version or something. Um, it does drag on, but um, I find that later on, once you feel like you have more of a connection to her, it is more palatable to me. When it's just, I'm sassy to you. Like, Navi is just kind of like, hey, you doo-doo head, did you forget what to do? And it's like, all right, thanks. He sit. Whereas that's what it feels like when Minda first hops on. She's like, you're kind of dumb, aren't you? It's like, okay. But, yeah, that's, that's it, it. I think it does work out in the long run. It just, when you don't know that things are going to happen later, it's just kind of like, all right, I wish you weren't just so fucking rude to me all the time, I guess. I'm doing my best. Oh. Where are these black things? Where are they coming from? How do we get out of here? That's just poop. You're in a sewer. Oh, there she go. This way, over here. I'll be waiting for you, but you have to help yourself for a change. Yeah, okay. I was criticizing a different game. Yeah, I don't think that was that a, a call for me to increase the counter. I'm talking about how I remember experiencing the game. I'm not sitting here... I'm not sitting here right now saying I hate her character and it's bad. I'm saying, based off what I seem to remember from years ago, thing for the shadows? I wasn't even mean. I just pointed it out. I didn't say I hate the... Did I say I hate the shadows? Calm down. <laughs> I'm allowed to react to things. <laughs> I was just like, oh, that's weird. I don't know if that was in the original or not. That's, that's not mean. I'm putting my foot down. How do I get... How, I gotta dig somewhere, huh? Wait, can I lower the water and dig? I don't remember. I'm just gonna pull things to see what happens. I hate shadows. I hate Shadow the Hedgehog. I hate video games. Everything's bad. Hello. Sterile comments, the void of potential feelings. What are these monsters? They're fine. Hey, yeah. I hate cheese. I like my shadows like I like my cheese. Invisible and non-existent. Midday sun and or, or bust. Um, I remember also playing this back in the day. Uh, my brother had a very strong enjoyment of the Twilight Realm battle music. He said he always pictured it as um, as a single guy, uh, just like sitting. I'm not. I'm probably gonna remember it exactly the way he described it to me. Just the guy with like a keyboard, and he's just jam. He's just just fucking going nuts with it. Cause that's just what the battle music is. Just get him in and you'll describe. Yeah, I'll have to hit him up. And be like, hey, what? How, what did you think for it? I'm just part of a lowly soldier. Someone save me from these evil creatures. If I, I'm back. Only the streamer for the playthrough. Uh, might be the playthrough. We'll see. Yeah, oh, I did the detour tire. Yeah, little wolf. By the way, are you using X to hone your senses like you should? It looks like the spirits in here. They're all soldiers. Where in the world could we be? Ee hee. You want out of here, right? Okay, we're off. Let me out of here. Really, Discord works really well. Yeah, it's really good for how unsettling the Twilight Realm is. Yeah, it's, I mean, I, I, 
what, during the cherry stream, it was how many, how much money to raise to, for me to be nice to the game. And I said 10k. Wait, hey, listen to this music. Just imagine a single guy just jamming out on a keyboard. Fuck. Just getting real into it. I like how Wolf Link grabs it and, like, tosses it aside. It's a very good detail. I did forget the goal. <laughs> I, I was... I, you, you can excuse me for being too just completely blown away by someone... Nice. By someone dropping 2k on a non-charity stream for the charity. Yeah, music's good. The day of light tricking in from whatever angle it can, like how the lights might be odd at dusk and dawn. Maybe. There's definitely unintended stuff going on, though. Two different keys to the distance? Yeah. I hate to remember. Why are you... What are you doing? I'm good. Yeah. She wants to yell. I guess I have to do everything for you. Look, I'll show you all the small edges. Just Z target me and press A to jump to where I am. I did it. Um, I'm gonna preemptively increment the timer. This sucks. <laughs> I'm not a fan. <laughs> It's, 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 it's the absence of gameplay. It's just, it looks flashy, but you have zero choices and zero control. The only thing I like about it is the rising tones every time you jump are just satisfying. That's about it. But, it's just, I don't know. It bothered me back then and it bothers me now. That guy just fucking beefed it. I think he can put stuff down as a dog. Um, do I need to get over here for any reason? I don't get it, but okay. It, it's it's like instead of there being some gameplay component where they give you like I don't know. I'm not gonna say that this is better than what they have. It's just I'm just spitballing here. But it's like okay, you gotta lock on, and then it's like okay, here's where you can go, and it's like left or right, and you have to like pick where the the bricks aren't crumbling. You know, something as simple as that, like, okay, that's crumbling, so I go left, and then I go up, and it's as quick, right? You'd be like, bump, 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 bump. It doesn't take longer, but you have something to do in your brain. Every time in this game, it's like, oh, you have platforming to do as, as Wolf Link with Midna. You press ZL, and then you tap A, and then you get to the top. It's There's nothing to it. It's not even an upgrade. Well, as an upgrade, I would still be mad. Uh, whoops. Um, you have to time it or fall. Which is better, absolutely better. But I'm saying like even the default should have some consideration of what the player's doing. There's no risk to it. Exa yeah, it, it, exactly, Chief Smith. There's no risk to it, so you just turn off your brain. It's just, it's just like I don't have to even look at the screen. I did it. Like it, it's it, and like not having to look at the screen. Does that mean it's bad inherently? No, but. That's it's part of what I don't like about it. It's just like there's nothing engaging about it. So they like turning off your brain. Well, I do like turning off my brain, but part of that's just because when I'm streaming, my brain doesn't have any thoughts. <laughs> so anyway, let's go say hi to someone. Oh, like I'm a dog. I can't open doors. Um. Hey, you want to uh, let me up on a thing? But it sounds good. Yeah, no, as I said, the, the audio design for it is stellar. You have to stand specifically here. That's the other part of it. It's like, you gotta be in the right place. Whatever. You know where we are yet? He. Yeah, I remember. I love exactly because I don't need to think. That's very fair. Except for the climb of the frozen waterfall and Zora's Domain we're doing so makes you fall. Yeah, yeah, I do remember that now. You have to wait for, like, icicles to fall or something. Quick some event spam, behold, be then release. Yeah, the Wolfling stuff is a lot simpler. Which, again, like that, I'm not as... I don't have as many criticisms about that because... Instead of being, here's a different mode as Wolf Link with its own complicated 
Like, you get items for Wolf Link, and you level up his attacks, and his combat is intricate. I like that they keep it simple and focus on different things. And the idea of leaning into, like, more platforming stuff makes sense. A wolf should be more agile and faster than Link on foot. Um, so I'm okay with that. Um, it's just like when, like, one of the core things of, like, here's the pillars of what Wolf Link can do. One of them's like, hey, you do it, you hold the thing. But it's like, yeah, when you create that radius around you and, like, instant attack everything, like, that's different. That's interesting. I, I, I like that part of it. South through a small opening in Uncharted. We used to hide loads as well. Then when I think of it as the case, here's a similar example. Yeah. Well, what it reminds me of is um in, in Kingdom Hearts 3, there's uh, uh there's places where there's like sparkling step stones. And you I think you just hold up, if I remember. I don't even think there's a button press to it. And then he just like hops from one to the other. Um and they use it like three times. And it, it, it that 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 when that popped up in that game, and there was a tutorial text being like, when you see it. The one, oh no, and the path is out, but there's sparklies, just keep walking and it'll be fine. And my brain just, that, that message bored itself into my brain and it just, and like, that, that, oh, that makes me mad. It's like, you could have done anything different. You gave yourself, as developers, more work to do in a way that, as the player, the experience is identical to just, just, what if I just walked through the room? Why did you make all this? So, anyway. Yeah, you can just basically swap. Yeah, that's fine. Increment the counter compared to Kingdom Hearts. I, I, I don't know if I need to increment the counter because it's all in the same, the same rant. <laughs> anyway, if you go to the top, you might figure it out. Yeah. You know where we are? Hey, chat, do you know where we are? You have one guess. Some kind of a castle. Oh! What the? A lot of this complex for me. Yeah. You drive yourself with a wall of swing I never even think about. Well, I mean, different brains latch onto different things. It's not like it's my biggest complaint with the game or anything, but it's something that stood out to me for a long time. That, uh... Um, I highly, highly recommend... Uh, I, I, uh, there's a YouTube channel. The user's name is Matthew Matosis. He has very good game design videos. And he did a recent video about context sensitivity. Um, and not just in the idea of walking up to a box and then a button pumps up that's like press the a button to pick it up that's like the starting point he extrapolates it to a much bigger idea of context sensitivity to the extent of like in a game like eco there's no button prompt to grab onto a chain you jump towards it and then i think you press the grab button whereas in a different game like god of war you walk up to a chain and then a prompt appears and you press it and a canned animation plays and now you're in climbing mode and he gets into, like, how that affects... Thank you, Tom. Um, he gets into, like, how that affects different parts of the game's design, why one might be good for different types of games or the other. Um, he's a very gameplay-first, gameplay-focused kind of guy. If you watch a lot of his videos, you get that. Um, so you might disagree, which, that's... It's game design. It's subjective. But it's been on my mind a lot since I watched that video that, like, that's also part of what I feel about stuff like this. It's highly context-sensitive, which then creates these barriers. It keeps you further away from the action. Um, and, and it, it, I play games because I want to engage with it. Uh, especially a game like this, where you're, like, running around and exploring and platforming and fighting and stuff. And the more these, these barriers are up, the more it feels like I'm on this kind of, like, I don't know. It, it, it I, he, he says a lot better than I can. Um, but it's a very minor thing that just, like, rubs me the wrong way. I guess that's it. So, whatever. Tend to be storied first. Also, JRPG guy. My games are mechanically the same, anyways. Well, there's a lot of variety in JRPGs, but yeah. Automizing these, uh, automating these jumps, and it saves the player from the headache of having to do it manually, though. It's that the, the, I. No, it's functionally the same, but at least tapping the A button here and going bump, bump, bump makes it feel like you're doing something. If it was just like you walk to a mid to warp point and then she goes to the end point and you tap a button, you're there. I'd be even more just like. Why not just have a ramp? <laughs> like, it, that was just, it's like even more. Paying more attention to gameplay than I used to. Well, I appreciate, I mean, that's the, I like talking about that kind of stuff. And I like talking about the kinds of things that some people might not immediately pick up on the way I would or whatever, right? So, yeah, well, that, that's my whole point. Yeah. I just do and barely think. Well, also, yeah, when I play a game for the first time, I just do and I slightly think. It usually takes something like that multiple times for me to be like, huh, 
I'm feeling a, I'm, I like, there's a, a inkling of a thought where every time the Minna thing pops up, I'm not like, oh boy. I'm just kind of like, oh. Now, and now I'm like, okay, let me take a step back. Why am I not excited when the Minna jump things happen? You know? And in my case, that happened years after I played the game. I just have thought about this game in the years since I played it. So. Anyway, uh, we're finally able to get out. I look at the sky. Isn't the black cloud of twilight looking beautiful today? Do you know where this is? You still don't know. E -E. Look, there's someone I want to introduce you to, but I'll need you to uh, go to that tower to do it. Okay. I've literally never felt emotion anyway towards Minda jumping. <laughs> but it's also like, that's one of the opportunities they have, not only to create unique gameplay as Wolf Link, but to give you a connection to Midna, where there's like a push and pull between them. You know, even if it was a thing where like, you tap a button and she flies out, and then you jump and like jaw grab onto her hand, and then she like flings you along. It's like a weird grapple hook. Like, like they're leapfrogging with each other. If that was a thing you could do, and even if they said you can only do that in specific places, that just gives you like more of a connection to Minna. Instead of like, you teleport and follow her. I don't feel like I have any kind of connection to her. I don't know. Every time I come look back at the stream, I just see Barry gesturing wildly at the game and it feels me with glee. Why would you be excited? I just feel neutral about it. Like, that's why I'm a little perplexed. Well, my point is that I don't want to feel neutral. I want to feel interested and excited. I want it to be like... Okay, here's an example. In this game, once you get the, the, the AoE thing where you zoom around and attack the guys, then when those things slam down and those guys appear, it's like, oh shit, okay, I have to deal with this now. Now it's like a puzzle to solve. It's a combat encounter. There's stakes. That, that, that gives me an emotion. I want the game to give me the emotion. If that fell down, I just kind of went... Then I'd be like, why even bother? Why is this in the game? The, so, some of the segments get really frustrating. So it's like, you can hate it, but it's still an emotion. So I would... I, 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 if anything, I maybe prefer hate to neutral. Maybe that's the point. Because at least hate is like, they're trying to do something. They're trying to give you this little combat puzzle. And maybe you don't like them or how frequent they are, or the pacing or whatever. But it's like, I still prefer that to like... Let me tap A a few times. So maybe that's my point. Does everything need to excite you? Shouldn't it give you ups and downs? Absolutely, but that's not really... I'm, I'm, that's more of a pacing thing to me. Like, the ups and downs involve, like... You know, there's long stretches of this game where you're traversing terrain. Those are lows. There's low stakes. You're just kind of moving through the space. You're going from one place to another. Whatever that is. Um, but when it's like, here's a mechanic of the game that you're engaging with... I don't want that to be a low. That should be more interesting. It doesn't even be the most exciting thing in the game, right? Top of my screen. I, I'm just repeating myself at this point. I'm going to keep going, but... There are even spirits up here. This whole spirit thing is pretty new to you, isn't it? Even though these guys can see these monsters, they don't know a thing about you. Think I'm lying, why don't you check it out? Hone your senses. Bit corridor -esque. It is, uh... I don't remember the overall structure too well. I don't remember if there's parts that become more wide linear or not. Uh, what are these monstrous boys? What is in the world is happening here? Our poor Hyrule Castle. Oh, it's Hyrule Castle. I thought this was Ordon Village. Two, the sequel to Ordon Village. Ee <laughs> hee, that wasn't the person I wanted you to meet, by the way. Well, let's just try and get to that tower. Yeah. <laughs> let's uh, push with your dog face. I'm just feeling a whole lot of not neutral from everything else in the game that whenever I'm in a jump spear, they literally do not even begin to cross my mind. That's fair. This wasn't the hill I wanted to die on. It was meant to be a little three second, like, I don't find them interesting. I didn't expect it to be a controversial take. <laughs> so. Get him. Yeah. God, their noises are excellent. They're so weird. I had to jump on him. I don't think I fell on my own sword. I think I just didn't have as much to say as the questions that people had for it. So, like, I'm just gonna move on now. Hello! Get him! Get him! No! Saw that coming. Not of this world. Yeah, it's not even just like, oh, this is a reflection of our reality. Like a dark world in a normal Zelda game, which has been done many times. This really feels like something fucked up is going on here. 
These things are not supposed to be here. <laughs> Excellent sight. Well, I, w I would hope so. I would hope. Oh, it's just New York. The city of smoke. Shit. Guys, <laughs> I just fucking backflip. Uh, this is a little awkward spot to fight. I'm just gonna run past. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or I can fight him over here where there's more room to fight him. That's also an option. Please stop hanging out near the edge. Thank you. There they go. Uh, Can I grab onto that? I don't remember. Let's grab onto that. Jump! Grab it! I could grab onto that. Shit. What do you think you have thumbs? I thought he would grab it with his dog face. Listen, I didn't think about it. Maybe he's got little dog thumbs. Was it a dew claw? Isn't that a dog thumb? Yeah. Get over here. If only I could bark and fire a laser beam out of my face. Now that would be a video game. Um, turns out you're supposed to walk over here. Look, it's just a little farther. Look, chat, it's your favorite part of the game. I just... It's a, a just, just a little jeep. That was mean. That was mean to chat, not the game. <laughs> <laughs> That's a different counter. Ah! Gentlemen, one at a time. Thank you. Yeah, alright. The tower. We made it. Wonder who's in here. It's probably just been the. She's like, gotcha. I just want to sit in this chair. Barry's upset with chat counter because. <laughs> Check how you got it. Oh, special thanks for the handy. Wait for that to play. He's watching me poop in, watching me poop in, watching me poop in. He's on the wall and he's watching me poop in, watching me poop in, watching me poop in. Oh god, he's crawling here. It's that time he disappeared. Flush him down the toilet. Don't want no spiders watching me while I'm pooping. Thank you very much for the handy. Oh shit, it's Darth Maul. <laughs> Barry's upset. Chat meter is the stream timer. I'm not upset. Peter critiques the things I love is my favorite thing. I I like it too. I, it, it, but specifically, if someone's gonna criticize something that I'm into, I want it to be something I can understand, even if I don't agree. So that's always why it's like I want to clarify my position, because I'm not saying you need to agree with me. God no! You don't have. To, you can think I'm extremely wrong and broken, um, but ideally you understand some inkling of where I'm coming from. That's the point, right? Because I've watched videos where it's like, oh, I love this game, and they're just like, this game sucks, but they don't say anything interesting about it. They're just like, it sucks, it's bad, and it feels bad to play. And it's like, you, you didn't give me anything to chew on and be like, oh, that's interesting. Like you had that experience with it. It's just like. Very superficial. I like getting more specific, you know, that nitty gritty. So, it's not a valid critique. Yeah, that's bath in the cold jump. <laughs> the whole reason to hit this game has been a jump. Yeah, if they just remove those. Anyway, we're gonna have a cutscene. Why do I like if you do? Yeah, that, that's also why I like hearing why people dislike games I like. It helps me reaffirm how I feel about it. Oh shit. It's not a review, it's an opinion. Yeah, it's not a critique. <laughs> Who goes there? Mm -hmm. Midna? Mm -hmm. Ehe, -he, you remembered my name. What an honor for me. So, this is the one for whom you were searching. 
He's not exactly what I had in mind, but I guess he'll do. Dog. Buppy. You were imprisoned. You must have been a very bad dog. I'm sorry. Poor thing, he has no idea where this is or what's happened. So don't you think you should explain to him what you've managed to do? You owe him that much. <laughs> Twilight Princess, ee Twilight Princess? What, are we some kind of wind waker? Listen carefully. This was once the land where the power of the gods was said to slumber. This was once the kingdom of Hyrule. But that blessed kingdom has been transformed by the king that rules the twilight. It's been turned into a world of shadows ruled by creatures who shun the light. Yeah, that's just me after living inside for a couple of years. So I get it. Oh, they're skittering. Yeah, you gotta you got take them out all at once. Or they just revive. I mean, it's like that they gave her a sword. Yeah. Oh, shit. There he is. What a great design. Yeah, I love that she has a sword. It's it's such a detail that just tells you everything you know about this Zelda. It's time for you to choose. Surrender or die. Oh yes, a question for all the land and people of Hyrule. Life or death? I'm not gonna do that for you. <laughs> Very painful. No! Princess, you dropped your sword. Fiber. You're delivering a sword for a coronation. Oh, that makes sense. Oh. Fiber! What will break first, your fiber or your bowels? What? You got it. How does he see? Magic. Hey, castle always been on fire? Hey, we always been spirits? Twilight covered Hyrule like a shroud, and without light, the people became as spirits. Wait, so how long ago did this happen within the game? Because you'd think word would have spread, like, hey! Capital of the, of the country's fucked. A hundred years just now, like a week just now. Yesterday. Now. Because it feels like some time. Like two days ago. It's just, it, like... This isn't, a, this isn't a complaint. Most of the Zelda games are like, here is the lore that happened a hundred years ago. Hundreds of years ago. And for this to be like, this all happened on Tuesday. It's just, it's like... It's given that gravitas of, like, here's the backstory, but also, like, this just happened. Within the twilight, they live on, unaware that they have passed into spirit forms. Yeah, we were in that jail cell for a while. But clearly, whatever happened, happened before we turned into a wolf for twilight to have spread that far to Ordon. So. I gotta pump it up. Oh, we'll get to it. We're, we're still in the intro. I've only been, I've been very slow going so far. A current invasion. Yeah, well, yeah, the, the threat is a lot more present. It's not like, oh, this happened long ago and now everything's in ruin. It's like, nah, this, this is brand new. All the people know now is fear. Fear of a nameless evil. His name's Ant. He's no longer nameless. I got you. The kingdom succumbed to twilight, but I remain its princess. 
She's the princess. What? 100 minutes ago, I am Zelda, the legend of Zelda, comma, the legend of. Well, you don't have to look so sad. Zeant. He's intensely silly. No, he's a scary masked man, and I won't listen to any points to the contrary. Quickly, Fridger! Oh, we will. <laughs> we actually find it to be quite livable. I mean, it's Perpetual Twilight. Really all that bad? Minna, this is no time for levity. The Shadow Beasts have been searching far and wide for you. Why is this? Why indeed, you tell me. <laughs> this Zelda design? This is top tier Zelda design. Time has grown short. The guard will soon make his rounds. Um. Not my favorite Zelda characterization. Solid. Don't get me wrong. She doesn't have a lot to do. But the design for the Zelda is very good. Where's her father, the king? Well, maybe that's why she was being coordinated. Because that makes sense. You are... We haven't gotten to it yet, but we were delivering a package and then we, you know, got turned into a dog. That's the story of my life. Um... And that package is a sword. So why else would you be urgently delivering a handcrafted sword to the kingdom? A coronation does make sense. That is a valid reason. If they just need a sword for the knights or whatever, they have armors and smiths, right? So. Does the wolf have a mistimed blink? What do you mean? Oh, and Hyrule Historian mentions it. Okay. It was her limited edition Zelda amiibo, the one with the bird? Which gives you goodies in the Skyward Sword? Is your prime prorated if a delivery person turns into the dog mid transit? Hmm. Yeah, I wonder if that's in the terms. They're yeah, closing at different times sometimes. It, yeah, well, it just happened. You never seen a dog just wink randomly? They just do that. Not usually both in a different order, but sometimes dogs just, just wink one eye. They're just, they're just hanging out. Uh, time's grown short. The guard will soon make his rounds. You know what sucks about this? Link really got the short end of the, the stick. He's got the Triforce of Courage, doesn't he? He's got the Triforce on his hand. He walks into the twilight, bam, you're a dog. Triforce of Wisdom, meanwhile, you're fine. You just you, you get to be yourself. What makes the wisdom? Stick? I did say stick. <laughs> Shit. All I say, I, I'm not, I, listen, it's just it, like, man, you think the Triforce of Courage would give him more than just like, hey, you're a dog. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, I guess it's better than being a, a, it's why he's not just a spirit like everyone else, so I get that part, but, you know. <laughs> it would be better if Zelda was also a dog. You walk in here and there's just a dog wearing a cloak with its back to you. Fuck. Ah, oh, shit, that's good. <laughs> Slowly turns, barf. <laughs> Fuck. And then Minna's like, okay, let me translate since you're both dogs and can't speak anymore. <laughs> Oh my god. Uh, the guard will make his rounds. Yeah. The save against polymorph is wisdom. Oh, okay. Yeah, it makes sense then. Did someone mention the door to Twilight? We must leave here quickly. Yeah, I'm on my way. Yeah, I'm on my way. We have to do a dungeon by the end of the day or I'm going to lose my mind that I only did the intro. Please, you must leave quickly before the guard comes. Okay. Bye. You're a wolf, which is better. But yeah, yeah. Yeah. Maybe she becomes a dog and we're a wolf. Then everyone's happy. Uh-oh. Not that way, the guard's coming. Boy's prompt. <laughs> Zelda Nort. Say, fellas. Well, I've got I've got um some chains on my on my paw there. Um from being imprisoned. They're 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 chain links. Because we were linked to the ground. Yes, you're getting Arfnir! The cloak protects her, yeah. Uh, you need a permit? Yeah, hold a sec. We don't do it, we don't do it. Hey, you're welcome. Ee he, well! Do you understand where we are now? I guess a promise is a promise, so I'll let you go back to where you first tumbled into Twilight. But are you really sure you should be going back? This is safe. Oh boy. Risky click, thank you. Um, this is a fun design.
Bah. Arf. This is very well done. For my money, I want her to just look like a normal ass dog. Nothing fancy about her. Just just a normal dog wearing a cloak. Just draped over her. Which is she didn't even drape it over herself, like a like a curtain fell onto her. And she's just standing there looking outside. Whoa! Whoa! Are you sure you aren't forgetting something important? Yeah, I mean, probably. A little bit. Do you want to save them? She's royalty, so she's a Welsh court. Yeah. It's just it's just a little corgi standing, trying to look out the window, but, like, the window's up here, and it's just standing, staring at the wall. Anyway. Well, in that case, little Minda would be happy to help you. But. Well, you'd have to be my servant, and like a servant, you'd have to do exactly as I say. Why don't you go back, take a little time, and just give it some thought. Her? Was that his surprise dog face? Where did she... She just... She just... Okay, she just ducktails moon-themed away. See you later. We still went to later. Yeah. Which is fine. I know... I, at no point did I say that it's a bad thing that she has character development and learn more about her later. My point is that... It just took a long time for me to care about her as a result. That's, all. That's right, if we're going to mention one thing. You may have left the darkened realm, you haven't transformed back to your former self, and you won't anytime soon. Now why would that be? Why could that be? What dog breed was I would I be? See you later. What's like a dumb stinky dog? Hmm. Hmm. A pug, a Shih Tzu, a mutt, Newfoundland, husk, everything. <laughs> All of them. What kind of dog breed is dumb and stupid? Every dog. <laughs> this is why we like dogs. So what's next? Whoa. Ee -he. Did you think I disappeared? Listen, there's another thing I forgot to tell you. Don't think you can just run off and save your friends, because you can't. Just beyond that bridge, the land is covered in twilight. Every uh, last time, a shadow beast pulled you through the curtain of twilight. But if you want to go that way this time, you need the cooperation of someone from the twilight, like me. So you really have no choice but to do what I say. Saving your friends and all that, well, that depends on your actions. Because you never can trust words, you know. Right now, I want a sword and a shield that'll suit me. You do understand me, don't you? So what do you want, what are you plan to do? While you're here dawdling, the twat continues to expand. Come on, hurry it up. Time to arf me a sword and a shield. Playing a Zelda be just a moving fridge. So maybe think of like the block of tofu in Resident Evil. Just waddling around. Her shadow is still there. I don't know if I ever noticed that. I don't think I ever noticed that in however many dozens of hours it took me to play through this game. Oh, there goes the sun. Fed her shadow as she actually is riding on him in the shadow. I literally don't think I noticed that. That's amazing. That's really good. Shit. I mean, I did play it on a CRT. Where everything was a smudge. Wait! I don't know what you've come here to do, but if you're going into town, be careful. They came and made both of fo the forest and the village a mess. They kidnapped the children from the village. But you're different. You're not a bad thing, are you? I can tell because you smell like the trees of Ordon. If you run into any trouble, try, try talking to the animals in town. We animals understand one another, so you'll be fine. And he just remembered nut, and then he ran off. Oh no, Mallow's been kidnapped. What will we do? Oh, how did it come to this? The children, please say nothing's happened. Please forgore, for, forgive for your good for nothing father. Let's get him. Let's get him. Let me at him. Yeah, show me Zelda dog. Computer, show me Zelda dog. Did I finish the Lego? Sure did. About the shield. Hey, not so loud. Oh, shit. 
So like this, right? Yes. Pretty much exactly like this. Just, oh my god, it's Zelda! There she is. What the hell? You do, what the hell are you doing with that man chicken? Chat. Also, why do you all have that man chicken? Did someone add... It's a global emote? That's a- that's a Franker Face Z global emote? Thank you, Dan Salvato. Yeah. Well, we'll get to that later. Why is it a global emote? Monsters! No use, quick hide! Has been for years. I... Good. It's good. Hi, Shiv. How are you enjoying the best Zelda game ever? I, you know, I'm glad that chat now has an infinite supply of Uku heads. That's gonna increase my enjoyment of this game tenfold. Notice me, senpai. They're back. Listen! Hey, did the monsters leave? This is very... Oh, I think they scattered. We gotta hurry before the monsters find us again. You bring the shield that's at your house. I'll go to Russell's place and get the sword we were to present in high rule. Hurry, I'm gonna have to go search for those children in Russell's stead. He's too injured to move quick. Gotcha, Mayor. Hurry, get the shield. You wait here. No good, run! Perfect. Perfect. That's not a bad bit of intel! Snake. Look at that open window. This village is full of idiots. No, it's empty, because I was the village idiot, and I'm not in the village. Well, I guess I'm back. What? So, I should jump up there. But from where? Up there from where? Oh, God damn. Thank you so much for that. Can we get a preemptive uka increase? Nope. Not till we get there. I don't remember when exactly that is. Just... You know, it's fine. Monster! You've returned for more, haven't you? My daughter, return her and take this! Oh, it's cool. I can talk to animals so I can clear up the misunderstanding. Nicole, good girl, man chicken. That's a powerful. Hey, bird? Rude. Cat! Nice. Oh, look at him twist his head. Were you attacked by that hawk? You're no match for him. I'm sorry, that person calling the hawk is my master's husband. You can sneak out from behind and scare him, meow. Wait, but I can I can understand you. Did you just say the word meow? Yeah, you got a problem with that meow? No, that I just want okay. Oh. Come on, let's get up on the roof from here and scare that guy. Look at him, posing like he's all important. Wait until he sees us. He's a cat boy, who also happens to be a cat. I did. Cats are like moogles. Whoa! I didn't hear a splash. There was a splash? It was quiet. He's still falling. He's got a lovely singing voice, that Link. I mean, Borf. Thank you for the bits. I really need to get caught up on alerts. I need to find a good moment to do so. So, you're both, right? Sorry about giving you so much trouble before, I'm not proud of it, but it's in my genes to obey anyone who's, who blows a reed. How sad. Your voice sounds just like a reed. That's why I flew down. I'll tell you what, next time call me like that when you need something. Who knows? I might be able to help you out. What about now? Okay. Trump Borf champ. Shit. Yeah. Yeah, I made it. Wow. Yeah. 
We you, you got you got a shield in here somewhere? Hmm. Smells like pumpkin. Perhaps up there. Little creepy dolls on the shelf? He's got what? Found it. Hold on. He does have ominous dolls on the shelf. Hmm. There's also some very good scribbles here. That's Is that Mallow like dancing over two pumpkins? Oh shit, is that Dampy? With a pumpkin? Kinda looks like him. It's Mallow being birthed from a pumpkin. Oh, he was born from a pumpkin! Maybe he's like, Father? Where do babies come from? Like me, goo goo ga ga. He's like, oh, they're from pumpkins. I see. I shall depict my legacy upon the wall, Father. Dampy's their fourth sibling. Oh shit. The fucking lore. Uh, I guess we're leaving? Did I get what I came for? I'm swimming. No. Why did I- I missed something in there. Yeah, I didn't see a shield. Must be out. It was right there. Cool. Let's do that again. You ever low-key poop in a Pringles can while in a desperate situation? Um... I don't think I've ever pooped in a Pringles can. No, am I missing out? You recommend? Pumpkin child. One pup, you can't stop. That's too sp totally missing out. Oh, there's more creepy dolls. They have a lot of creepy dolls. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, if I... What? Pick up. Oh, this. No. Eh. If I had a shield, it would be right over here. Or was it up on the higher area? Was it up here? Oh, it was- oh! See, I just saw an empty wall. So I didn't- okay. Gimme. Ordon shield! Is he able to defend yourself? Beware it! If it's touched by fire, it'll burn. Yeah, it's fine. There's no fire in this game. It looks kind of cheap. All right, then. Next is a sword. Hurry up and get one. Time to leave. This time I got it. Now he's got a frisbee. What was that sound? The children could not have returned, could they? I must go out and search one last time. You get inside the house. I have placed the sword that was to be our gift to Hyrule on the couch. If the mayor comes for it, please give it to him. But darling, your injuries. He's fine. See, I know where her house is because I took a long time to walk over to it. Oh, I remember this now. Doesn't he just take a real long time and he can't see me or then he goes back to the house? I gotta be a stealth wolf. Snake. Every time I hurt Wolf Link. No, he's, he's fine. He's okay. Solid wolf. Much better than liquid wolf. Definitely not sniper wolf. We can't do any long range. Can you walk faster? He is injured. <laughs> he is injured, so. I'll we'll just look for trouble. Why didn't I get a message? For what? Oh, you reset. Welcome back. Thank you. Les Lupes Terribles. I gotta wait away from the walk past here. What do they do in the speedrun? It's gotta be a fast way to get past them. He climbed the tree and leap over him? Ooh, maybe. Uh I might have missed my opportunity. I think I'll get too close trying to get up over him. Post Borf E good to pet the wolf link. Yeah, it works. 
Yeah, sneaky. Sneaky stealth. Oh. What? Oh my god, there's a frog. To humans, this must seem like just an average country town. But to us, it's paradise. You should take a good look around this town. I can see stuff sparkling. Whether or not you can see it is up to the quality of your X senses. Oh shit, he's right though. Hell yeah. What a nice guy. Ah, to be a wolf on a night when the moon rides high. Beautiful. Tell me, is your true form a human who's not currently in the town? Nah, just teasing. You're lucky, your sharpened X senses and your soft looking coat. Lovely. Keep up the good work. You ever dance with a chicken in the pale moonlight? <laughs> exactly. I the, the the crappy children's drawings are very good. Um Does Colin have a younger sibling? No. He will. It's the baby. Oh, 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 oh. that's a cute touch. Oh, Ordon's sword. A sword crafted by Russell, the best swordsman in Ordon, as a tribute to the royal family. The baby. All right, now I have a sword. Looks like it can actually be useful when you concentrate. All right, no more detours. I'm going to take you back into the twilight. Go back to the woods where you first transformed into that sheep. Yes, ma'am. Oops. Well, I don't know how I got my name. My girlfriend and some children and I ate got kidnapped. And then they got turned into a wolf while chasing after him. My bestie's now a little gremlin. And I stole arms from a defenseless town. That's how I got the name Sword Wolf. All right, Snake. Have at you. The town rascals used to play around here a lot, so there's lots of stuff buried nearby. If you use wide to dig, men cover something. As for me, I'm just a frog. Uh, back to the wood. Is he gonna... He's fine. Yeah. It's Link's drawing. His drawing skill with motion controls isn't so good. Ow. He's doing his best. Get him. Get him. Get him. Eat. Uh, holding a baby. I thought she was holding... What was she holding? Was she holding a baby? And she's pregnant with another? That's a lot of baby. Wait! Come to my spring! A lot of rupees. Well, you need them. You get the rupee armor. You have been transformed by the power of shadow. Just holding the cradle. But I got her to the cradle. She was holding something before I got her to the cradle back. Come to me. Hello. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, no. Beware a shadow being. It approaches. <coughs> All right. I can take him. He's just going to get pooped out of the sky real quick. Ah. Seems like it should drop him a little closer to the ground. Chomp him! Chomp him! Got him! Hooray! I did it. Oh. Earth. Fourth Earth. Yeah, slide that UV texture around. Oh, yeah. Yeah, look at it. Look how weird it is. Boy, this looks way better than it did on the Wii. 
The, the textures on them were really low res and it was real crunchy. Oh, brave youth. It's the goat god. This sounded my friend Jeff once. Oh, that's nice. They have a good time. I am one of four light spirits that protect Hyrule at the behest of the gods. I am Ordon. The A is silent. The black beast you slayed was a shadow being that had come to seize the power of light I wield. Mm hmm. Can I have it? May I, may I have? My brethren in Hyrule have already had their light stolen by these fell beasts. Yeah, they, they do fall from the sky. That's why they're fell beasts. The entire kingdom has been reduced to a netherworld ruled by the cursed powers of Drakrush. Hmm. Yeah, I see that. Metro Prime 2. Yeah, they're in. The blight will not stop with Hyrule before long. The entire world of light will fall into the hands of the king who rules the twilight. Xemnas? No. To save this land from the king of twilight, the lost light must be recovered. The three light spirits who have lost their light must be revived. Bark twice for you understand. There is but one who can revive them and redeem this land. You! Bar you! You still have not discovered your true power! I'm a dog. What do you want? Those transformed by twilight usually cannot recover their original forms. Unless, if you were to return to Faron Woods where you were first transformed, if you were to revive the Light Spirit... Me? There, by the power of the Light Spirit, you may find the beans to regain your state of being. Oh, the light! Sorry, this doesn't... that doesn't normally... Oh, goodbye, apparently. I'm done. That's all I had to say. I miss her done. Not take him up to hydrate? You're right. Why is it called Twilight and not Twilight Dark? What's the Twi stand for? Not? Just a little bit? I miss Goat God. Well, how do I get back to the woods? Because this is the way to the Hyrule. So it's back. It's the other path by his house, right? In between. Is that a precursor to in between? In between. And so it was twine light. Oh, twice short for twink. <laughs> One of these answers is right. Uh. No, it's th it is towards Hyrule? Oh. I got turned around. Betwixt. Then the between. Hey, Dencha. Twice short for twice, who you should stand. Are you talking about Boku? Or something else? Um. Oh. This is fine. Oh, right, it is in the Twilight Realm now, isn't it? Where are the gravity hands? Hey, look. Your Navi impression needs work, Mindy. The Faron woods that you know so well, they're now covered in twilight. You might not be able to come back here, but you still want to go? Yeah. A twelfth. Twink light princess? Why can't I just enter twilight on my own? Why, why do I have to be grabbed by hands no matter what? So these are the weapons you use in your world. She's good at it. You really think this thing can slay the creatures of Twilight? 
Oh. Well, I won't use these, but I'll hang on to them for you. Thanks. Ah, uh, promise is a promise. I trust you enough to help. In exchange for my help, though, I need you to gather some things for me. Look, I can't tell you all the details now, but it'll be easy. Trust me. Enough about that. Do you hear that noise? It's the lamentation of the spirit that had its light stolen. Where in the world could it be? Better get going, don't you think? Don't blame me for your world's fate if you don't hurry up and find that light. Come on, snap to it. Let's go restore the spirit. We gotta help him. Thanks, Faust. They should either cover hair their faces. They cover their faces to fight. Slap a mask over it. You know, your shield. Mm hmm. Mayor's of Worthy Trust by this point, am I right? Mm hmm. Absolutely. Thanks for the hydrate. I need to refill my water. I might have a drop left. Get him. There's another one. Hey, another one. Oh, we're penned in again. Who do they think they're worth dealing with? No need to take these little pests on one at a time, right? You can take them all at once. You can handle this by yourself, can't you? Good luck, bye. <laughs> Fucking just literally pieces out. Come on. Oh no, Minna, they're back. Try taking on all at once. It's gonna work this time. What's the holdup? If you leave the last one alive, it's just gonna use that shriek to bring the others back. Let me help you out here. Just move like I tell you. You can hold down B and I'll expand the energy and energy field and close all the enemies within and release. Stop it. Now. It did. I felt like weird design choice. The enemy's designs or the little energy circle thing? Which part? Which part of it? Even you sub to kill them all with one spin attack, they still get back up. It has to be with that move. Makes sense, I suppose. What happened? Please, be careful. These woods have changed. The dark clouds of dust cover this land. This drape of shadows is called twilight. In this twilight, those who live in the light become as mere spirits. It's a place where the dark ones and evil creatures dwell. I am a spirit of light. Blue-eyed beast. Look for my light. Retrieve the light stolen by the dark beast and keep it in this vessel. The vessel of light is crucial to collecting the tears of light. If you fill it with tears of light, you'll be able to cut through the twilight and return normal light to this place. See these evils that hold the tears of light? Use your senses. In the shadows of twilight, the dark insects are as invisible as normal beings are here. Let me use the last of my power to reveal the locations of the dark insects that consume the light. Thank you. Find the insects of darkness. The dark insects, they are the form taken by evil once it is latched onto our scattered light. Boogie. It was a tearless stream all along. All along. This is probably the part I dislike the most. What do you mean? You don't like chasing bugs? Get back here. Eat bug. Eat bug. Okay, yeah, that was... At least they show up on the mini-map. Did they show up on the mini-map before? 
I can... I'll, I'll take a hit for that. Uh... They did? Thank God. Where are you? I'm hungry for bug. I want to eat some bugs all the time. Uh, nice. Thought there was a way to dig in there. Did I miss it? Or do we have to parkour up and I have to stand in the correct position? I think I have to parkour up and stand in the correct position. There we go. Hmm, looks like we can get in there. Zoom. Big jump. He's back, baby. Yeah, I saw it. Don't waste your time on me. You're already the bug I want to eat. What's with these bugs? Those things aren't normal. They're so big, so weird, so creepy. Get away, bug. Shoot, get out of here. Oh. Get him. Oh, they just randomly died. Hooray. They just died. Oh, boy. I have no idea what's going on around here. I did it. Yay. I miss you, miss you. I miss the way I used to eat bugs. For some reason. It'll be the search party. Yep, yeah, that's that's what it is. Also It could just be that this is the first one. I remember the 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 tear holder thing being way longer. But maybe it's just the ones later in the game. Eat the small things. Eat all the small things, even. Alright, okay. They reduced it? They actually did make them fewer? Oh my god. Well, you're not gonna see me complaining about that. Oh, it isn't that shit. Back in my day, you had to grab 5,000 tears. It took you 17 hours just to get three. Padded the game's length considerably. And their shooters get collected faster, you so to wait for them to land like stars and galaxy. Yeah. I feel like they could have just had them automatically collect, you know, the moment. Do I have to take damage before she'll let me? This is clearly bad goo. Hmm. Hee <laughs> hee, I knew it. Yeah, me too. From the look of it, I don't think we're gonna get through here too easily. So what now? You tell me. Can we... Is it not here? Well, first of all, there's a bug. Want bug. Want bug. Yeah, that is very quick. Uh, oh, it's over here. Eh. There! Let's cross over there. Da 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 ding. I did it. I got it. Bug! Where are other bug? Bug! Okay, yeah, we're almost done with this already. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then again! Oh no, the enemies, look out! I did it! <laughs> I, I think that... I think that... <laughs> I just... At least that's inside my brain. <laughs> I'm just like... <sighs> Dig him up! Get him! I... No. Okay, fine. Get him! Get him! Thank you. Oops. Nah. Nah. Yeah, yeah, fuck, get him! 
You do have to make a choice to jump in the obstacle. Wait a second. It listen. If that was the progression, and then they just kept adding more and more stuff, and making them more interesting, we'd be having a different conversation. That's all. The illusion of agency. <laughs> the Legend of Zelda. The illusion of agency. Oh no! Three of them. Now there are three. Of them. Hey, you, go over here. That, that took me a while to figure out because I made the assumption you have to kill all of them at the same time. And later they give you little combat rooms where it's impossible to hit all three at the same time. And I was like, how do I do this? And it's like, oh, you can just kill all of them individually and then just save the last two. For the big move. This button's always A for those. Yeah. What? What? Why is there noise? Whatever. Legend of Zelda and the Shadow of the Colossus. Because <laughs> maybe they do tutorialize it when it happens. I could just be dumb. <laughs> it's very, very likely. Give me that. And get him. Get him. Yeah. Someone. Someone helped me. Welcome. Lucky for me, ever since the boss went funny in the head, there have been scary monsters everywhere. Those village kids got led through the woods for some reason. Whole forest is so weird now. What happened? <laughs> No, it'd be Legend of Zelda Castlevania Symphony of the Night. I think it'd just be multiple colons. The vessel of light is full of tears and light has returned to the area. Yay. Eh. That feels way faster than on the Wii. Like, not just like, oh, they might have removed one or two. Like, that just felt way quicker. I don't know. It could just be because I was expecting it to take a long time and it didn't. Well, it was nice to... It's so nice here in the twilight. What's so great about a world of light, anyway? <laughs> I did miss what she said. Because sometimes the text doesn't scroll. And sometimes it does. Yeah! Yeah! To see you later. Thank you. Didn't read his fine. Yeah, it's like a lemur guy. Squirrel monkey man. This is my light. You can't have it. It's mine. My name is Pharon. None of it is silent. I am one of the spirits of light who dwell in Hyrule. By the order of the gods, I protect this forest. Oh, brave youth. Just in time for Dongtober. Hell yeah. And the land covered in twilight where people roam as spirits, they were transformed into a blue eyed beast. I don't know why I'm giving him this voice. That was a sign. It was a sign that the powers of the Chosen One rest within you and that they are awakening. He's a little <laughs> Danny DeVito adjacent. Look at your awakened form. Oh yeah, you got boots. Is that the tunic? Green is your color, you know. The green tunic that is your garb once belonged to the ancient hero chosen by the gods, etc. His power is yours. His is the true power that slept within you. He's awakening. Narrator, <laughs> your name is Borf. Wait, your name is Borf? You are the hero chosen by the gods. <laughs> Those are some very good camera moves and sound effects. Brave Morph. I can't believe your name is Morph. Brave Morph. Oh, hear my words. A dark power rests in the temple deep within these woods. It is a forbidden power. Verboten. Capiche? Long, long ago, I and the other spirits of light locked it away. 
Because of its nature, it is a power that any sh that should never be touched by any who dwell in the light. But you know, go nuts. This world weeps beneath the mantle of shadows, and so there is no choice. You must match the power of the King of Shadows. His name's Zant. It's not a nut. We know his name. If you would seek this forbidden power, then proceed. I guess I'm done talking. Goodbye. What a nice spirit. I have hands. Now I can pet dogs again. That's the real victory. What a nice New York City name, Spirit. It's a me, Mario. Well, well, you're the chosen hero and all that, huh? So that's why you turned into that beast. What a shame. I mean, maybe you'd rather just wander as a spirit like the rest of them, totally unaware of what was happening for all eternity, right? E he. So, what do you want to do? Do you want to head to that temple? Isn't that convenient? I was about to head there myself. Hey, look, you want to help your friends, right? The way I see it, maybe they're in that temple waiting for you to rescue them. Well, good luck, Mr. Important Hero. <laughs> See you later. Why can't she be, like, riding piggyback? When we're just, like, normal. Yeah, I was thinking this is a good moment. Let me save. Haven't done that in a while. Amiibo function has been enabled. You know, we haven't saved in, uh, a while. Total playtime. 135. Maybe more like 304. That's better. Continue playing. Yes. Put Gandorf in there. Put him in there. What does he do? Bum, 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 bum. This theme is quite nice. It's grown on me a lot. Oh, Alistair wants a permit. Thank you. Bum, 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 bum. He spawns in the Gandorf fight. He <laughs> just <laughs> warp you at the end of the game. Uh, check out as many Uku heads as they want. Hey, chat, you hungry? Now, there's got you a, a, a bucket of your favorite Uku heads. Yum, yum. Yum, 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 yum. Yum, yum, yum. Boy, I'm, I, I'm so hungry, I can eat a, 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 a dodongo. Or a bucket of Uku heads. Those are as appetizing to me as one another. Thank you. Uh, well, that's that's a fair bet. Uh, Mr. Geerders, thanks for 20 months. Hewers, Calibi, thanks for 35 bits. Adventures of Borf and Hewers. This should make you hungrier. OFC instead of KFC. Uh, Dave, thanks for the hammy. Been a hot minute since I joined live. Finally landed a full-time job with health benefits. Fuck yeah. I also miss giving you money for my birthday last week, as is tradition. Glad to see you're finally starting the suffering. Where's Rena? She might join in a future stream. I actually was talking to her about it. Um, I, I wanted to at least do a couple streams uh, uh, solo, running through, because uh, I do want to have Rena on to yell about things. I'm so hungry I could eat a Uku head. Yeah. Anyway, thank you so much, Dave, and with 39 months as well. Appreciate it, and congrats on the job and the happy birthday. Popple, 100 bits. Instead, dunking on this just makes me, makes this dunk on Skyward harder. Yeah. Like his idle animation? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's some good idle. Uh, Space Sucky, best things for 50 bits. Fun fact, Twilight Princess Link made me realize I was gay. Nice. Madam Rayeka, thanks for the sub. Well, enjoy the emotes. Three bees in the trench coat with a hammy. I love this game. I actually think it would be really fun to hear you be mean. So only if you'd like this, Hammy can be passed on towards gifted subs so you can increase the mean counter twice. Redeemable at your discretion. Thank you, 3Bs. I mean, it's not gonna stop me. If anything, it's a fun challenge for me because I'm saying how I feel, but it's like, okay, instead of me just getting off my chest and being like, fuck, it's like, let me try to be reasonable and nuanced about it, right? So, there we go. Uh, Hyrule Fried Olu. Oh, his name is Olu, isn't it? Oh. Fave tunic design. It's 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 a solid one. I don't know if it's my fave, but it's it's good. Uh Dex the Dirt, thanks for subbing. Welcome. Thanks so much. Quincy Mar gifted a sub to Afterglow Ampros. Awesome fan with soup. Uh he's watched very Flames play with Zelda. Can't stay long. Sure you'll have a great time and not hate any of it. Thank you. 
Um, Talisman, nice. Fuck this once or twice. Thank you, three bees. It's very kind. Just palace. Thanks for 21 months. You didn't spin your revolvers fast enough to kill the bees. Fuck. I wanted these days. We'll play MGS3. CF Wizard, thanks for 33 bits. VOD Watcher here saying hello. Hi. Have a good twilight, y'all. Take care of yourselves. Starting a new job soon. This should leave me less exhausted so I can be more interactive around the house. Thanks for this great community. Thanks for being part of it, CF Wizard. Thanks so much. Take care. Madam Ryko with a hint. Been a fan for years. Your streams have really helped me through some hard times, especially during the pandemic. Thanks so much for all that you do. It's very kind. Thanks for subbing in the bits. And uh, thanks for watching the VODs and enjoying them. Also, Chella, thank you for the hydrate. I need to refill my water, so I'll do that once I'm done. With alerts. That's my last little drop. Uh, Venus Varnas, thanks for the dollar. Sunry, uh, Sunry Dragon, thanks for 11 months. Uh, oh, this showed up midstream. Amphi with uh, 69 bits. Mia. Midnight Zeitgeist with five months. Desert's Channel 7. From my understanding, wasn't Twilight Princess the first game that features Black Hillians? Probably. Right? I think it's gotta be. Hmm. Uh, LJ Ride Home, thanks for 25 bits. Quincy Morrow, thanks for a soup. But nasty. It was. About damn time. Rosebud Wolf, thanks for a soup. Healing soup for all. Fire Huntress with 47 months, close to four years. Goon with a soup. Uzaki Tan with 38 months. I've traveled long and far from Vodland to get my house key renewed. Impress only had one desist after two hours. It's, it's gonna start ratcheting up as we keep going. The Gerudos before. Gerudos. I forget how they're supposed to be pronounced. Seen the very good arena clip? Which one? Shift 2, they have things to say or bark. Well, anyone, yeah. We, we, we can have a, a conversation heavy stream with more people in the future. This is going to be many streams to get through, and they probably all, all won't be in one go anyway. So we'll do it. It's like Jif. I have nothing to say. Hell yeah. Fuck. Uh, uh, Smash Matt, thanks for 96 bits. Uh, something a human being said on Twitter about speedrunning. Oh, it's Sonic and Shadow meme from the end of Sonic Adventure 2. It's very good. I just think this game is neat. You can still just hang out if you want. Or if you don't want to, you don't need to. Uh, I see how the Japanese people say it. That's fair. It's just like playing the original games that didn't have any voice acting. I just figured out my own pronunciations for things and then like all of them are wrong. And now I say stuff on stream. People are like, why? Why are your words bad? I'm like, I don't. These are the words I have. I'm sorry. Uh, awesome, Fox. Thanks for a nice expense. It's 2 a.m. I just looked through my neighbor's recycling to find my Amazon packages. Amazon reps saw my tweet about putting on pants to go garbage diving. AMA. Chat is cute. Fire watch is cute. Especially future me. I'll go to bed now for real. Monkey. Have a good sleep. Also, that's wild. I'm glad you got your package. Uh, Lonely Wheel, thanks for gifting a sub to Yaboe Nitro. 1990. Welcome. Lincoln Wisdom, two years. Enjoy your house. Eat cold salad, 39 months. Almost double digits. Buster Bubo, three months. Y'all, happy Twilight Princess. Charmango with 10 bits. Link was going to go on his journey. The sound of his heart going doki doki alerted the goblins or whatever they are. Yeah, they're just goblins. Uh, Smash Tunes subbed. Welcome. Thanks for the prime. Enjoy the emotes. Uh, Ulrich's Workshop. Thanks for 37 months. Chat, y'all are big old cuties. Now drink your water. BM Spoons. Thanks for two months. The weird head hand is weird. Midna's head hand? I think it's neat. I like that she just, just don't explain it. I'm just like, she's got a hair head hand. Don't worry about it. They're Bulbins. It's different for reasons. Bulbins a good word for a little gremlin guy. It's magic hair. Johnny Spud, 38 months. I feel like I should give this game a second chance. I just couldn't enjoy the wolf sections on my first playthrough. Well, I'm giving it a second chance, so maybe you can too. And maybe if Nintendo decided to put these on the goddamn Switch... It'd be a little bit easier for everyone. Jake Doodle, gifted a sub to Tortoise W. Starry Summers, thanks for 44 months. And the Bartatoes. Still still got the Bartatoes, Starry. Whale Stealer, thanks for 28 months. Kevlar, 55 months in a tier two. Hope Barry doesn't die again because there'll be another game where he kills the dog. Haven't died yet. We're doing good. Flower Crown Sarah, thanks for 35 months. Late, but got the notif as I was walking to the movie theater. Barbarian was nuts, 10 out of 10. Never thought I'd see the day that Barry plays Twilight Princess. Hope everyone's doing well. Well, it's thanks to people supporting the charity that we're doing. Uh, Smash Matt, thanks for ten a thousand bits. Him. Uh, thanks for the back and forth and being cool about it. Uh, sass aside, I'm allowed a little bit of sass. Whenever I bring up stuff like this, I try not to be argumentative or flippant, genuinely confused, and trying to understand where you're coming from with these kinds of things. 
This one's gonna be a bit difficult for me to fully understand. I appreciate cool discussions like this. For sure. Yeah, and as I said, it's 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 about trying to understand my point of view. And also in talking about it, I'm clarifying in real time how I feel about something, right? It's just gonna be just Gerudo. No, that's no, she says Gerudo with a soft G. Gerudo. Oh, no, man. Gerudo just feels better in my brain. I guess I can try. That's a hard... I forget which one. I think I had the same conversation the last time I listened and thought about it. Because in my brain, the hard G and soft G are different. I'm just... I'm just wrong about most things, actually. Bestie, that's a hard G. Yeah. Yeah, G is hard. But to me, it's like, J is like more emphasis with my mouth parts, so that means it's hard. <laughs> Even saying right, nice. That's also how to say the Japanese. That makes sense. I don't think is there a J sound in Japanese like that? Probably. Uh, Scootsby, thanks for forty-five months. Yeah, nice. J is impossible. It just doesn't exist. All language is made up. That's true. Uh, fifth bouncing Twitch baby. Nice. That's a lot of babies. Salamander Goo, thanks for four months. Long time VOD watcher, occasional stream dropper, buyer. I watch your streams during my lunch breaks at work, so thanks for being great company. Hey, appreciate it. Raven Penguin, thanks for 69 bits. My phone notification tone is Midna appears in Boy Howdy. So I end up checking my phone a lot during Twilight Princess streams. I bet. Junji Ito. Yeah, I guess that's... J I mean, it's more like a... J it is just a J, isn't it? It's not really a J, so... Never mind. I don't know. Helia. Helia. He's Helian. Or he's Hylian. I don't remember what I used to do. I don't know. Minda's laugh. Nice. Smash Man, thanks for 83 bits. Today's Toby Fox's birthday. He shared on Twitter one of his first Famitsu columns. He was selected to replace Masahiro Sakurai for writing columns about video games of Famitsu. That's wild. And very exciting. Happy birthday to him. Shiv! 39 months. Thank you, Shiv. It's a lot. Uh, it's special with 10 bits. In the article, Toby Fox talks with Yoko Shimamura, composer of Ryan Luigi, Kingdom Hearts, Live Alive, a million things. A while back, he made a game in RPG Maker 2000 based on the American manga Garfield. American manga Garfield. I'm sorry, I, t I had to take a second to process that. Where the final boss was Odie, renamed Odio. He's a very good little guy. The American manga Garfield. <laughs> oh, Moz, thanks for 55 months in a tier two. That's almost a quantifiable number of months. Almost. Forsaken Sunday, thanks for five months. And Neutron Star Merger, thanks for the reset. Welcome back. Two months. Um, you stare into Link's eyes real quick. I'm going to refill my water. Um, have something to listen to. That's, that's just, that's not as, that's, give me a song. Give me, I'm, I'm going to be gone for like a minute. I, give me something longer than a minute. That's ominous, sure. Fine, Cleopatra. <laughs> Fine. You know what? Fine. You can have Cleopatra chat. Shit. Alright. BRB. Yes, shit. Fine.
Okay. How about we run around and hit stuff with a stick? Ba -da 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 -da. Legend of Mana? Hell yeah. Yeah, Captain Kirby. Okay, one per minute at a time. Hold on. Now that Now that's a dog Now that's a dog Hell yeah. Did you want me to share the cosplay on stream? I mean, you did just post it in chat. I don't know if it's ex exactly private. Sure. Alright. Uh, 2016 Comic Con. Why, that wasn't long ago at all, right? That's when this came out. The HD. Uh, thing. Nice. Yeah, Midna 2. Blink and Buzz Lightyear is a powerful combination. Listen! Listen! Hey, listen. Two of them. Uh, Arkun, thanks for 10 months. Welcome back. Thank you. Oh, I hope not, A Towns. Oh, I hope not. Anyway. Let's run around the woods. Uh, nah. Link can't hydrate. Yeah, but I can. Hey, Willard. I mean, I'll be gifting these subs later. And that's what you're talking about. Hey, Clarex. How you doing? Hey, okay, gamer. You want another hydro? I'll give you another hydro. Ah, all right. Dude's been standing here for like a full 24 hours. Okay, another hydrate. Ah, that's good water. Ooh. Uh, right back with that high soup. Hey, Gilwich. What's up? It's sold out. There's a reason why I put a cap. Actually, I should probably put a time limit on it, a cooldown. Because I made that hydrate command when they like first added channel points. And um, at that time, you could only set a cap per stream. But now you can set a cooldown so I don't have to just drink a ton of water. Because then I could just not have a cap on the number of hydrates per stream. Just prevent people from spamming it. <laughs> Stop. Miss Majora's stream. Hey, well, you're here now. You're here for when the game actually starts, so. You know. Uh, it's finally time for that weapon I worked so hard to get. You probably know this. Swing your sword from side to side. Come on, it's time to go do the Zelda. I'm so helpful, aren't I? Just think of me when you use those, okay? He chump. Yeah, now we got a real sword. Yeah. Half an hour cooldown. I was thinking maybe 10 or 15 minutes. It's more so I just want to prevent 10 people saying drink water in three seconds. And then I'm like, now I'm just going to drink my whole bottle and then get thirsty later. Shoot. Hey, man, you see any giant weird bugs? That was a crazy thing, haha. Huh? Hun? Huh. Oh, it's the Ardonian. You seem familiar, but then your clothes seem kind of different, so I got thrown off for a second. That bird just clipped through his face. It was excellent. Yeah, man, when I meet people, if I'm like, you're wearing different clothes, I basically have to re-meet re -meet you a second time. 15 minutes in water is what's recommended. I thought they recommended you drink when you're thirsty. But I guess if you don't get thirsty, then you should drink water. Uh, the five pound. Yeah, he's got a lot of thoughts in there. Listen, things have been a little rough around here lately, so you should watch your step, okay, guy? There's so many monsters now, I got kind of scared and closed off the path to the temple. You what? But you, guy, you want to get back in there, huh? 
You sure do look geared up for it, so here you go. You got the small key. This key opens the gate to Faron Woods. So if I stood here for about 17 minutes, I would slide over to where he is. Sorry, hours. If I stood here for like 17 hours, I would slowly slide backwards into him. So that's fun. <laughs> you guys want to sit here for 17 hours? Uh, clear water for 50 minutes, basically an ideal period. Oh, okay. Show us. Okay, sure. What do you guys want to talk about? I could, I, I could just like build another Lego Bowser and have this running in a little picture in picture. Yeah, I just put bang bang. The Everett hallway. Yeah. No. Oh yeah, the woods on the other side of this cave are covered in really thick fog, so make sure your lantern's full. You definitely gonna need to use your lantern a lot in there, so bring all the oil you can. And check this out, a special one-time offer for a bottle full of lantern oil for only 100 rupees. How about it, guy? What a bargain. What? That's not right, guy. If I give you the lantern for free, man. I also sell oil on its own, so come back when you run out, guy. I want another bottle, but I only got 64 rupees, man. Sheesh. What does thirst feel like? It's like feeling like, um... Like, like you want to drink water. And like, there's like, like the, like, you know, like, like, like you're thirsty. It's, it's kind of, kind of what it's like. <laughs> you leave it going? Oh God. My Wii U, my poor Wii U. There was a poll. Sit here or not. I'm going to refund your bits. <laughs> or your, your channel points rather. No. Refunded. <laughs> I'm not doing it. Also, I already missed the animation. So it's already gone. There's 50 rupees in a chest in your house? How far are we to that? Also, did I miss that chest before? It's only spawned now. I am a coward. Correct. Rolling around at the speed of morph. Oh, you need the lantern. Oh, it's in the basement, isn't it? Mmm, pretty sneaky. Leave the console for 17 days, slowly slide backwards into the Bowser fight. Yeah, the hidden Bowser fight in Twilight Princess. Now for the roll feels. It's got a really good, um, like, easing to it. Like, the bottom part of the roll is quick. It's like, boom. You said know where it is. Yeah, I didn't know where it is. Ba, 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 ba. If you want to eat food that's hungry, you don't need to have a hurting, growling stomach. That's true. When that happens, you're starving. Ba, 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 ba. He got wet and sticky. Yeah, well, it's because he was already covered in candy, so the water just made it get stickier. My door's on the left, it's throwing me hard. What do you mean? Just because you're familiar with the Wii version? Sticky bows. I only ever, well, I only ever played... I only ever played the Wii version as well. And, uh, it's been so long that it actually hasn't really been throwing me off too bad. I feel like there's gonna be stuff in, like, dungeons in the overworld that I get confused about. But so far, like... It's weird. It hasn't been that bad. Anyway, time to somersault again. Yeah, they made him left-handed. This is the same as the GameCube version. It was the Wii version where they flipped it. They mirror-moded the entire game. Wii versus GameCube. If you played it back in the day. Like. Yeah, hero mode flips it. Just kind of neat. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Everything's backwards. It's all wrong. I feel like I'm going to get out into Hyrule Field and be like, ha, ha, ha. Because I feel like that I remember where, like, things were roughly. He has the right hand. The correct hand is left. Hello. 
Yeah, because after this, with, uh, bam. God, I love how fast the animation is. Was it that quick in the original? It's nice. Thy Sith. Thanks for three months. Enjoy your silver key. Welcome back. Oh, yeah, bottle. <laughs> it was like, well, there's something I'm supposed to do. Thank you, Optimus. It's awesome that fast. That's nice. Link's Awakening remake has left you, Link. Gotcha. Yeah, with, with this, they thought, okay, most people are right-handed, so we want him to have the sword in his right hand. And then same thing with Skyward Sword. Give me that one time, uh, yeah. 100 rupee. Thanks a lot, here you go. Essential for lighting your lantern. Now I got two bottles of oil. I'll, I'm, I'm gonna be ready to fight the mayor. Uh, you can put all kinds of stuff in the bottle once you use all the oil inside, guy. And hey, keep using that lantern so you come back and buy more oil, okay, guy? Okay, guy, guy, friend? Yep, okay. There you go. Some are canonically left. Yeah, but I think the idea is that all links were left-handed. Until this scheme, which was like, well... Wouldn't it be canonically he's left-handed? It's just the Wii version is mirrored. But then with Skyward Sword and Breath of the Wild, he's right-handed. So, I don't know. Yeah, but it's just like, well, now we're gonna have Skyward Sword and Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom, which is obviously the same link. Maybe someday we'll go back to our beloved lefty link. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people have been mentioning the fact that, that they're left-handed and, you know, it's a very neat detail that he's, he's left there. There are not a lot of Characters who are left-handed. I mean, I'm right-handed, and if I was making a guy hold a sword, I'd put it in his right hand so I could figure out the animation and stuff, right? It makes sense. But... Yeah, let's go into the goop. Oh, I thought maybe only wolves couldn't breathe the goop, and he'd be fine. Oh, wait, but I, I remember now. You just use your lantern. We're concentrating as a kid. Anything that's different about you, even if it's like the most innocuous thing, other kids will notice and comment on. Because kids suck. Including me. I was a kid once. Hey, what's this monkey's problem? You idiot. While you were staring off in a dreamland, your lantern got stolen. Thanks, Vin. She's helping. You can tell it's a she on account of the pink little bow. The flower. Got from adults about his outfit. Okay, that's fucked up. What kind of adult looks at someone's left hand and goes, That's weird. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> it's just... The only time I would ever comment on someone's dominant hand is if they're like, Hey, I'm ambidextrous. Look. And then they do something with both hands. Then I'd be like, Whoa, that's neat. Other than that, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Doesn't, doesn't matter. Monkey. Happy Donktober, everyone. You could draw Donkey Kong being led through the Farron Woods with a monkey. You're in cahoots with the devil. Mm-hmm. Why'd you choose to be left-handed? It's weird. You don't need changes depending on uh, what you're doing. I don't know. I think that does have a name, though. It's like you write with your... with one hand, but then if you're... Yeah, you're doing something... I don't know. sinister? Is that a real word? We left you still have Kermit. Kermit's left-handed? Neat. Hello. Yeah. There she goes. I'm following. Jeez. Lucifer was God's left hand. It's fucked up. Why he still? Can I have it back? Thank you. Hey, your lantern broke. Bye. Thank you, monkey. Can. Can I? There it is. You play lefty guitar, so you hold the chords with your right hand? Oh. 
Oh, that feels weird to me. My brain doesn't like that. Not that, like, lefty guitar is weird, but it's like, as a lefty, lefty guitar makes sense to me. As a righty, I'm like... Oh, man. Hello, gentlemen. Lovely evening we're having. And they died. I'm left-handed to play right-hand guitar, or I would if I could play guitar. So that's actually, I've heard that's pretty common. Uh, because a lot of guitars are right-handed guitars. A lot of people were just introduced to a right-handed guitar. No matter if they're left or right-handed. Hey, I'm sure that bridge is nothing. Hey, look, I'm sure this glowing wolf is nothing. Hello. We're about to enter the first dungeon. Oh my god, he's gonna die! Link, no! It's revenge for all the times I fucked up as wolf one. Fingers are too short. Kill my hands if I try to push the past. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have relatively stubby fingers, and it, it took a lot of doing. Ooh. Look, it's a, a, a ancient warrior who's a different person than Ocarina of Time Link. Because why would Ocarina of Time Link be wearing centurion armor? Doesn't make sense. I'm dead now. A sword wields no strength unless the hand that holds it has courage. No, it's not Ocarina of Time Link, it's a different guy. You may be destined to become the hero of legend, but your current power would disgrace the proud green of the hero's tunic you wear. He was Link's bodyguard. You must use your courage to seek power, and find it you must. Only then will you become the hero for whom this world despairs. If you do find true courage, and you wish to save Hyrule from the horrors it now faces, then you will be worthy to receive the secrets I hold. Ending blow! Very badass move. Enemies that are filled with energy will quickly recover and attack again, even when stunned by a powerful strike. He and Ootlink went to college together. Yeah. The ending blow is a secret technique you can use on stunned enemies to end their breath before they spring back into action. When the enemy lies collapsed on the ground, stunned, zeal target and press A to leap high into the air and deliver a final strike. When the opportunity to end their breath is before you, you will see finish appear vividly before your eyes. Try it on me. End my suffering, please. Oh, God. Impale them through the ground. Good. You didn't kill me, though. Try again. That was a pinpoint strike. Never overlook your opportunity to finish with up. The first hidden skill of the ending blow has been passed on. You learned the first hidden skill, like he just said. There's still six hidden skills for you to learn. Those are only for one who carries the blood of the hero. The one whose spirit is that of the sublime beast. Grow powerful, test your courage, and when you find that you need another skill to overcome the threats that face you, search for the statues that howl with the sound of the wind. Seek the sound that calls to the spirit of the beast to awaken me again. A sword wields no strength unless the hand that holds it has courage. Remember those words. Farewell. Oh, it's the fact that he's wearing like a, a ornate suit of armor and he's hanging out by like floating heaven ha Hyrule Castle. I just assumed he was just like some like Kingsguard kind of guy, you know, like worked with the royal family. Just a, a, a he just he was a swordsman. Didn't need to be more than that. Why is he left-handed? I don't know. Maybe there's more than one left-handed person in the universe. Sheesh. Why is everybody really gotta be connected? <laughs> Let me drink some fucking oil. Eh. 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 Meh. There you go. Get the fuck out of here. And get the fuck out of the dungeon. It's more being mad at, like, Hyrule Historia or wherever that came from. But whatever. It's still related to the game. Thank you. They would have made it more obvious. These are very subtle stories. Though. They really aren't. And it's like, why is he left-handed? Uh, I don't know. Because they made all the animations for left-handed Link. And then you just scale up the size of his rig. And now they don't have to animate everything in the game for a different guy. 
yeah, they could mirror the animations to make it right-handed, but then they might want things to look different. And also he's teaching you and now it's a mirror image of what you're doing. It's like, it just makes sense for to be taught by a person using the same arm. I just, I don't like the trend of just, it, everything is small, everything's the same. It's like, it's the issue that like Star Wars suffers from. It's a lot of things. It's like everything's important, everything's related. It's just like, it, I don't know. Sometimes a thing can just be a thing. I want to put away my laser. Put away. Thank you. Why well, they changed Link to left handed? So Link was always left handed. This game was originally developed for the GameCube. When they decided to port it to the Wii and release it on the Wii's launch, they mirrored the game. So right handed Link is not the original version of the game. Not everything needs to be important and related. I, I would argue it is detrimental to make everything connected and related. And I have argued that before. Don't remember you being the negative software and playing Kingdom Hearts. I think there were dozens of angry things <laughs> per stream. I'd have to go back and check. That's the monkey that stole your lantern. Doesn't look like she's beckoning you. Aren't you the popular one? Eat. Aren't you the popular one? If you think I was positive to Kingdom Hearts 1, I think we, we need to go back and revisit that pod. <laughs> I had a time getting through that. I, this is going way better. At least for at least for, for where I'm sitting. I'm having a much better time. We put on the counter. Eh, I don't know. It's fine. It's not a big deal either way. It's a fuzzy counter, right? I did want to spend the time earlier on explaining what I would consider to be on the counter, but like, it's, it's fine. It's okay. Zelda, King of Hearts, and Star Wars fan bases I was in. I don't know. It just feels like an easy way to add a lot of complexity to a narrative. Also, the Skulltula designs in this one are horrendous. In a way that's good, that's not a criticism. They did a really good job making the Skulltulas fucking suck to look at. In a way that's clearly intentional. Appreciate time before we even started really playing Kingdom Hearts 1. Uh, yeah. Pretty sure. Eh. Got him. Yeah, that'll do it. Spiders and games are gnarly guys. Hey, I got a rupee. Where does monkey want to go? Yeah, this dungeon collect friends. Oh my, it is definitely, um, you want to go over here, monkey? Or over here? Do I need to fail to jump first and then the monkey will be like, let me help? They make him Breath of the Wild. Yep, it's one of my biggest complaints against Breath of the Wild is um the lack of enemy diversity. Because a lot of a lot of Zelda enemies are creatures. And there are very, very few creatures. It's a lot of moblins, bacoblins, lazalfos. Things that use weapons so they can drop weapons. You don't have enough friend for rope. Where am I? What am I? I need more friend, but then where else can I go? Is it... It taught me this already. What? Oh. I did not notice that there were torches here. In my defense, they just kind of look like little posts. They look like little braziers when they're lit, but in the absence of the light, it's just, they just look like little... Oh, yeah, it's fine. It's... Like think of the, the torch stands in like Ocarina of Time. They're like very weird. They have like that kind of like inverted diamond kind of shape. They stand out from the environment. You got the dungeon map. I got a dungeon map. I got the dungeon map. They are, they are the same design as the ones earlier. That is the thing. They're consistent. Monkey. Monkey. Follow me, monkey. Yeah, so what I was going to say was, uh, I, I like dungeons that have, like, more going on than just... It's a temple with monsters in it. Go kill monsters, get small keys, work your way through. Like, 
that's a great formula, a good template, and usually there's neat things they build on top of it. But it, it always makes, I'm never upset to see like an extra little thing on top, like, like the Gorons in the Fire Temple in Oot. Uh, I wasn't ready to see his button HD. Um, or this, it's like you get in the little monkey. Like, it's not the most engaging thing. You don't really have... It's not a tool you're utilizing or anything. It's just like, eh, you just go and rescue monkey. But it's like... It's a different... Vi it's a reskin of a small key. It's like, functionally the same as a room... Or like, in the, the Gerudo, Gerudo training grounds in Ocarina of Time. Um... Where you have that one room where it just use a ton of small keys to get to the middle for the light arrows. Um, it's like that, but uh, but instead of that, it's just monkeys. It's just, you need lots of monkeys. They're basically just living small keys, but it's it's cute. It's something different. It gives, it makes the, the dungeon more memorable, I think, as a result. Um, yeah, yeah, Figment. It, that, that's like maybe one of my favorite dungeons. Not because I love the dungeon to go through, but just the concept of like, this isn't a, a ancient temple that's been corrupted. This isn't a cave that's been over overgrown and overrun by monsters. It's it's a guy's house. <laughs> You're just going through his his mansion, uh, which is a very memorable set piece for a, a, a Zelda dungeon. Oh, we can't go any farther. Might as well go back. I don't know what's going on, but it seems like she wants to take you somewhere. Maybe she's follow her. Yeah, I'm a follower. Okay, monkey. <laughs> It's a MacGuffin. <laughs> MacGuffin. Okay, so okay, so I was right. This is a one monkey situation. I just It's fine. <laughs> Hello there. You do that, and I'm going to go over here. Yes. Oh boy. Ow. Oh. Hello? Phew! Out at last! Gracious! Once I got in there, I couldn't squeeze back out. You were a big help. Thanks! I've been looking for something in here, you see? Gracious, yes. You must need something here, too. Shall we try working together for a while, fellow adventurer? I can even warp you out of here if you want to leave. You'll be able to come back to the same room anytime you want. I can be quite helpful, you see. Something in me is a burden. Now let's get started. You met Uku. If you call her in a dungeon, she will allow you, it'll let you out and allow you to return when you want. Why, why did they with her? Yeah, Link's face is appropriate given the circumstances. Uh, if you ignore her in every dungeon, she'll introduce herself in the Sky Dungeon where she's from. And does she have dialogue that's like, nice to meet you? Okay, I'm here for real now. Hey, Dan, what do you think of Uku? I like the weird, like, like, print, like, pattern going around her head. That's my fetish. <laughs> Don't you ever notice her chest? Remember before when I was like, yeah, playing this on a CRT was like a smudged, blurry mess, and the bloom just made everything washed out and stuff. This was a detail that 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 came through even in our, on a CRT. Her plumage. Yeah, she also she's got the back boobs. Better or worse than Goran? What nipples? Uh, I would say worse. These things disgust me. Anyway, uh, we got it. Use her like an item. <laughs> zero zero CC zero zero is an NES Link's green color palette. Is that why your name is Uku? I just assumed it was cause they're like kind of like chickens. They're like chicken hybrids. So it's like maybe they're the ancestors of cuckoos. 
Because Cuckoo and Uku is like, yeah, it's like, it's like, they're like a chicken thing. Hmm. Why save such an Easter egg for this? There's so many things that could have named Uku. <laughs> no, okay, well, I'll just use that counter ding for something else. The, the fact that when you get in the first room, it's like you got a monkey. And then you can use them to get to other parts of the temple. But they force you to walk through the room and watch a fucking cutscene before you can engage with the mechanic of the dungeon. Why, why not just structure- why- Okay. I'm good. I like that the wind actually adjusts his- his hat in real time. She runs up to you to introduce herself so you can't not see her in a playthrough. They wanted you to see her. They wanted you to know. The monkey using your tools just trying to take you where they want. I guess it's like my- my- my frustration stems from the, uh... The, uh, reliance on plot and dialogue to convey information. It's like, I don't need more motivation here. I'm already here to save the kids and get the forbidden power. But to be like, oh, but you also need to help the monkey. And that other monkey smacked his butt. The only thing that I really do like about that is, um, teasing the mini boss. That is a part of it I do like because most mini bosses in Zelda are just kind of in a room waiting. And the idea that the mini boss is like a presence. Shit. A presence that's already known. So then when you see him, it's like, this guy, I'm gonna get him. Teasing the item as well. Yep. Also related to that idea. The monkey swim with me. I'm also glad that's not in every single temple, right? The variety is what's good. Okay, cool. Ukus, what's happening was when a necromancer animates Nyquil chicken. I found the stamp for the Hylian letter A. Forgot this game was on the Wii U for a minute there. <laughs> oh boy! Wow, I got a stamp! Did you see that monkey? I got a stamp for the letter A. R.I.P. Meverse. Man, if I- Meverse is still up, I would so post the, just the stamp of the letter A. Send tweet. I didn't forget about Meverse. I forgot that Nintendo was all- all aboard. We're gonna give you stamps in our games so you can use them in the Meverse, which is cool. It's clever. Did they let third-party developers do that too? I only ever saw it in first-party Nintendo games. It does date them a bit. Boy, this is great having a second analog stick. The skull to let you bump into is unique. It's the only one in the game that looks like that. And if I recall, it's the only one that dies to one slingshot. Does it now? I cut it down. It needs more than one hit. I don't know if I'm doing damage to it. Great. Now we have water spiders. He's dead though. The good news is that he died. Also, I could have just climbed out here. No, he stuns. One shot to the underside. Monkey! Just, just go through the bars. You're smaller than the width of the bars. Oh, there she goes. Pop, 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 pop. Oh no! My method of escape ruined. Monkey. No, no, stop! You're gonna kill him! Monkey. What are you doing, Link? I mean, Borf. Monkey. Oh no! He's fine. He heard him bum, though. Up, 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 up. Uh, so, what are, are these guys? Bacoblins? What are they? What are they? What are they called? 
Do they have the skims but goblins? They are. Weird. They're scrunkly. Yeah, with two Ks. Scrunkly. Let go of the monkey's hand. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> I, I, it seemed like there might be something there. Yeah, the green ones are bubblins. Bubblins. Why'd I climb that? It, it was climbable. Because, why did Edmund St. Hillary climb Everest? Same reasons I climbed that little scrap of ivy. Because it was there. Uh, where do I need to go? Back this way, I think. Can you do it again? No, only one time. Monkey. Run past. The, the goblins. <laughs> goblins. Nifty honking goblins. Monkey? How's the other monkey get across? He just- he just jumps. He just jumps across, I think. Monkey? You return with the claw shot, no monkeys, you're not softlock. Oh. Oh. That is... very specific and very weird. Yeah. Wow. And if you never- if you never met Uku, and then came back to this dungeon, Skipped Uku and then went down there. You wouldn't be soft like even though save and quit probably puts you at the beginning of the dungeon, right? I would assume I like assuming No, no, you stop that There's a lot of steps you have to kind of deliberately take to soft lock yourself in there for that to be useful It was 15 by the end of part one <laughs> I was- I'm not surprised. I was like, I- listen, it was a while ago that happened, but... I would be shocked if I had more in this stream so far. Thanks for checking, though. Uh, 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 what do I do with this? What do I do? What do I do? Shit. The final tally was 75. Yeah, I'll keep- I'll keep a- a full tally. As well. Oh, you could gr We could- we could have grabbed that, right? Bup, 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 bup. Wait, I can blow up those lads, probably. Ow. Okay. Why is your self-defense mechanism to explode, buddy? It seems like a bad play on Evolution's part. Oh. Oh, you got- oh, you gotta- oh, you gotta. Ah, I- I pressed the swing button! And one. From downtown. That is a very N64 kind of animation and sound effect. Can't even wear a nest if the nest is gone. What? Mutually assured destruction. Oh, saying the little bug's nest. Oh wait, so I do want to go that way. This is gonna, th that'll explode way too fast though. Probably why I need to have him chase me. It chased me over here. Oh, he doesn't want it. Maybe I need some kind of, I don't know, ability to grab things from far away that would enable me to properly do that. Yeah, also there's this one right here, which also I could just do that instead. Yeah, there's a weird little bit of lag when. God damn it, Link. <laughs> I'm blaming him for that one. Um, when you draw your sword, like I was mashing the B button. There's like a little bit of a delay. I prefer in other Zeldas where you press the B button and he draws it and immediately does a swing with that first input. But it's fine. Nah, it's a nitpick. That's a minor complaint. That's not a, that's not mean. I don't think that's mean. I could have phrased it in a way that was mean. I 
Fire Strike Link, yeah. Hey, whoop. Ah. There's a guy in here. Uh, three more for another full heart container. Oh, that is cute, though, that the icon updates to show how many pieces you've gotten. That didn't just show another fifth. that showed two-fifths of a heart. That's cute. Uh, why is there a lad in there? I don't know. He's fine. Just in case you someone got in there without killing the flower. God damn, they were thorough, huh? Wait, but how would you get that into the flower? You gotta drop it in from above, unless you can throw it from the top. I don't know. Well. CD, I like. Grab it! So that that's just there to go, no, you can't go that way. And then they put a little guy to eat you at the bottom. Their level testers were thorough. They really were. Boop, 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 boop. He takes his time. He's relaxed. Oh, this one was given a lock. Also could fit through the bars quite easily. Link's fucking mad. Give me that key. No! That's mine. Oh, okay, you. Hmm. It's the Thanos flower. Got him. Cough it up. Great. When I die, I become more annoying than you could possibly imagine. Really? Well, I'm not that annoying, just a little bit. Eh. Feed me, Seymour. Oh, what is that? Goodbye. Look at that IK on his feet. Oh, a heart. That's what they're zooming in to show me. There's a small key. Good. Mmm, butthole plant. Um, hey, bud. You could have just walked out any time, you know, but I got you. Yeah, I guess the uh, the sword draw would be less of a deal if there just wasn't as much of a delay. Because that is as quick as I can attack. Which I guess just means run around with your sword out while you're in dungeon. But then he puts it away to move on. Yeah. It's alright. It's fine. Uh, over here, though, I need to blow up a thing. Hey, you. So you, <laughs> he knows you care. He can walk out at any time. He wants to know you care. I don't know if I can make this throw. Yeah. Nailed it. To facilitate the mortal draw later in the game. Uh, all right. Fair enough. Um, is this is this doable from here? Probably not either. Uh, get it. Nice. Okay. At least that has a reason. Yeah. Yeah. I can't be too bad at that. I'm not that mad. It's just a very minor little nitpick. Monkey? Monkey! Help, release me. Is your name Borf? I can walk out of this jail cell, but if you do it, I'll be nice to you. Alright, I'll be nice to me. That sounds good. Uh, this room seems nice enough. Oh, God. Just walk across. What could possibly happen? <laughs> He'll do a draw attack if you're locked on. Oh, is that the case? Hmm, perhaps. Okay, hi. Um, don't forget we're early in the game. That counter will go up. 
Let's see. He does. He does do a draw attack if you're locked on. Are you gonna... Are you gonna... Rude! I guess I'll... I guess I'll just leave then! Was what I was gonna say. Rude man. Wait, but I don't have a small key. Hey, you, you wouldn't happen to have a small key on you, would you, monkey? Whoa! Good day, sir. I sure did see that guy from far away and forget. Hmm. 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 Don't step on a crack or you just get ejected into space. Nip. Supposed to catch a jar and let go outside. No, I just murder them. <laughs> I know what you should do, but I rarely have the patience. Um, monkeys up on the log. Is there is there a thing I can do to murder this floor demon? What am I missing in here? Not yet. Hmm. Thank you. Lack the means. What if I... I need the... The boomerang to put these out. Can I do this now? Or am I supposed to just leave? Roll statue? Might be something near the beginning of the room. But there's that chest there, but I don't know. Oh. I could just... I'm just not get done. I was like, I need a way to get up up there so I can... I'm fine. You get... This side. Yeah, it's easier you now. Again, eventually. Hey, look, the small key. Great. We did it. Found it. Chicken, broccoli, Alfredo, pizza. How do you feel about it? I feel like broccoli on a pizza would just be kind of awkward. Maybe if it was tiny. A little bit. Sounds good. Make me hungry. Monkey! They clap for me! I am savior of the monkey. You, Link. I mean, Borf. Before you was the hero of time. After that, the hero of winds. And now I bestow upon you a most worthy title. Hero of monkey. Wear with pride, young man. You've earned it. Quick spins easier to do this than an oot. Oh, that is very easy to do. I noticed that just the, uh... Just that spin is, like, really, really quick to charge. What is going on? Is that... The controller rumbles after doing that. So... When I do a spin, it goes vroom, right? But it does like three vrooms after. It goes vroom, 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 vroom. Which I, I think is meant to be like a cooldown? No, you can do it right away. Is it him being tired? It's revving down. That is a choice? Why is it doing that? Huh. Anyway, are we are we done here? That's where's my map? Map. Um. Um. It's his internal combustion. Is it? Yeah, it's like him being tired. I guess. Can I not move the? I can't move. Okay, it's fine. Uh. So. Maybe I can cross that bigger gap now. Or something. Oh wait, I don't think I've been through here, have I? No, no, no! Right stick. Let's me. 
No. No. You can't select it, and left and right just moves you left and right, including with the right stick. It's weird. Anyway. Does he use diesel or regular? He just uses crude oil. That's what I bought from the merchant. Uh, yeah, I saw there was that chest under the stairs, but I don't think I can put out the torch to lower that until I have the gale boom ring, right? I don't think I can do that yet. Hello. Wait, is this this isn't possible, is it? Right? Because there's never gonna be a line. Yeah. Nailed it. Between spin attack and charge spin attack. Um the quick spin attack, this one, is you do you do a spin with the analog stick and then press B. That's just the way to quickly do it. Whereas this one you hold the B button. It charges up, and you can spin. And now it's not doing the vibration at all. Not not for any of the attacks. The quick spin is also weaker. That makes sense. Because it's quicker and easier to do. What? Monkey? It only vibrates when the monkey's nearby? Why would that... Yeah, it's vibrating again. Why? I, I, fear farts, yeah. Okay, then where do I go? Just back, I guess. We have a new monkey, so maybe we can go somewhere. Inside, because it's loud. He needs to use his inside voice. Monkey boosts the strength. They make me stronger. Uh, okay, I have enough monkeys to go this way. Hey, key. All right. Lead the way, monkeys. Nintendo really likes having you follow monkeys in Zelda games. It's happened at least twice. Mm-hmm. I pressed it a little bit early. That's my bad. That's on me. Link to the Past, Majora's Mask, this game, others. At least three games. It's respected for Donkey Kong. It's fine. He's a trooper, ain't you? Uh, nope. Let's fight ourselves a monkey. I've been saving monkeys. Give me a monkey to fight. Come on, E.G. Numa. Give me a monkey I can fight. Oh, hell. Oh, my God. His face reminds me of something. I don't know what. And it's not this. It's not him. I don't know. This is what Nintendo said when they wanted to make a more mature video game. They're like, we're gonna, we're gonna make the game T, ready T for teens so we can put butts in it. Slap his butt! It's his weak point! That's not even a joke! You lock on the butt! Oh, boy. That would hurt. It's Andros. It does. Maybe it is Andros. Come on. Damn it. I didn't mean to lock on. It's quite easy to accidentally hit the ZL triggers on the Wii U gamepad. My ass! And then he died. As an ass man, this game is quite pleasing to me. Nice.
Oh, the bug was what made him evil, not having such a juicy butt. Oh, I'm good now. Uh, that same uh, jiggle physics technology is what they later applied to Mario's nose in Mario Odyssey. Uh, in the in the code for Mario Odyssey, there are many references to monkey butt, and that's why I am the fairy of winds who resides in this boomerang. You have freed me from evil, and I now have my true power back. Please take it with you. Use it to aid your quest, and may both my power and my blessing go with you. If you focus power in your boomerang before releasing it, it will unleash the power of wind, aiding you in unforeseen ways. Also, feel free to forget that there's a fairy god living inside your boomerang. I'll never talk to you again. It mysterious and houses the fairy of winds. It sucks things up with gale force. Cool. Neat. Uh, oh, hmm. I bet even the monkey should be satisfied now. All right, let's continue combing this place. We already found something good. Let's keep searching places we haven't looked yet. Yeah, I forgot that was a thing too. It's uh, yeah, there. Very Shinto. Yep. There's definitely a lot of spear. I mean, the one of the first things in the game is uh, Link having a conversation with what's his face in the village, and they're talking about spirits and the, 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 like life and nature and. Stuff. Got it. Eh. It is quite a pretty boomerang. A whiny fairy lives in this boomerang. Uh. Do I just gotta do it more? Thought maybe there was other ones I gotta hit. Lock on. ZR. Do it, but more. Do it, but more. My brain says this is incorrect. The game's saying just do it, do it, but more. There you go. We really want to know you, you didn't do those first two by mistake. You gotta make sure you got it right. There's a whiny fairy in the store too. We don't learn about that from. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you lock on to the same target multiple times. Yeah, that would get it done, wouldn't it? Um... So... Yeah, we'll go here. There's a monkey! He needs our help! I keep... I keep tapping the button. I feel like tapping it should bring me to this mode. When you tap it, you immediately throw it out, which is good. This is a case where that's actually correct. That's how it should work. But I don't understand Delta. Monkey. I guess there's still some monkeys you haven't freed yet. At this point, you should just save them all and see what you can get for them. Yeah. I only help others if I get something. Because I'm the hero. Monkey capitalism. Maybe one of them will open a store in Kakariko. That'd be handy. Oh, fridging. Oh. Um, uh, no, not really, because we didn't really know her. She's just a goddess fairy thing that lives inside of that. That's just fine. Uh, was it this? Yeah, this room. It's a stamp, isn't it? Fuck, you're right. It's just good. Why am I going back for it? It's just gonna be a stamp. Shit. Well, now I'm committed to it. So we're all gonna suffer together. Ah. Monkectalism. Oh, that's immensely disturbing and satisfying. Hooray. I like how it tears up all the tiles on the way. Nice. Um, get that one, and then that one. I did. Show me that stamp. Is it the letter B? It was a piece of heart? I mean, I guess with five to a container, you, uh... 
You gotta put a lot of them around. Not used to getting a random piece of heart from a dungeon chest, but... I guess to be fair, you do need to remember to go back for it. It's a weird looking stamp. He <laughs> just dips in ink and is like, eh. Alright, got one. Is there only one per dungeon? I don't know. Each dungeon has two of what? Two, two stamps or? They're two per dungeon. So it stands to reason that I would expect the second chest I've seen to have a stamp. Um, it's for Nico's book. Ah, oh, that sad poor rat. Uh, so back to the, to the far right. Boy, I really could use a compass. A cum piss. Compass. Did I? What did I miss? Afterglow. Two art pieces per dungeon. Pretty sure every dungeon except finally has one stamp. Oh, heart pieces. I didn't read what people said in chat. Yes, thank you. Isn't it rare for a heart piece to be in a dungeon in other Zeldas? Or am I just being dumb? PBG! It's the peebs. Yo, PBG. Oh, look at those butts. So that's where Mario's ass went from that Mario trailer. How you doing? We're playing a uh, Twilight Princess and uh, I'm only supposed to say nice things about it because we did a charity stream last week and that was one of the incentives that we we hit. Um, and uh, so far I've said not, uh, seven not nice things about this game. It's not my favorite Zelda game. Hope Peeb's good, though. Appreciate it. Yeah, let's shout out the Peeb's. Having a copy for eight, six years now. Should give it a go. Uh... TP is great. Uh, well, this is... So this is my first time playing it since the launch of the Wii. And, um... It's been a long time. I'm having fun though. I'm having, I'm enjoying it. I just might have some complaints from time to time. <laughs> has the best dungeon in the series, IMO. It has some of the most creative dungeons. I think on some of the finer points of like, you know, layout or gimmick or the way uh, the key item is used in the dungeon, there might be different games where I feel different ways about, but I don't know if I can really argue that point that this game is some of the more creative dungeons even if i don't it's like the sky dungeon not my favorite dungeon it's very unique there have i mean i think like minish cap might have sky, whatever but like you know what I mean? or no fourth sort no what am i thinking of there whatever that top down i think it was a capcom made zelda where you like on the little manta rays and the is that minish cap <laughs> does minish cap have a four sword in it it's been a while since i played minish cap it does okay I was like, I remember turning into like multiple links going, yeah, 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 at the yeah, eyeballs. But I was like, but that, but that's four swords. Okay, great. Um, yeah. Anyway, uh, yeah, no, so, uh, hey, this, 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 I was saying earlier before you raided that like, the whole like, yeah, the monkeys are basically small keys, but it, they're monkeys. <laughs> that's more fun than being a key, so. That's the four swords. I forgot about that. Listen, if chat decided to donate to charity and support Minish Cap, we'd be playing Minish Cap right now. But no, we want to play Twilight Princess. I'm doing good, Rose. Right? Thank you. Wind Waker does have some, some stealth. Uh, I guess in order for us to check the 10 block of blue, we need the help of the monkeys. Let's help the rest of them. Sweet. Uh, I donated to Minish Cap and Sun. <laughs> uh, give it the spin. But yeah, I've been I've been very much looking forward to revisiting this because it's been a long time. I've been wanting to play it on the Wii U, the Wii U version. Because ah. I'm not having to shake my arm to play animations, you know. So far, the controls have been solid. There's way more buttons on the Wii U gamepad, so there's a lot. It's a lot more manageable. Than on the Wii. 
Minish Cap is a real good Zelda. They're just keys presented differently. Yep. But that's it's memorable and it's fun because you're like, oh yeah, the dungeon with all the monkeys. And they helped me get across the gaps. It's like, yeah, or it could have just been a line of doors that you just get through. Two item slots instead of three? Um, oh, sir. Um. Which Zelda was that? I don't think that was the case on the GameCube. It did? I never played the GameCube Twilight Princess. Because Minda was on Z. Oh. Oh, that makes sense. Is R used for anything? I mean, ZR. Well, I guess that wouldn't... Because, yeah, there weren't... There was no Z button on the left side. GameCube's a weird controller. Shield Bash was on... Oh. Oh, right. Yeah, because on the Wii, it was... You jerk the nunchuck forward to Shield Bash, which... When that worked, felt great. But I feel like it was a little bit inconsistent sometimes. Uh, okay. I think Bath is sending me anime memes. Good. Good. Uh, TP is my favorite Zelda alongside Breath of the Wild. They're very different Zeldas. Yeah. I know I've brought it up in the past. There are a million people who disagreed, and so it's not a hard and fast rule. But there is something. I still hold on to the idea. There's something that it, it, it a lot of people's first Zelda ends up being their favorite for a long time. It's not everyone. And maybe it's not your favorite anymore, but it definitely happens. Uh, to there. Can we see the anime meme? Oh. Eh. It's, it's, you're not even gonna... It's... It's the, the, the... On the top is the big Lebowski, on the bottom is the opening theme from Chainsaw Man. Where they're clean- they're bowling, and there's a shot where he's cleaning the- Is that even gonna adjust so the webcam can pick it up? He's cleaning the bowling ball like- like, uh, like, uh, what's-his-face does in Big Lebowski. And- and Bath said, gonna- gonna tell my kids this is Big Lebowski, because it is. There's a bunch of movie references in it. Yeah, it's it's something. We watched the the first episode earlier. Mhm. Mm it is my favorite, but the first one I actually beat is my favorite. It's close enough. It, it I've brought up the in the in the past, and like a lot of people, are like no, it's not my first Zelda is not my favorite, and it's not that if you, it's not that your first Zelda is your favorite. It's just that it seems like a lot of people's favorite Zelda is either the first one they played any significant amount of, or the first one they beat. And that's not a bad thing. It's just, it's just, it's observational observation. It's observations all the way down. Um, it'll always be specialty. That's part of it. Blow him up. Wait. Barry hates my favorite Zelda. How dare? Yeah. Well, only because it's your favorite Zelda. If it was someone else's favorite Zelda, I'd be like, oh, that's a good one. If you're like, hi. Hi, my name's Dan, and I like this Zelda game. I'd be like, nah. Wrong, actually. No, don't. Yeah. Final Fantasy the same way. I've noticed a lot of people's favorites the first one in that series, too. Yeah. And also, I've just learned... Oh, he's chump. <laughs> it pins Link's arms at his sides. It's very good. Uh, there's a screaming monkey. Okay, stand back. Monkey, do you speak Hillian or whatever? Hide. Nailed it. Let me try that again. Play through ten times. That's a lot of times. Monkey, get back. 
Get back, Jojo. He's fine. Jojo was a monkey, was trapped in a boulder, but he was a friend of mine. Played FF1 with the pixel remaster doesn't hold up, to be frank. I've saved the key. Well, you can't spell monkey without key, so... Think about that for a minute. Did I just break your brain? Good. I'm glad. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Um, how many more monkey? Two more monkey. Where more monkey? Uh, left and right from that previous room. Let's... A go. Link's favorite, famous catchphrase. Let's a go. Only 2DF of this does hold up is 6. I've heard very good things about 6. I don't think I'll ever play it. Don't really have the patience for lengthy JRPGs, but from what I've heard of 6, it seems very good. Monkey, mon, key, French for my key. Mon as in monkey, that's the day of the week. That's a Monday key. Very rough dialogue wise. I mean, it's what I've been enjoying about um, uh, uh, Dan Floyd's video series. Hello. About the animation of Final Fantasies. Because not only is it great, and he's excellent at breaking down. He's excellent at breaking down like the animation and storytelling components. Um, but he's also like recapping the, the the plots and kind of giving a little play play. Not not getting super deep into specifics or anything, but you know, as someone who's like wholly unfamiliar with most Final Fantasies, it's been cool to kind of get little peeks into them. Boy, those a gem. Yeah, and he started streaming recently. Give him a follow. Uh, yeah, hello. <laughs> Monkey. Guys, smash everything. Octopus enemies only attack the female character in Final Fantasy V. That's not a very fun fact. Um, maybe he's down here. Ah, I found the monkey. It's called Ultros. Oh. FF6, specifically that octopus. Hmm. Hmm. Ow. How am I missing? <laughs> no, not you. I can't lock onto the plant, apparently. Okay. Can you? Don't. How? What? Why am I bouncing? Why am I? What was I doing wrong? This have motion control on Wii U. It uses motion controls for aiming. That's it. Yeah, put me up. Part of Octo Stream Banner? Oh, good. Hey, Liz. No, I, I, listen. I just, it's for the love of the game. I mean, imagine having negative things to say about Twilight Princess. It could have been me. Uh, Time to go? Time to go. We'll leave now. Positives, not Scoured Sword. Boom! It really ain't, though.
<laughs> One more monkey. Over here. You know what? They couldn't have replaced the monkeys with small keys because you need the small keys to get the monkeys. And locking a small key behind a small key doesn't make any sense. It's something to think about. Gentlemen. Boy, those things are horrendous in a way that is immensely satisfying to murder them. And the way that when it dies, it like flops over with no bounce. There's no like boom. And then it like secondary animation as it settles. It just, just slaps down on the ground and then dies. And it's very satisfying. I don't know if there's another one here. You got you got any more you got any more nightmare demons? <laughs> Family guy falls. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Sarah's one of my fave Zeldas. I do get a people could dislike it, especially the motion controls. I I played through the HD Skyward Sword release on stream as someone who did not like Skyward Sword for many reasons, and the motion controls were not most of those reasons. I was largely left just going, yep. In fact, I, I spent a while playing that game with the stick controls for the sword, and I went back to motion controls. Because it actually felt better to me. So, a lot of my issues are more. Come on. It's more, more of that. More of how I feel about that game is wrapped up in parts of its design and structure than, uh,. Just the motion controls. I also had less issues with the motion controls than a lot of people did. Scout Sword does have Groose! Does have Groose. Man, we could have had Groose lands. They were stuck with Hyrule. Monkey. Just go through the bars, monkey. What? What is... Oh, that was my shadow. What the... F what the... F why is this? Ha Why would this happen? Is my Wii U dying or is this just how this game works? It's a non Euclidean shadow. Minda wants to say hi to the monkey real bad. <laughs> oh, the skulls will realize they're baby skull plus. Yeah, they're just hanging out. Just little guys. Little men's. Prepare the fire. Let her in! Okay, that was badass. Basically jumped through and sliced it in half. And go! Death guy over Yeah! Uh, I got the Hyrule Stamp Hillian letter N. So now I can write... Nah. And a lull. Here I come. Um. How do I get monkey? Though. People, yeah, people sure did say with the utmost of confidence that there's two pieces of heart and one stamp per dungeon. That's fine. <laughs> uh, the twirly things. Oh, there sure are twirly things right next to him. Imagine using your observational skills in a Zelda game. He leap! I said IIRC. We weren't the only person. Ah, uh, no. Uh, get it. Thank you. It's all the way up there. I'm all the way down here. What am I gonna do? All right, we have all the monkey. Also, um... The way that he opens those doors, I remember being very enthralled by that. Because in Wind Waker, there's no animation. You walk up and it just slides, if I remember correctly. Um, I think this was the first Zelda where he actually, like, touches the door. And I was like, you can do that? 
He like grabs it and moves it over. Look at that. He's interacting with the environment. It's a nice touch. Monkey. There's rubble that drops when you open a door for the first time and it doesn't drop separate times? I didn't notice that. They're not dancing, they're just the ladder. Boy, I hope that top one doesn't let go. Let's you know you've been in that room. That's neat. Chain of monkeries. Okay, don't mess up the timing. I did. Thank you, monkey. What's the- is this- is this similarly for if you come back in here and don't have monkey? We can get in with chain shot? That's bizarre. Hey, I don't have a boss key, do I? Can I come in anyway? Where have I not been? Just knock. Hello? Monkey? Okay, can one of you guys crumple into the shape of a key? Check under the doormat. I did not get the compass. I don't know where the compass is. Hmm. 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 Use the sword to pick the lock. What if I could? Another side of this area we just got access to? Is there an area I... There's more here? I see a vine that I can do. That takes me back to where I was. Just walk under the chain. The first room roof? I gotta go back to the first room? Would it be faster to use Uku? Because that would take me right outside the dungeon. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, oh me, oh my. Um. Oh, the way she bounces. Did you want to leave? I can warp you right out. You return right here, so there are no worries. I've never warped with her before. Yes, yes! Now leave it to me. I don't like how excited she is about this. Huh! Oh, he's beautiful. Let me introduce you. This is Uku Jr. He was just born. He's my son. Any time you want to warp back to this spot from outside, ask him. If you want to meet me at the entrance rather than warping here, just go there and I'll meet you. Oh, so I can't... I can't walk back into the dungeon. It's going to ruin the warp point. Well, it'll still take me back to the entrance. I thought I could leave her here. That... I could like a lever here, go back to the entrance of the dungeon, walk in, grab whatever I needed, and then warp back to where I was. But it sounds like she'll just go back into my pocket if I walk back inside. It's not the magic from Oot. Wait, I still have the sun. Oh, there's. Sh oh, fuck. Not now. Not now. Hold on. This is terrifying. <laughs> Uh, hi. I brought your son back. Well, well. Welcome back. Without further ado, we're off. Great. But there's something in here... ...that I can... ...do... ...perhaps? Yeah, health bar appears. Mama Uku. At the first monkey. At the first monkey intersection. The Shrine of the Silver Monkey. Please pick up your child, daycare is closed. Now I'm good. In here? This is a monkey intersection. Oh, and there sure, yep. Sure is a guy up there. Yeah, he gets real into it. It. I like that it's the same pottery sound they used in like Wind Waker and stuff. Compass! 
Okay, now now where's the boss key? <laughs> well, if it isn't something useful, with that you might be able to find what you're looking for. Hurry up, check your map. Thank you. Oh, I missed several chests. How about that? Uh, there's one back in, where in the first room, one to the right. It can't be in the first room, can it? Can it? Stock pot breaking sound. It is water with the worm with the water and the weird sculpt So not this room. It is not. <laughs> not that one. Okay. Reward yourself with a hydrate. I will. I will. There we go. The same horse sound effects in this game is also used in Sekiro. Really? Wow. Hopefully higher quality. Um, it's this way. Right? What did I miss in here? What did I miss? I'm not surprised I missed things, just... Um... Also, it shows up on this map, but not the mini-map. Which is fun. Uh, not there, there. There. Didn't I already get the chest that was here? I very much did. It's the yellow dot. What? What? Oh, I thought it was in the dull dead. Okay, no, I don't know how to read a map. We're good. I was just like, why would it? We're good. So I need to use the boomerang. Meow. Right, meow. What? Trothritis, thank you. Did I, did I, did I, did I miss? Oh, there's a big Z on the ground. I didn't notice the Z on the ground. That'd be fun if I just did it first try without realizing there was a thing on the ground. It's the Z stamp. Open up your Meverse journal link. Stick it on the ground. Big key. This is where I would use my Uku if I still could. Uh, uh, but uh, yep, this way. You gonna? Hey, the way is different, isn't it? Why is that? See ya. Oh. oh it dies with one sword swing. Weird. Why would there be a unique Skultula? They must have just made it and then realized late in development, oh, we never put him anywhere. Should probably do that. It's gonna chest in the next room. I don't need it. Do I? What if it's a piece of heart? Teach you how to break webs? I guess so. But there's other skill to us too. I guess that one doesn't drop down like the other ones do. Is it the other heart piece? Damn it. I do want that. It's all the it's all spiders all the way down. So through Yeah. Spiders and monkeys, but no spider monkeys. Well, we did have the light guardian earlier. It was kinda like a spider monkey. There's a chest in here? Where the... what the... Uh... Y'all got any... What? What? This is just rupees? What am I missing? What am I missing? Um... 
I mean, I see the bar blind. I don't. What? What am I missing? It's it's just right here. Ten rupees. Okay. Boy, am I glad we came back for that one. Worth it. <laughs> I'm rich. Bump, 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 bump. The one at the front is the heartbeat. God damn. All right. Fuck. I'm gonna have to walk up to her again. <sighs> Gotta see it from Mallow, yeah. If this is rupees, I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna shed it too. Just as long as you stand like a mother Uku who's mad. Ma'am. God, the lighting. How you doing? I think you might cry. No. Chat would never lead me astray and have me repeat the dungeon several times to get 10 rupees. That wouldn't happen. There's no way it would happen. It's just not possible. It's not possible. Like if we cry every Tim. Um, it's over. How would I, how do, how would? What? Wait, that is it, isn't it? And that's a tiny chest. I'm gonna cry. I have to get it. I have to get. We came back. We have to get it. Yeah. Think of the. Think of the two seconds that'll give us with the magic armor. Uh, well, um. How? Oh, there's a thing here. Didn't notice this. Always listen to the chat, never listen to the chat. First person view of the Uku would make a good thumbnail for this. Guys, wait, wait, wait. Maybe maybe they're maybe they're misleading me and the small chest has a piece of heart. The game's like, oh, you're gonna be like, oh, that's not worth it. But when there's a piece of heart in a small chest, then you'll think twice. Time for you, sir. I need to go this way. Monkey. I got to hold hands with a monkey. Ten out of ten. Good dungeon. Hundred percent of the dungeon. Let's go. Let's go, gamers. Yeah. Uh, now we can go to the boss. A free say something mean for that? I would never. I have nothing mean to say. My heart is light. I shouldn't have to lock on, but I suppose it's fine. Are those monkeys still going? Oh my god, they really have been. Hey guys, you good? Wahoo, thanks. All right, I got my boomerang. I got my Uku, my emotional support Uku on the hot bar. Maybe, um, maybe, uh, yeah, that's that. She can judge me for my sins. That's, she can stay there. The funniest boss ever. Is it? I don't remember it being funny. Emukushinal. <laughs> mm. Good night, strawberry. Good 
Guess there's no boss. I already beat him. Uku one-shots the boss. Yeah, she'll say I'm gonna warp you at the beginning of the dungeon, but that's like the develop developer secret. You say yes, and then you, you one-shot the boss. The assistant for the boss. Oh my god, big plane. Twilight, Twilight Parasite Diababa. It's Diabob look cool. Eh. No, no. What if instead of that, we do that? There are two bio Diababas inside of you. And they're both hanging out. Alright, hang in time. Good fight. Thought the ass monkey was the final boss. There's still time. Oh no. A bigger, big, big plant. And that one's got an eyeball mouth. Now it's a triababa. What do I mean has to say about this? It didn't like that. Yeah, well... I would hope so. I don't think it'll be as easy this time around. Don't get eaten. That's your advice? Your advice is don't get eaten? Thanks, Minna. Oh my god! That ass. I recognize that ass anywhere. My hero! Academia. Can I have another one? Thank you. Get him. Damn it. <laughs> Just barely missed. Come back. Thank you. Pow. Ba -ba 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 -ba. The brack. Uh oh that's that's bad. No. Yeah. Gross. Uh, monkey? Monkey. No, it's gonna do the same thing. Yeah, damn it. You don't have to kill the small ones? Well, here I go making assumptions, huh? I just thought they would interrupt them. Yeah, that, that, would, that would smart. like an eye evolutionary advantage you, you good oh okay that seems cursed I would not touch that Borf I would not Well done! That's what I was looking for. That's a fused shadow. It's what the light spirit called dark power. Do you remember what the spirit said about how he had to match the power of the king of shadows? Could it really be so easy? Is this all there is to it? 
There's a total of three few shadows. Think the other light spirits have the rest. If you want to know exactly what I what few shadows are, maybe I'll tell you if you find the other two. Guess you better do your best to find them, huh? Guess so. Let's not waste any more time here. But we could be looking for the other two. I don't know, unless you've missed, like, another ten rupees somewhere in the dungeon. I'll get you out of here. You pick up the heart container that fell out of that thing. That's nasty. I'm not touching that. Is she waving at me? I think she's waving at me. No shot from the eye. Whoa. Oh, you mean her eye. Yeah. Wanna go outside? Y'all done here? I'm done. Talk to the hand. It's almost like she has a lot to lose if the information she's holding back gets in the wrong hands. Yeah, but she's just spunky. She's got a sass to her. I would like to say. No, yeah, yeah. Borf. Now you can borf four times. Night, Bill. Heroic Borf. What voice did I give him? I don't remember. Do not think that Hyrule is now saved from the spread of twilight. Yeah, this is the voice I gave him. Leave these woods and go to the east, where you will find the land protected by the spirit Elden. There you will find those you seek. But know that these lands lie in twilight. They're now a dark realm covered by the clouds of dusk. If you set foot beyond the curtain of twilight, you will revert to your beast form, so be prepared. Don't leave anything in your pockets. Hero chosen by the gods, leave these woods and go to the east, to the land of Elden. There you will seek the Elden Ring. That's better. Searching should be much easier now. But of course you feel the need to go help the other light spirits, don't you? Don't worry, when you turn into beast again, I'll take good care of you. First thing you need to do is find the land covered in twilight. Once you do, I'll help you out. Hee <laughs> hee. See you later. Neat. Nah. Well, maybe this is uh, a decent spot to leave it for now. Before we get wrapped up in other nonsense. Landailden. She can give you pets? Oh my god, I hope so. Lots of hydration, lots of head pats, maybe some little snacks. Sound pretty good. Well, I'm gonna get caught up on alerts real quick and find someone to raid. But thank you all so much. You having so much fun? Why stop now? Oh right, I, I, you know before. Wait, before you go, I'm gonna gift seven subs. Stick around and see if you get one of them, and then you can bail. Unless you want to stay for the raid. Uh, thoughts on the game so far? Um, it's this is all the stuff I remember decently well, so. It's mostly as I remember. If anything, I think I... Thinking of the intro of this game, I remember it feeling like a, like a slog that took a crazy long amount of time. It's really not that bad. Um, it's like the opening stuff with the village goes by relatively quickly. Maybe it's because like I kind of remembered like there's a thing with the cat, there's a thing with the slingshot. Like I kind of remembered the main stuff to do, whereas... On a first time playthrough, you're just kind of like, what else do I have to do in this town? I just want a sword and shield and hit stuff. It just takes a while. Um, but it wasn't that bad this time. So. And also, it's like, I remember, like, the Tears of Light being kind of tedious. And apparently, they cut out a bunch. So, it went faster. So, it's like, it's getting you, getting you into the interesting stuff quicker. Well, yeah. And as I was saying earlier, the stuff with the town, it's, it's important to establish, you know, the different townsfolk. Not all of them are important, but... Some of them are, and, and just also establishing who this link is, you know. Yeah, there was a lot more they decided to set up and really make you comfortable with what his daily routine is. Um, instead of just like, oh, good morning, today's the day you go to the castle, and then just immediately into it. They definitely could have done that. Um, but they wanted you to be comfy, so. Anyway. Um, the Baron Scouts are opening. Uh... I think I like the plot beats of Skyward Sword's opening better, other than Zelda getting insta-fridged. Uh, I just prefer the pacing of the quick ones. Skyward Sword's opening takes a really long time. But I like the, st I like the interactions between Link and Zelda and Skyward Sword a lot. They're very cute. 
Cutscene's less annoying. Yeah. So. Uh, where did I stop? Um, Gazrael, thanks for five months. Completing the GameCube version using the Wii guy definitely was confusing. I imagine. Shroomish, thanks for 10 bits. None Zelda with left link. Wire mouse, 100 bits. Ukus, what happens when a necromancer animates like well, chicken? PBG, thanks again for the raid. Cobble with 100 bits. I do this in Peeb stream. I'll, do I'll dono here. Keep the trend alive. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Makase, thanks for five months. Tipa's my fave Zelda till I played Wind Waker. I played Zelda's late in life. There's nothing wrong with that. No time like the present. I st I'm still hoping they put Wind Waker and, and Twilight Princess on the Switch. It, it, it seems like it, they already had it on the Wii U. They already have this modern conversion. I don't know if people would be upset if it was just one-to-one. -one. They didn't add anything new. It's like, just let's make it easy to play these games. Uh, Red is back. Thanks for the Prime. Welcome back. Thank you. Monochi, thanks for 15 bits. Just want to give my last few bits to show my appreciation that I can offer for now. You've honestly been such a delightful streamer to watch, whether I need some cheering up or something to listen to while I draw enough mushy grambling back to Vodland. Thank you so much. Zeraster, thanks for two years. Enjoy your house key. And draw with 100 bits. Past midnight, officially my birthday. Happy birthday. That was a while ago. I hope people wished you happy birthday when you said that. Thanks for being a cool dude with the cute community people to come to after a long day. Cheers to 21. Cheers. Thank you very much. Happy birthday. Hope you have a good one. But so so let's raid Dan. Why not? Why not? Let's go stand at Dan. He's playing Darkest Dungeon. Hell yeah. He's going into it with overconfidence, which is a bad time in that game. Uh, and also, the gifted subs went to uh, Jack Astakis, Ted BSST, Rue Komori, Dr. Baby MD, Dr. Baby Doctor, Flurry Flames V, Discount Jeans, and The Wanther. Hope you enjoyed the emotes. And and we got those handful of uh, raid messages. Okay, sure. Yeah, sure. Raid messages, ch man chicken. Um, yeah, I hope you like the, the Twilight Princess emotes. We got the, the, the Borf, the Midna, and the uh, Mallow. Yeah. What I miss? <laughs> hey, stream, thanks for the rage sub. You got it. <laughs> hope you enjoy. Leisha, thanks for 25 months. Surprise. Thanks for the Prime. Um, thanks so much for hanging out. We're going to get back to this probably on Thursday, unless there's something else I decide to stream instead. But I do plan to to play through the whole thing. It's just, it's going to take a bit, right? It's a beefy game. One of the creepiest designs of Zelda's, 100%. Although I wonder how much of it was intentional. There's some things where I'm like, this is definitely supposed to be creepy, and it is. There's some stuff where I'm like, I think I'm supposed to like this? Like some of the townsfolk. Anyway, go go watch Dan. Have a good Darkest Dungeon. See you later. Thanks for the raid, PG, and go have a good one. Get out of here. Get, get out of here. Uh, VOD watchers. Thanks for VOD watching. Hope you're doing good and stuff. Um, I was trying to think of it. I, I got I got nothing. I got. I hope you're doing good. <laughs> Sometimes I'm like, oh, I have something I want to say to VOD watchers. Sometimes I'm like, uh, I don't know. The gamepad. It's just... I might try using the Pro Controller next time. Anyway, bye! Hope you enjoyed it. Have a good... When you...